go live and see. What's up, guys? Uh, God, Gaming Terry, Pedro, and Mama Bear. Welcome in. Uh, yeah, let's see. It looks okay uh, to me on my phone. It is nighttime, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks fine. I was looking at the edges, and on Twitch, like on the desktop, where I, you know, check everything out, um, it looked like it was moved in on the edges to the left and right slightly, but I don't know, every time it updates like this, it throws something off. Hopefully not. Uh, what am I doing? I'm not loading. I'm going to my settings, right? Audio. I haven't done anything since yesterday. Modding. Uh, nothing in the game. The armors are coming along. Uh, I finished two sets. And then I went back to the first one. So, I don't know. It's I'm working with stuff that I've never worked with before. So it's a little... It's, I don't know. Everything's learning. Two of the sets came out pretty nice, I think. But other than that, not, not too much else. Um, God, we have coffee today. No tea. Well, end up being a nice, uh, nice day here. Well, what are we cooking? I don't know. Frost is gonna have to wait. We're 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 gonna be cooking some bandits in a minute. Up in uh Crags Lane here. Let's see. Do I have any buffs? Uh, just my mage armor, my transmute. We didn't even take any take any food. I don't think we do. Do we need Do we need any? Maybe a beef stew here and there. All right. All right. Yeah, and we also have to. After this, we gotta head back to Rift, and I gotta unpack some of this gear I have. Um, cause Frost is now carrying about as much as Frost can carry. That hurt. That's just mead. Yeah, these guys are all drunk. What are these is gonna be the butcher? That might be that guy. Yeah, he's a heavy armored guy. Yeah, there he is. See you later. Going after the wolves? Ooh. Nope. Not as good as what I have. <laughs> Crispy critter. Hey, I thought these gamblers were supposed to have money. A uh, couple armors. I'm bringing some armors into uh, Skyrim. If you guys remember, I did uh, a couple armors from Enderal. I'm, I'm bringing a few more. Yeah, this is just mead. Oh, we'll take all that stuff. cage. That's just raw meat. Okay. 
I guess he had no raw meat. That was an almost moment. So yeah, um... Yeah, a couple armors. The weapons... Their, their weapons are highly based off Skyrim stuff, so... There's a few things that I would have liked to have brought over. Um... Definitely take these and the money. But for right now... Now we need to find a trading caravan for that. I need to offload the skooma. We have too much of it. Okay. So... Report to the Jarl. Alright, yeah. And we're also waiting for... Oh, wow. Yeah, we're kidding, Crispy Critters. Black Briar Reserve, huh? Nah. Don't want to go start taking shit that I do not need. Namulala, welcome in and enjoy with whatever you're doing. All right. Frost, thank you for waiting. Let's check the map here. So yeah, took care of the uh, the spheres and resolved in the in the storehouse. They were a pain in the ass. I still need to find. We still need to find a dragon. Uh, so I can get its scales. And uh, I guess we're just waiting for Rallis at this point. We'll put a marker on the three sentinels. We'll go. Uh, we'll go take care of that. It's almost 2 a.m. in Japan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's tomorrow for you. It's Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. Get some sleep. Yeah, I don't want to go over there. That mage will probably wreck me. That's the that's the one thing about this that uh, you'll run into random enemies you just can't handle. Like I'm able to handle certain dragon priests. Yeah, I think we are gonna switch the tree mod. Like I said, I've been running. Um, the main, the main one is uh, is Nature of the Wildlands. I've run this before, but man, it's got so many issues. Hey. You all right there, Frost? There. Give you some heals. No, they didn't. We may go... I may go back to my old setup. I... Mainly because those, uh... I'd have to go... Wow, here they are. A slew. There's another one. Okay. There might be more up here. Uh, so we used to use Happy and Aspen's Blaze, and I I just I would leave it at that because both have VOD files for Dindulad 3, which they're they work 100% really well. Um, with this one, I am running some models from from happy but it's not the main it's not the main file so like nature is the main file 
then I have a self-created mod um, with assets. Are those va those are vampires? Do you see them? Let's hold on. First time I'm gonna have to use instincts. So let me turn this off. See if I can get a reading. Unless they're the. No. Yeah, they're vampires. That sucks. See them right there? Oh yeah. You there, traveler. No, thank you. Let's let's see if we can take them on. I'm gonna I'm gonna put frost over here. I don't want him to die on me. All right. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna wait here, frost. We're, we're gonna attempt this with fire in a go. You ready? And I don't think they can be... Oh man. Such a bad idea. Such a bad idea. <laughs> Joe, welcome in, dude. Good afternoon to you. Well, it's morning for you still, isn't it? By a couple minutes. I appreciate it, Namalala. Thank you. You as well. Haven't signed a contract yet. For the engineer, we'll have some special circumstances for the unemployment department. Nice. Hopefully everything works out. We are... Yeah, there they are, right down there. Three vampires. I wonder... Oh. Where's my fire rune? This is, this is probably not going to work. I'm probably going to get myself killed horribly. Yeah, it looks like oh, I look ah! that is neat. Or... We could take them all out. Where'd they... where they go? We're at the Ferg. Um... <laughs> okay, hold on. They didn't run away. These are the Vigilance. Okay, I gotta see this. Hold on a second, hold on a second. I gotta reload this. Like, right before here. So we didn't attack them yet. So I hit them with one rune, like one dual cast rune. And you're meaning to tell me that that did them in? Ah, we gotta take them on one at a time. Send them there. Ooh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, birds. No! Oh, they turn to ash piles. Okay. And you can't get anything off. So they must have... Okay. So they were weaker vampires. They're not... None of them were ebony vampires. Okay. Oh yeah, nothing bad's gonna happen with that. Yeah, let's. Alright. That's kind of crazy. Oh, he's just got venison in here. 
You guys all right? Inigo using the elven arrows, I see. Why? So the vampires turn to ash. Okay, good to know. Good to know. We'll just, we'll keep going towards the three sentinels, or if there's anything that I haven't discovered yet, we'll do that. Beautiful night. Oh, look at the moon. Hold on, let me let me turn my light off so it's probably easier to see that way. Look at that. Gorgeous night. No, I don't want to start frostfall. Oh thank you. this way. I know it's up there. Interesting. Eleven fifty, so yeah, I got a couple more minutes. Yeah, I, I mean, hey, there's well, you're gonna see vampires on here that are just, they're so quick, they're they're clad in, you know, ebony. They probably wield Daedric at some point. Like I said, I haven't made any changes to the base, to the base of Requiem. Uh, so, as it stands, uh. Because they'd be considered like gameplay, right? And uh, Requiem handles all that. <clears throat> no need to add any separate mods. Silver vein. <clears throat> Let me try and get up here. Yeah, we want for this right now. We want it to just do what it does, handle what it does. I see spriggans. I knew it. I saw the grove. One incinerator will take care of them. Right? Yeah? Okay. We should be able to take springs out pretty easy. So, what is this? This is a. Uh, Hoggard's Tail. Oh, and a Hagraven. Okay. There's a couple of these in the rift. Oh, look at that. Is that... Supposed to... That's the moonlight. I think. I don't know. <laughs> now I don't know. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the moonlight. What did I miss? I missed something up here. Let's see if we can... Ah, the rocks again. Yeah, this side. So this side had one too, and I just flat out missed it, huh? Birch book. Incident at Necron. Okay. I need literally like one more discovered location to gain a level. This right here. Let's do this too. Instead of putting Paralyzed, I'm going to put Soul Trap back on eight. Just so we can, we can start trapping some more souls. Oh, we're Foulstone. Okay. Wow, I really can't tell the rift apart now. Look at this. Look where we were. Come on, Frost. Let's uh, let's take the level up here. Uh, Mage Merlin, welcome in. Started to download the mods for my Requiem play, uh, but Nexus was slow, so I will continue later. Yeah, they were. Here, let me see if it's still... It was doing that to me, too. I just checked real early this morning because... Okay, no, it's on. Yeah, I was looking for... I was waiting for a message. Because uh, I'm waiting for permissions for... So, alright, here. One of the armor sets I need permissions for. The way that it works is that some of the authors that already had existing mods for Skyrim... 
uh, lent their assets to the Shure AI team for Enderal. So while some of the assets got changed over, if it's a armor set that has uh, its original location already on, say like Skyrim LE for on, on the Nexus, then I would have to go back and hope that the author is still active uh, in the community and willing to give permissions. If the permissions are kind of like, you can't really tell, or maybe there's like nothing indicating one way or another, you still have to ask them and they still have to grant you permission. At least I do that. Um, not everybody does that. Yeah, it looks like it's okay. Here, here, let me close it down. And I'm waiting for one of the sets. Uh, I don't want to say the author, Sky King, because I don't want to... Maybe we should ready our weapons, just in case. Uh, I, I made the mistake of doing that before. And because I archive all my stuff on YouTube. This is years ago. Um, the author had what looked like open permissions on their Ellie page. Right. And of course, it was... Oh, also, welcome in, dude. Hold on a second. Let me... Yeah, I loved your stream yesterday. The song. Guys, uh... Sky King is with us. Go there. There's his link. Just started his Twitch. Uh, he's going to become affiliate, like, within a week. So we raided over yesterday. And uh, I hung out there for the whole whole time. I was I was in and out of chat. Loved it. Uh, dude, you you're a fantastic. I I remember you had some songs playing on uh, archived on your YouTube. Uh, man, I did not know you were that good. <laughs> like I played guitar since I was like really young, and then I stopped. But I think I was like 17 or 18 when I stopped. And uh, yeah, it's one of those things I just wish I never. Uh, never quit but I was I was so big I mean I still am I'm still I spent all my time with uh you know within the auto industry so good ah oh, you're welcome man you were a touring musician for about 16 years see that I didn't know you may have mentioned I, like I said I was in and out I was there I had like to stream up both on my PC and on my phone to kind of bump your viewership up because it, 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 trust me, in the beginning it helps. In the beginning it definitely helps. When, when you, so like when you raid, like how we raided into you, if you raid out at the end of the stream, and you go to like anybody else within the Skyrim community, that's why I mentioned like, you know, Feral, Wanderlust, uh, in the beginning doing that, because, and people are going to recognize your name, of course you're going to get asked, are you like the Sky King? It, you're going to hear that so much in the beginning. And, and trust me, it's just going to snowball down for you. Like yesterday in my stream, right? Like we had, we had a hype train in my stream. Because I know you were asking about this. Um, yesterday was a good day for me. It was a $300 day. For the six hours. Like you said, wow, you do six and a half hours. I put a lot of time. And I'm kind of a little nuts with it. I, and I know it's... I really shouldn't be for my health. But... Yeah, it was a good day. But if you raid out, I mean, you'll see, like, you'll get, like, 20 to 30 new people immediately. Or overnight. Whenever whenever you decide to check your metrics. But you'll be fine. Like, you you know what you're doing. You've already got a killer set up. Wyatt, welcome in, dude. What's going on? Feral spent most of his stream modding yesterday. Really? He was getting a bit frustrated because it's been a while for him. Is he still on uh, 16353? I was going to check his stream out because it's... I didn't know he was modding his game. And I'm in, I'm in his... So I told him, I said, like, if he ever needs just basic help or, like, in-depth help, if he wants... Because he, he doesn't use nearly as many mods as most of us. I think his last setup was maybe 400. Um... But even when I watch his streams, like, and I, 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 I try not to do that. I, I do this in my head, but I'm like, I'll point out, like, stuff that I know is fixable. And, like, you know, he doesn't really have any crash issues, but as far as, like, visuals and stuff like that, I can, I can kind of pick that stuff out pretty well by now. This guy kicks at 195. Yep. 
Yo, I keep saying, it doesn't matter the number. Is If your game looks good for you, whether it takes 50 mods, or 500 mods, or, or more, get it so the way like, your game looks the way you want it to look. I go I go by like big things first. I don't know, maybe Sky King you do this differently. Um there's a couple categories I do. Like I'll get my baseline stuff down, right? Uh I I stopped using mods like um Project Clarity or any of the uh what's the other one? It's off Mod DB, Skyrim Realistic Overhaul. Because you're just gonna overwrite that with other stuff anyway. And I feel like it's sort of a waste of memory to do it. Um Granted, you're probably going to just upscale the textures and you're really not going to visually notice a difference. But then I go categories. Like, I know I want my grass changed. Grass is one, right? Mountains. And, like, with this setup here, I, I stopped using Majestic Mountains a while ago because of the meshes. I love their textures, but I find it so much easier just to grab a really nice mountain texture mod and install it. And then if it has... Par like, like, the Parallax Mountains are what they are. Like... We can't really see. It's nighttime. Let me see here. Let me go to the daytime. We'll go a couple hours, right? We'll make it bright. And not rain. Ish. And it's probably still too dark because thank you, Nat Weathers. Um. Jeez. Okay. So, I do have parallax with, with these. Um, these are ERM. This is from Skirk Bros, the landscape only. Now, most of the mountains, if you have a parallax add-on, you'll notice like a warp or a wave. It's one of the few parallax uh, objects in the game that I've noticed like is very, very noticeable. So, if you, you guys are probably familiar with the Skyrim 2020. How do you pronounce it? Is, is his name Fuchsia? Is, is the P like silent? Fusher? Anyway, um, if you notice, he's got a mountain add on. And I don't believe any of the options in the FOMOD are parallax. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, I think I know why. I think it's because if. Alright, so if you go to like Skirk Bros and you download one of the AIO packs, right? It's got mountains in. If you have nothing else in there, and you look at it and you move side to side like slowly it warps up and down and it's without a parallax you're fine it doesn't do that the mountains look normal ice can do that too especially the glaciers um but less so just plain old rock mountains now if you add snow on top of it and your snow is parallax and it, it could get to be a nightmare uh but just so i did away with the the majestic part of it um it was causing landscape issues for me towards like the bottom of the mountains, whatever the meshes were that were in there. That uh, I, it's and plus you need patching for like if you run like blended roads. There's a blended roads majestic mountain patch that I don't. It's been a couple years since it's been updated. Um, majestic mountains and one of the snow mods, so BDS two, three, and simplicity of snow all require a majestic mountains patch. Which are which are there, and they they work. They work fine, as far as I can tell. But a few extra things, and then you know you start finishing your list, and it's like, shit, I missed this. And then you may be in the middle of the game, and this is after checking a few times. So I just I eliminated that. I love uh, T4's the textures that he's got, and the, the fact that you can choose the uh, the coloring of the majestic, and they do look really good, especially um, if you run Dindu Lot Three. Uh, but it's just it's a personal thing with me I'll still run them in the future just on this particular setup I decided not to that's all if you well wow, I'm I'm reading that and <laughs> ERM parallax that's it yep that's what I have here you do huge mo well yeah because yours I mean but you run your stuff because like who else textures like you you know, there's there's only a I can probably say a handful of folks that put up that type of quality on Nexus. Even if I want like so, if I wanted to learn 
how to do like landscape and the stuff that Sky King does. It, like, he's got like years of experience on me, and I'm still not going to be as good. It's one of those things where like, at this point, the student's probably never ever going to surpass the teacher, etc. Did I sleep better last night? Uh, not really. <laughs> got a couple hours, but it was like really heavy again. It's a little nicer today. Not as much rain, but tomorrow it's going to be colder. And then it's going to rain. So. Oh, it, like texturing. It was just, it's not my thing. Like, so, like, one of the things is I'm trying to figure out uh, a UV map for one of the armors. At least I think it's a UV map. Like, these are things that I'm learning right now, because you guys know I don't, I don't create models myself. I just... It's not my thing. Um, but I've brought armors over before, and especially porting them over from Enderall. Like, my Nemesis set is fairly popular. Um, I even backported it to LE for them as well. Uh, and then, of course, you know, the people that play on LE are a little a little more forgiving and a little, a little kinder that I've noticed. You don't get as many downloads, because it... The LE setup is kind of shit. It doesn't run that well. There's the unicorn down there. See him? Sorry. <laughs> Let's take the level first. I I gotta get this done. We gotta. Yeah, we got 98. All right. So let's stick with this. Let's get resto to 90. Get alchemy to 80. Probably go a little further in that, right? 94. Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. Let's get our speechcraft up. One, two, and we would need five for that. All right. So we're going to hold these four skill points. And... Yeah, con I didn't realize my conjuration was at 90. That's great. Restos, um, I need to, like, read a book, and then, of course, you know you got a couple levels because you can only put... Uh, I think at 95, you can only put two points in per level, so. Uh, let's... Magic's good. Let's go health right now. I do need a little extra health. And can we finish off alteration? Finally, metamagical empowerment. You're over majestic personally? I hear ya. I, I, I love the mod. It's not that I don't like the mod, it's... Uh, I don't like the fact that I've done all these lists before, and I, I will, in one of them, forget one of the Majestic Patches, even if I write it down. And then something else will be in the list that's going to need a patch for it, and I'll either have to make it myself, sometimes that can be a pain, sometimes it's just way out of my realm, so I'll ask somebody else to do it, you know? Uh, Mari's floor has a bad glow problem. That I've seen. I don't have her... I've got a couple of hers in here. I've got... So, the stuff that Cathedral 3D doesn't cover, I've replaced with Mar or Mary's. Mari's. The meshes need to be tweaked in Nifscope. Nifscope's something else I'm learning. I've, I've picked it up a few times, and like I said, I do my modding in, like, spurts. Like, right now, after I stream today, I will probably go dive back into those armors... And I'll be up until 3 a.m. again. And then, you know, tomorrow's Saturday, so Karn's got his Saturday stream over on his YouTube channel. Uh, I haven't seen an update yet as to which character he's going to be doing, or if he's gonna, even going to be doing Skyrim. He may do, do Starfield tomorrow, I don't know. Um, so I'll probably be off tomorrow doing just nothing but modding. And then Wind is on Sunday, but I'll probably try to get a morning one in if I can. You wanted to raid, but it it said raid someone. You're falling. You can so uh, Skyky, you could raid anybody. You just need to put like a backslash the word raid right next to it, and then space. Type the name of the person that you want to go to, and you'll note it. Like you know it's the right person if it's the same avatar. Immediately, um, what I do is I pull their page up first and mute it to see what they're doing because I like to get a good idea of where we're all raiding into. You know. But I usually, um, it's mostly Bethesda content, so Skyrim, Starfield, if they are playing Oblivion or Enderall, one of those, uh, or music. 
I'll raid into, like I said, like Courtney, she's my favorite musician on Twitch. I'll raid into her if she's still going on, or if I do like a really early stream. She is really, she's from South Africa. She's really talented. She's living here in the States, though. Actually, she's, um, where are they living? I think they're, because she's going to get married. I think they're like in, like the north, they're in the Carolina region. She was living in England when, uh, I was introduced to her back in, uh, like when the pandemic first started. So, the beginning of 2020. <laughs> Rain has been nice. I mean, I'm stuck inside packing my dad's things. Aw, oh, dude, Shep. Sorry to hear it, man. That sucks. Like, alright, so... I don't know. There's, like, there's things that I'm... I know I'm good at within the realm of modding, and there's things that I know, obviously, I, there's just shit I don't know, plain out. Some stuff I just flat don't know, and not enough time in the day to read all this stuff. There's so much information, so much info, but I, you know, every day I try to pick up a little something here and there. It's just putting it to practice. No time for that. Not what I should say, not enough time for that. Last time I talked uh, to T4, he mentioned he was uh, redoing them. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think they've been updated in a while, except for some of the patches. And then, like, when Dindulad 3, uh, I know that got updated. And now I think that might be one of the older files. Like, the LOD for all, I think it is in the, uh, the like, the first MISC file, I think. Uh, let me see what else. Yeah, Shep, I, I went through, well, God, it, geez, 2015 well, at this point. We had... I suppose some kind of speech is in order. Pedro! Dude, appreciate the sub. Five months. Much appreciated, my friend. Thank you. Spine chills, welcome in. Yeah, 2015 for me, guys. We had three. Uh, two within a week in uh, April. So, like, this month is difficult uh, for me. I mean, it's, like, we're in the middle of it now. But And then another one in August from, uh, she was, she just turned 30, but she died from uh, pancreatic cancer. She just had her second daughter the previous uh, December. So December, January, February, March, eight, four months later she was gone at the age of 30. It's rough. What's up, Spine Chills? Yeah. Yeah, it is, Wyatt. For textures, it's pretty easy and small amount of info. So much info and 90%. Yeah, there's a lot of wrong information. Definitely. I've I've gone back to it. Even like things that I thought were 100% right, and this is like you know you're you're doing your homework on modding info. Uh, and I'll go back like the next day into a stream and be like, yeah, guys, the shit that I told you yesterday, yeah, it's wrong. Ignore everything I said. Um, I got like an actual answer from like you know, either X person who made a modding tool, so. You know, the people you would trust the most. Try not to go near Reddit if you can. <laughs> I've noticed that's a... I haven't been on there in quite a while. It just seems like everybody's got a link to Reddit information for modding. Um, and I know a lot of it's semi-outdated, but like even like the step stuff is a really, really good source. Especially since they've... I think they've been a little more active. Can I get him? Get him! Oh, hit it. Watch it miss. Watch that blink. See that? You got a Inigo? Alright, Inigo's gonna... He's gonna do his thing. Oh, he got his soul. Good job, Inigo. I got his soul. That's like one of the worst feelings, you know? Like... Putting that out there that you, uh... 
you feel like you're 100% sure, and you wind up being wrong. But I don't know. If I make a mistake, I usually, I, you know, I'll admit it and be like, yeah, it's my fault, guys. Sorry. No Khajiit Caravan today. You guys haven't seen Rifted, I don't think. Remember, no city overhauls. You, uh... Interesting. What do I got going on with the horses? I keep forgetting that I've got the anniversary in here. Carriage and ferry travel. Okay, so that doesn't touch their textures. Requiem handles the guard outfits. You can retexture them. So this is Zavbio's guards. But it's... The, the actual physical gear they're wearing is made up of Requiem. I'll show you the other stuff inside. Let me grab a sip of my coffee here. No city overhauls. I don't like them. I stopped using them. They're taxing. Trees. Textures. And probably some trees I'm going to have to move. Riften was one that um, you can get away with a lot of stuff. Uh, I was running Ellie's Atrocious Riften fix. And it and some setups, not all of them. Uh, I run the older file. There goes the thief. That's anniversary kicking in. He'll, he'll go running around until they either kill him. Um, it sort of fixes this part, the stonework. I, so I don't have it in now. The reason I don't have it in is because this version, there he goes, was causing a major split back here. Why? Oh, they're all out in forest. Hold on. Yeah, multiple thieves will come out. I just, I've never seen them this close. You can't tell me that something weird isn't going on in Riften. <laughs> and I can't kill them because... Yeah, I'll get aggroed. Uh-oh. It's got Mercer's voice. Yeah, right back here. Um, that mod, whether you know, it was placed in the proper slot in my loader or not, right about here. You might even be able to see that, like a slight discoloration. It was causing a split, which I'd never had before. Um, I don't know if it was from. It was could have been from Northern Roads. I don't know if Northern affects the inside of the cities. I don't think it does. Yeah, this is just Skyrim textures. These guys are out and about. That's the thief at the beginning of the quest. From the Grey Cowl. And so then here's the back. So you'll notice the back here, obviously, like, Snowshod's there. She's at the uh, Talos sh uh, Shrine. I tried to keep it as simple as I could. We got the little stone walkway, right, into the into the grave. Now there's a mod that when you, I think, when you cross, like, here, it auto-opens. So you don't have to push the button. We're not a member of the Thieves Guild, so. But you press the button to go down into the, the secret. Uh secret entrance. Yeah, I tried to keep this about as simple as I could. No no overgrown anything, just you know, some nice flora. A little bit here. Little small edits, you know. Didn't do too much. Uh J Shrines, of course, with the uh 2K add-on. Uh I forget what it's called. Um but it should pop up right if you type in like J Jay's Shrines, it should be the next mod. Gla uh, glazed something. Glazed for the Shrines. Right. There we go. And Zav's uh, one of those robes replacers. From the college in Winterhold. How astute of you. And then the only other thing that may, and I may not have fixed this, is one of the trees up here. So yeah, Rift's going to have the Thieves rolling around. Is Harold watching them? Or are they, they on lunch break? Gamer Poets! Michael, what's up? Hold on, let me go back and chat, because I know I missed. 
Michael loved the new video, by the way. I, you know, I keep saying I would, I would put it in every, like, put a comment in every uh, one of your videos for all the tutorials, right? Making it dummy proof, but sadly, we know that statement would be a fucking lie. <laughs> I mean, 90 foolproof for like 99% of us, but you get those 1% of people that make that weird fucking comment. Yeah, I forgot to move it down. All right, it's always this tree. It's just going in and physically dropping it down a little bit. That's all. But who's back there? Who would have noticed that? Even from like right here, you can't tell, right? That'll get fixed. It's on the the to-do list. <laughs> all right, we gotta go see a woman and a man about selling things. Looks like she's got people there. Balamond. I was gonna add the smelter in here, I decided not to. He's already got a lot of stuff and poor Titus wouldn't have any wood to chop. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Why do you have so many modding legends come into your stream? I good question, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I may have I may have had some input on a, a video or two. Can it can either c confirm nor deny that? Yeah, Michael, I I can see the style of your video has changed with the new one. The pace, like everything about the pacing was perfect. Whatever whatever pacing mechanism you've got going on in your head, don't change that. That was like by far. Amazing, uh, I, for lack of a better word to say. Um, yeah. Especially with the new, the newer version, um, now being able to handle, uh, you know, different, uh, different games. So the instances was nice to see. The finest weapons and armor. Pretty set in stone now. Uh, well, I know you were resting, taking some time off, so hopefully all is well on that end. Wow, he can't even buy it. This is this is normally something I'd give Inigo, but Inigo's in heavy gear. Balaman can't even buy it. Can I? Do you have elven arrows? He's got silver. Okay, now we can sell. We'll get rid of some of this weight. 24... He's got 87. That was just enough. We can give those to Inigo. Um, now he's got 12. Can I buy? He's got nothing else. Okay. If you need any more smithing, and come see me again. I would do his quest to get him fire salts, but fire salts are one of my most important ingredients for my alchemy. Try not to, and he's got Daedric, he's got heavy Daedric now. Because they were like 60 points better than the well-made Orcish. I will bear your burdens gladly. Skyrim community on Twitch is connected. Ah, absolutely, Shep. Absolutely. That's, that's the one thing I love to see, is... So, how, I've been at it on Twitch for four years almost. I think this is the fourth. Before that, for like a year, it was YouTube, right? And so differences that I've noticed, um, Twitch gives you a lot more freedom. Um, but everybody, I believe, uh, at that point, from a streaming perspective or a video perspective, is just YouTube is more name brand, household, we all know, etc., etc. And they know... You know, you could stream on Twitch, but we'll give him those too. Uh, chat's chat's immediate. That's the one thing for me personally. Uh, chat is immediate. Um, YouTube always had a slight delay, even at its best. And I, even when I go into Karn's stream, like tomorrow, as because I'm a I'm a moderator for him while he does his, um, and it's delayed. The other nice thing is, as a moderator for somebody else. On YouTube, I can't see, or maybe he has to set it up this way. I can't see who's viewing. With Twitch, you can. 
it's just simply pulling uh, the tab down on the right to see everybody in there. That's how you, we get to see those like spam bots or spam or fake accounts that we just ban out. Um, and there's a list of the Twitch bots. They get updated pretty often. Wow, that's that's Savs. That can't be Savs, is it? I think it is. Good to see you. We did her quest. She looks, she, like I said, she looks proper now. I think, anyway. Take a look. Let's see what she's got. See, you got some. You only got a thousand, huh? All right. Oh boy. What do I have? Oh, you know what? The rest of the stuff's on frost, isn't it? We don't have the resto enchant? I have to have that back at my room. Back at the house. Zoom for a meeting. Enjoy your lyrics, Sky King. Thank you. Alright, that's all we got for you, my dear. Alright then. So let's see. There's Ulette. There's Dina. Well, Dina looks involved? really good. Let me see, hold on. Visiting Riften? Yeah, I'm visiting Riften. Branche. As I said, we never went through with Brynjolf's uh, quest yet. There's Bully. Snow. Protect yourself me. right. Maurice. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. She's got food. Maybe she has uh, some beef for us. So how do you keep it so fresh here? I picked up a trick from a butcher in Elenir, a small town over the border in Hammerfell. Uh, have you gone into Skyrim advanced settings to adjust the 3D item position? Use it as a preservative. In mine, I don't think I have. Why? But only for a limited time. I've changed a few things with Skyrim. I'm looking to replenish my supply. So if you I like my five my UI and my HUD stuff simple. Like I've run Nordic before, I've obviously run Dear Diary and and the uh, the dark mode uh, version of it, and I, I like them. Um, but I feel like there's too much going on. Like you need too much to set up. And I get it. Like it's you know it's 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 easy to do. But I really don't like my screen cluttered with all of the niceties that they have. Like they're fantastic mods, right? They're great. Um, this is mine. It's pretty basic. And then, of course, my health, magic, and stamina is on the left. Active effects hasn't changed. That's upper right. And then um, the needs would be on the lower right. We may have some for some ice wreath. Yeah, there we go. We have some. We got some for you. We have some in our pack. should help keep my stock fresh for quite a while. And Two settings promised, uh, to move, to move the more centered. Lovely. What'd she give me? She gave me feather falling. Oh, that's perfect. Take a look. She's got four raw. No, we need raw beef. I've made that mistake before. All right. Be this careful. is perfect. These are dangerous times. These are dangerous times. How long will this last if I dual cast this? This is going on the favorites. I kind of want to see what it... Oh, it's like a muffle. It, well, it's got the muffle. 12 minutes. All meats guaranteed clean and free from well, not that falling into water is going to do anything for me. <laughs> that is cool. Alright. Um... I did, I did make an addition to Riften, so this is Riften Down, spelled R-Y-F-T-E-N, only affects the canal area, and uh, so JK's has a patch here, so you can go into the B&Barb, &Barb. it does have a basement, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, this just affects the canal, it just kind of places some statics. Um, Otherwise, to be honest, it's pretty dreary down here. Um, and you'd expect some place like Riften that, like, let's just say the gates there open up, right? I forget what that's called, part of the canal, right? Yeah, you'd expect there to be, like, barrels and um, 
clutter down here. You can see all the supplies and things like that there. But when you get up to the top here, you know, I tried to keep it clean. Alright. Looks like poor Inigo's running around. Sky UI, let's try this. Let's let's check that out, right? MCM Sky UI advanced. Uh, horizontal offset. The first setting. Are you talking about? So let me see here. You say like what? Minus 15. Let me just see if I can notice the difference. It's that was at zero. So where is this going to be in my? Oh, I see, because it's moving it a little to the right. Horizontal minus 15 would go to the right. That's way too much. I keep forgetting MCM's up at the top now. I'm so used to it saying mod configuration menu and being down three. Wrong, wrong button. Yeah. That's why I don't really change much stuff about it. Like, it's there, it's okay. And then, of course, you guys know I got the potion issue. See the small potion? I believe it's an EMB light thing. When I use the fix mod for it, it makes it massive and it covers the whole screen, so. And this is from changing the model. Plus adding EMB light. If I were to use something like Rustic uh, Potions and Poisons, I wouldn't have an issue. They'd be normal size, but I changed them to Awesome Potions uh, by Rev. Reveloth, I think. Um, and I changed I changed the models of the potions all the time. Uh, let's see what else. What did I change? Oh, the icon. So I've got both uh, category themes going. I've, I have a mod for the version five. So you could, like, it's one that's made for the Psycho Steve preset, and there's one that's made by, made for the Celtic. So if I switch over to the Celtic, and they don't overwrite each other. See how it's made that change up top there? Same thing with the, with the spells. The spells are all in Celtic. Um, yeah, you could have both of these installed at the same time, and, and you know, because one's for one option, one's for the other. And there's the other. So this is like an Oblivion style. They're both made by Alsopa. I should probably say that. Um, yeah, because they're for different styles. Like this I have, so I, I've got the Oblivion-esque uh, I need, even though I don't have I need installed. Um, but I found that it'll work with Sunhelm. For the uh, icons, you're gonna wanna grab a widget uh, mod. One, I, I don't have a widget one installed here because I, I honestly don't need it. Um, and I have I have the uh, Oblivion active effects. So, let's see if it shows up. I may have to eat something. They're actually not showing up, are they? I may have to get into combat. I may have them turned off. Yeah, Awesome Potions is nice. I, I, I'll I be honest, though. On it, um, Gamwich's Rustic is beautiful. I, I've, that's the one, that's my go-to for potions. Um, it's really just a texture. And I remember it wasn't on Special Edition for the longest time, but you could just, it's since it's just textures, you can run the LE version uh, and be perfectly fine with it. All right. We need to, what else? Oh, report to the Jarl. I didn't even do this. Yeah, we took care of the skooma dealers. See that? Sidetracked. ELIF. Yeah, that's the mod. I don't know th why I was thinking it was ELIP. There's probably a mod with that with that name that does something entirely different. Okay. So, yeah, let's report. I was in I was in the freaking keep too, wasn't I? Oh, we were close to it. Rifton's, Rifton's the city, I always forget there's something I have to do. See the thieves are walking around.
so many yeah there's way too many abbreviations so there's an updated version named Ocean Push and Simple Foot. That's the one I'm running. Yep. It is dark in here. Boon mid. I wish to travel about the city. Prepare an now escort, please. Speaker. Begging your pardon, my lady. Thank God he's not I the Elven. Strongly Elden. recommend against it. Requiem. Requiem <laughs> keeps him in. He's a Nord. He keeps him in proper gear. He, one of the overhauls I was running puts him in full that yellow like Elven stuff. He looks terrible. Are you willing to uh, except for the head. No. Damn! Look at the sword. I'll stay here for now. That katana. And Inuriel also looks pretty good. What can I do for you? I'm still loving the eyes. I'll be honest for a while. Uh, the Cragslane operation has been stopped. Well done. Your continued efforts have been a great benefit to the people of Riften. Allow me to present you with this compensation Ooh. for your selfless efforts. Cup number two of coffee. And then we'll see if, uh, if there's anything else she needs us to do. I trust you. I'm just concerned about the safety. That's all. Don't be angry. Concerned about safety, huh? Um, so we haven't really asked anybody this. What's your stance on the war? Well, I feel we didn't pick a side yet. Just my concerns for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives? It's a Nodachi. Clouds looming overhead. My heart goes out to them. If only our coffee are they the, deeper, uh, Pedro, I could are protect they the them same? as they were my own family. I, you would think by now I would know a little bit more about weapons. So there's a Nodachi... This game calls it a Daikatana, and I, some of the mods, I think, change the actual name, or maybe they're different. What do you think of Ulfric himself? With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Between you and I, I think his motivation. I'm not sure if there's a patch for it already, he uses but... His holy war as leverage well, in two mods. To and I think it's because Requiem already changes this. I wanted to add I'm both immersive so weapons and armors, but immersive armors distributes everything by scripting, which is sort of on the outs, considering that you've got stuff like Spid. Um, I think immersive weapons has a patch, but immersive armors doesn't. Although, to be honest, I think I'd get more use out of the weapons than the armors myself anyway. Uh, especially with the anniversary edition, adding in like the alternate armors. So that's why I play full AE with Requiem, because you get all that extra content and it's already patched. I mean, you gotta still select the mod to patch, you know, everything. But it's it's, you know, it's pretty simple. Like she's interesting NPCs back there, and she's being handled by um, Apache Divine Elegance. We know of the White Gold Concordat, but maybe people in chat don't know. Surely you're aware of the great Please war between the Imperials and the Elves who called the themselves the Elves. His sword the reminds me of the mortal blade the from Sekiro. When the cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing We have to go back to our house, too. We have to go back to Granite Helm at some point. One of the was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. Okay. Well, anything else I can help with, Riften? Ah, there you are. I was wondering when you'd visit us again. I've yeah. been informed <laughs> by my steward that you've made quite an She's wondering when I'd visit, yep. Several of our citizens have expressed their admiration. Thanks, Inigo. Push me. Uh, regarding what? Much like Mio, you've become champion of our hold, helping people with their difficulties and providing assistance for their needs. As the Jarl of Riften, I feel it's my duty to honor your selfless behavior by honoring you with the title Thane. Oh, Riften. there we go. Uh, I would be honored to accept. Before I can present you with the title, Rizarum, welcome in. A single requirement you must fulfill. By a house. Thane of Riften is expected to maintain permanent residence within the city walls. Yeah, boy. My steward has such a home available to you. That's going to be a problem. Let's see how much she's charging. You'll find the accommodations to be most pleasing. When the house is yours, return to me, and I will present you the title. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good we have... Tw well, we have 12,000. Hold on, we might be able to do this. There's Maven. Anuriel, a word, please. Yes, my lady? 
It's been brought to my attention that the poison, known as Skuma, may be present in our city. What I just know? told her we fixed that. I Look at Maven. Maven looks she looks good. Traded by the Empire in order to weaken the citizens' confidence in your ability to rule. Excellent. Then there's no need to devote really any good. resources to stopping it. Right. Thank you. Ariel. That will be all. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. Because she's got the I'm scars. I'm steward, Anuriel. You don't seem happy there, kiddo. Four grand, eh? We're already here. What's up, Clapper? Welcome in. How's it going? It would be nice to own a second home somewhere in this region. Maybe that's my goal. Maybe we'll try to purchase property in most of the holds. I could just do the whole become a Thane of Everywhere thing. I did not expect this character to be a somewhat decent character, meaning morality. Um, <laughs> we've uh, we've actually helped more people than we've uh, murdered. <laughs> we haven't really murdered anybody. Uh... Yeah, Splendid. let's spend the money. There's a house available right now. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here's Key to Honeyside. And we get a house Carl, that's great. Uh I would like to decorate my home. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home. So we had twelve thousand septums, we're now at eight. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. No. That's okay. There's what many ways to, to make money in this game. What's the most expensive stuff? Well, we're gonna grab everything. All right, bedroom. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. You do that. Is there anything else you'd like? Oh to yeah. Purchase? We need a kitchen. Very well. I'll make. Is there anything else you'd like mm -hmm. to purchase? Definitely an alchemy lab. Very well. A thousand. I'll make the arrangements. Jeez. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Well, an enchanter. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Garden. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? And a porch. Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Uh, we're good. No, we don't have any children. That's one thing I never understood, right? So if you become the Thane of Riften... And, like, let's just say you, like, you had a family. Why? Well... Why would you purchase the house in Riften to bring kids to? Like, if you were going to adopt them, say, from the orphanage, which is, like, right across the city. Kids aren't really going anywhere better. <laughs> I guess get them out of the orphanage, maybe, but... As you wish. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations. Doing good. Made food for me and my girlfriend's... Uh, you made pasta. Nice. Why do people get children in Skyrim? Uh, some people like to have a family. I never got, like, the whole marriage thing in Skyrim is kind of weird. There's there's mods to sort of fix it, but, um... You're welcome in and then, you know, it's all in an adoption system. Our laws. As Yar Layla's house car, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. I don't want to... I don't want to piss him off. Alright, let's make a save. Let's head back out. I can turn my light off, right? I love that image, by the way. Yeah, you would think, like, if you'd want to take them anywhere from Riften, you would take them to, uh, you know, White Run, Solid, like, literally anywhere else. Uh-oh. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Mr. Kurie. Let's see here. Another letter from Rallis. Rallis, huh? He's starting to scare me. Looks like I usually adopt it. at least Let's Lucia. Go. Because I feel bad that she sleeps outside behind the Inn and White Run. Yeah, there's her. Who's the other one? Sophie? In Windhelm? The little beggar kid? Now, she's she's like just as bad. Actually, she's worse than, uh, than Lucia. Lucia at least has like a warm place to sleep. Sophie sleeps on a little bedroll in the middle of the snow uh next to um what's her face's house oh 
the uh, the Altmer woman, who runs the uh, the general general goods stand. Look at that, Inigo. We got sweet rolls for you. It's very dark in here. Man, that's a nice one too. I like the photos. Uh, some recipes. Place for your books. Well, a few places for your books. This is the. Well, this is where the steward is eventually going to set up shop. There is Vampire Dun. Mm. This is what. Yum, yum, yum. A sweet roll never disappoints. We're absolutely taking the salts. Um, you can't not in this game. He's going to eat all his sweet rolls. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Alright, can we break anything down? No. Okay. How much money am I left with? Let's see. I broke already. 3,800. Alright, we're not that bad. There we go. There's enchanting primer. So 27. I probably should have waited for that one. Well, we own a honey side. I doubt we're really ever going to stay here. I mean, well, it beats paying to spend the night at the end, right? But I'm not going to keep my stuff here, and there's nothing in the wardrobe. Nothing in the chest. What about this? Maybe five of them septums back. Uh, let's take a look at the, the porch. You don't adapt kids in Skyrim? I did it a few times, Klappa. It's, um... It depends on what type of character I'm playing. So, uh, if I'm playing like a Nord warrior or any type of like good, morally morally good character, it, it's it's always like 50-50 on whether or not I'm gonna adopt. Uh oh, you stay down there. You can't make it up here. <laughs> this is one of the nice things, though. This has one of the nicest porches. Um, Mainly because you've got your own tanning rack here, and if you have, um, I forget the add, but the add-on for the docks, or Riften docks, I think, it, or Riften docks updated. Can we, can we, where's this gonna fish out there? Out here? Hold on. Let's do some fishing. We haven't done that. And I think we got all the fish except for the glass fish, right? This is Jay Serpa's mod, allowing you to go in a third person to fish. We got a lantern. <laughs> There's a boy, I think, in Dawnstar too. Uh, yeah. I can't remember the kid's name. Dawnstar is one of my... I love the area, but for some reason, like, the town itself is one of my least favorite. Modded or otherwise. I don't know why that is, but the area outside is absolutely gorgeous. Another goldfish. We need a glass fish for Zarya in Falkreath. And, of course, I didn't get my homework. I didn't do my homework. I didn't uh, check to see what pool I could just dip and pull a glass fish out of. We have all the other ones. I love it here. I know you do. There's one. Boom. Save. So let's check our quests here. Uh, return to the yard. All right, we have to become a thane officially. Unearthed. We have to return to Kolbjorn. Tell Nella that Verona is dead. Speak to Adam. Uh, we got some stuff when we go over there. May not do this yet. We still have to cleanse the other stones. There's two, the beast and the water stone. I want to find a dragon for this. And then we got Dawnguard to start. Of course, we're going we're gonna to complete Dawnguard before we kill Mirak. Mirak's going to be a fucking pain in the ass to defeat. Um... That's the Markarth quest. I'm really happy we've got that fish here. Pure luck. 
Alright, just just sheer luck. That's all it is. Let's we'll see if we can talk to the Argonian inside here. Not you. You'd love Elder Scrolls Online. I feel like I missed my opportunity with the SO. Is that Bully? Bully. Where's uh, Nivenor? She looks good. Decided to, do. to show up for work today, eh? And just what's that supposed to mean? It means I have a business to run. He may be gone. All right. Uh, we'll head back out. We're gonna head back into what well, we became a thane. So. Yeah, again, like I said, uh, really surprised with it. Like, I did not expect this character to be this morally good. We've actually been helping people. And that's not the style of characters I usually play. Not going vampire. Like, we'll wind up siding with the Dawn Guard, which I almost never do. Um, purchasing a home. Oh, there go the thieves. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, they're getting out of control. Alright, we'll let her know that everything's taken care of. Officially become a Thane. You now have a goldfish as a new pet. You can help the lizard... And ripped it with her skooma. I did. Yeah, we already took out the Crags Lane operation. That's what got me to my Thane ship here. Uh, where is it? Anuriel, a word, please. I think it was a mist quest. I don't know if the mist ones show up. It's been brought to my attention that the poison, known as skooma, may be put yeah, we did. Someone who can get things we helped done. the Argonian. I like that. So we purchase honey set. Then allow me to officially welcome you to Riften. You'll make a fine addition to our city. All that remains Kill the Dark Brotherhood. Is to bestow the we may do that this time actually. Since I don't have legacy installed on this, there's no I mean you can still get the the gear. We haven't dealt with any no assassins come after me yet. I've noticed that. They're supposed to start around level 15 or a little before that. I should be the one thanking you. You've solved more problems in the short time you've been here than anyone in my court has their entire careers. You've been a beacon. What graphics card do I have? Uh, 4070 Ti. Uh, Asus Rug Strix. Therefore, by my authority as Yarl, I pronounce you Thane. Yeah, I rebuilt. Uh, well, this is a brand new PC. I, this is my third I've built since I started. Well, since I got into the PC game. Um. This one's got an i9, 14.9, was it 14,009K, and uh, 1,200 watt power supply. I had to get a new case for the 40, the 4070Ti didn't fit in my old NZXT case. I was able to get two really nice setups with that, but, so that case is boxed away, I have it, I have it stored. Um, when I initially built, I, I, had a, I had a 2060 graphics card, and then I picked up a uh, 2070 Super, and I had that for a little bit, and then I got my 3060 12 gig, and now I'm on a 4070 Ti. I'm really happy with this card. Um, like I said, I got this for less than 500 bucks uh, USD, because like I said, if you look around, there's sales for brand new name brand stuff all over the place. Um, and now I believe that this, this no, this card's still out. Which one did they get rid of? Was it the original 4070 that's been replaced by a 4070 Super? There's like there's too many, too many, freaking cards, right? And Nvidia really needs to drop their prices and be less stingy about like the VRAM. Or AMD can, oh. or Radeon can step up their game. A little bit and keep the prices the same that's my take on it you have a 4080 ti my girlfriend has a 40 a 4090 is a beast of a card 40 wait 4060 the uh, 4060 ti is actually pretty reasonable for what you get you get 16 gig of vram 
And if you're going from like almost any 20 or 30 series card up, um, did she give us? Hold on. We are Thane, right? We did get the weapon. It's been brought to my attention. Blade of the Rift. Known as Skuma. Which we can put in the house because we don't need it. What do you know? Here I was happy when I was able to get a 3070. 3070 is a solid card, Joe. You don't. You probably don't do as much. Into, well, you do video rendering, right? 3070 is an 8 gig card. And I've seen your your screenshots are fantastic, but um, I've seen your screenshots. You you put quality stuff up there. Like I said, the the 2060 was really really. All, it, they've all been Asus cards. Like I've had nothing but good luck with these. Some people, uh, you know, if you if you find a brand that works well for you, stick with it. I've had nothing but good luck with these. Iona, I can never remember her name. She looks good. Red hair. Tied back. Uh, we don't need. Uh, we already have Lydia, I think. Yeah, you're gonna hang out here. It's been an honor. It's been an honor, right? Um, here, let's do this. Let's get the blade of the rift. We'll remove you, iron sword. We'll put the blade of the rift there, and nobody needs that. Mace of Embers, we could probably sell that. We probably could sell that, but it's, like I said, I don't have a unique model in for the for the Thane stuff. I probably could. Now that I think about it, I probably should have. Um, a couple extra mods I could have added in here, but... Uh, my first graphics card was a 1060. This was before I was on PC. Mmm. A oh. delicious sweet roll down the hatch. You're not done with them, are you? I am here for you. Your thoughts. This is a lovely home you have here. The build is good quality, and it smells woody. You just like Rift and Inigo. Watch you keep the fire low. It would be a shame if all this went up in smoke. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that. Might have asked you something. Go ahead, ask away. Let's see, what can we ask him? Uh... Do you want to relax here for a bit? Thank you. Your hospitality is humbling. Okay. It, what is on your mind? He's got Mr. Dragonfly, of course. Uh, let me ask you. Ask away. My favorite place in Skyrim is Rift, and without a doubt, it smells perfect. I see what you did there. Fire away. All right. Uh, right behind you. All right, we'll pick. We'll trade with them. Let me. Uh, I want to yes, check his friend. sweet roll situation. I hope this will be a mutually beneficial exchange. He's got five. He's also got my the rest of my stuff. Yeah, the nice thing about Requiem is it changes. Like Dawnbreakers probably the best sword in the game and if you could smith this up like undead and vampires nothing stands a chance against you with what they've done to it um getting it was easier for me with this character playing a, a pyromancer um than almost any other time i've gone to uh kill Creek ruins for it uh do you get inigo from a mod inigo is his own mod clapa have you never used him before um, let me do you a favor. I'm going to put his link because he is the absolute best freaking follower for Skyrim ever, ever made. Uh, here. There. Unable to pin. Anna, welcome in. Why can I not pin my own messages? Something oh, it says unable to pin. All right. Well, that's his link. Unfortunately, I don't know why I can't pin it. Let me try and refresh Twitch. Sometimes this fixes it. What's up, redundant? 
at least one of the best. I th I think he's the best. There, I, I could pin it now. Okay, I'll pin it for 30 minutes. Clappa, do yourself a favor, grab him. He's custom, so if you're running a follower framework like Nethers or any other ones, don't import him. He's he works on his own. Okay. Uh, what else can I tell you about him without giving away spoilers? Um, he has a lot of custom dialogue with other custom followers like Lucian, Kaiden. Um, he will interact with Lydia as well, among others. Sestem, welcome in. Um, I like the build. So here's my take on Lucian. Um, he's a, another fantastic follower. I personally don't use him because I don't care for him. Um, Joseph Russell made a really fantastic mod, and a lot of people use him. I find him tedious to manage for my, my gameplay style. But I also usually do add him in. You'll just never, almost never see me run with him. It's got to be a very, very particular setup uh, for me to run with him. Uh, but Inigo and him probably have some of the most... I, actually, I was surprised. Inigo and Kaiden, Kaiden got a few of his add-ons updated, like the one that's off-site Nexus, not on. Uh, they have their own website for it. Um, Kaiden's probably my second favorite now. I used him with Soulfried in her play. Um... And she's my highest level character that I've done on PC. She got to level 93. Uh, so, well, she's, let me say, let me take that back. She's one of the highest levels. She's, she's the first in a while, but she's the second highest level that I've done. Merrick was 66. Uh, and I've had a few on console that got up there, like, past like 60 but it's harder you know harder to do it there yeah him and Lucian yeah they're hilarious back and forth they have like a lot of really good banter yeah but clap do yourself a favor grab him um you'd have to you'd have to read the page about adding a mid play if you're in a play already but like definitely new game start and the only thing I'll say is um you find him in Riften I'll leave it at there because you haven't used them. I don't want to spoil anything for you. Let us go. So we can we can leave now. Lucian isn't my favorite, but it's interesting because you can actually help train him. Yes. Yeah, Lucian can kind of become whatever you want, whereas most of the custom followers are sort of, you know, unique to their own. You were trying, Frost. Let's see how much crap I've burdened you with. Wow, yeah. We have to go back to... Um, we have to go back to Granite Hill. Wow, getting turned around here. Uh, Seagar. Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, how are your carriage? Where do you want to go? Does Requiem handle the crafting loop with Fortify? It negates it. It's gone. You can't abuse it here. Nope. Uh, alchemy itself is very powerful on its own. But, no, as far as, like, setting up, uh, through the loop. First of all, the unofficial patch fixes that. So you can't do it, and you basically need USSCP anyway. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? We're gonna go to Half Moon Mill again. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Yeah, but Requiem won't allow you to uh, abuse the shit out of it. It mitigates it. say it's teaming I thought it completely eliminated it. Yeah, Requiem's the real deal. Requiem's, like I said, play it. The way that I have it set up here is it's literally just Requiem and patches for mods that Requiem has patches for. There are... Re I hear a dragon. I 
guess it's gone. Damn it. We need to use uh, Cabazine's Fang on a dragon. What time is it? Two in the morning. Okay. We'll get some sleep while we're here. Crossway is always going to be our main home. Uh, with Reverian here. So you're always gonna you're always gonna see me coming to Granite Hill. I can oh this may be Alduin raising him. Uh, Volchnak, however you say it. Well, we'll be able to tell if there's two dragons here. Ah, that's it. Hold on, I hear the I hear the roaring. Uh, Frost, you're gonna wait. Yep, he is. There's Alduin. This... This is gonna be really good. Let me, uh... Let's get a Horker stew and a beef stew. Look at that! I wanna get an image of, uh... Alduin. Right like that. That's perfect. Save. Sorry. <laughs> I had to. And it's raining. Well. Yeah. This is either going to be a really hard fight or a really easy fight. Make sure you let him finish what he's doing, otherwise sometimes these dragons don't raise up. Now we should be good. He's over by Granite Hill. I'm not paying attention to chat, sorry. I hope everybody got to safety. Jenning as quick as I can. He's he's going down. Resistant to fire. Get him. I do not want to get hit with one of those. Uh, got him. All right, let's use the fang. Let's get a hard scale. Something else is here. There's Cavazine's Fane. Collect the heart scales. Beautiful. Nice. You okay, Inigo? There. 
Now you're healed. F5, baby. That was great. Regardless, I'm going to try Rec Room one day. Yeah, you absolutely should. Never apologize for taking sexy screenshots. <laughs> How does the fire look so good? Emperor's XD. I swear by that version. Inferno's pretty good. I used to use Inferno. I like Emperor's HD. Emperor's XD, while it has a few more patches, definitely, and I go for the 1K version, right? So, let me show you. Uh, I'll show you in the hearth. Let's go inside. Uh, we gotta get stuff off Frost. Where is he? Come here. Come here, Frost. Let's let's check to make sure nobody died. I'm pretty sure everybody. Oh, aside from a guard. All right. Let's just check to see if there's any other. I think some of the guards bit the dust, but I think all the citizens, yeah. Alright. I'm sure the Yarrow of Falkreath will send more guards to Granite Hill. And another way to do that is to, you know... Can't we knock? Yeah, they should all be inside. I mean, it's 3 in the morning. The guards are the only ones that are out. Okay. So, this is from Frozen Electrocuted Combustion. Uh, but there's a Parallax add-on. If you don't use Parallax, just use the uh, Transparency Fix for FEC. Right? You don't need them both. One overwrites the other. Okay? Uh, but the Embers... Damn. This is why I don't play without Minties. The Thunder, wait to see the Lightning. If I can... If I can get it. Those of you that have used it, you already know. Ah, it's kind of... Yeah, kind of too much. Alright. Uh, Frost. I am gonna take all your stuff. Too bad there's no take all with him. Unfortunately, he's got all my damn ingredients that we picked up from the last time. A lot of these we can just store away. Right? Okay. And we're a fatty now. Alright, so we kept the people of Granite Hill safe. Fortunately, two guards bit the, bit the bullet. inside. So the embers. So embers affects the flames. It affects more than that. Um, I run the 1k light version. Let me just see if I can pull this up. I'll tell you why. As soon as I get to the mod page. Because I want to make sure I have the right info for you guys. Alright, so... If you just type in Embers, you're going to get Embers HD first and XD second. I believe they're both by Mindflux. Uh, awesome author. I don't... I haven't actually uh, had any interaction with Mindflux aside from just using their mods and endorsing them. Embers XD has eight files. The main file is the top one. You'll see underneath it Embers XD 1K and XD 2K. I run the 1K version because it looks just as good as the main file. Saves you a little bit of VRAM. And it, like here, for example, so this is within uh, Crossway, right? So granite, and the, it's the movable stack, so the fireplace wood burning, right? You could see the embers on from the options I took, and the flames are are it, it's just a 1K overall, right? For the assets, um, there's some 
options you could choose, like extra flickering. So you'll see like uh, the embers like flickering out of the fire. Sometimes I use that, sometimes I don't. Ah, uh, there you go. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Gaming Terry. Yeah, it's uh, Deadly Spell Impacts. I have that installed as well. Uh, there's a Parallax add-on for that as well. If you don't use Parallax, you don't need it. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Do we have... Can we make... The boiled eggs? No, we don't want to do that. Okay. Let's... We only got a couple hours to sleep, so... Thistle, how have you been? All right, you wait for me at home. Oh, no, we chained him to Honeyside. No, no, you stay here. We don't want you to travel all the way to Honeyside. Okay. So the hard scales are going to Tolfdeer. I don't know why I have a lantern. We picked up a bunch of useless clutter. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, we should be good on potions. Put some of our ingredients inside here. Keep out some of our fish. I forget which ones I need. Frost salts, yeah, they're gonna stay in that. We'll keep the garlic. 40 more giant's toes. I know I need a goldfish. I know I need a hiss carp. I need one jazz baked grape, one juniper berry. And I keep a mammoth heart on me. This goes in. This, this, this. Another nern root, that's good. I think I need a river betty. All the saber cat stuff can go in. We'll keep the 12 salts. We need one silver side perch. We need three of them. We need one troll fat. Damn. So we can actually move. Okay, let's get a bonus here. Let's get a uh, sleeping bonus. Sky Farmir. Welcome in. Did I miss anybody else? Pop it in. Let me go back and check. Uh, what house is this? This is Crossway Cottage from Sky King's Granite Hill mod. Now, fairly soon, Granite Hill is going to get a really nice update. Sky King is the author of the Skyland suite of mods, uh, Bits and Bobs Clutter, Fantasia Landscapes. Uh, he's done a lot of other really unique things uh sky king signs and unique signs which i have i have those all running in this uh setup here bits and bobs is my go-to for interior clutter it basically made me take out like misc retext project forgotten retext projects uh a bunch of other interior clutter mods that were used to be fairly large and i, I kind of needed them i got rid of all of them and i just make sure that it's winning the conflicts I needed to win, right? Uh, and then, of course, the signs mod is its the best signs mod. I used to use WizKid signs. Uh, it's still a really good mod. Um, Sky Kings is better. As an objective opinion. And I could probably... That's its thats just... It's going to be fact at this point. They're, they're just better. They're made better. They look nicer. They fit better in the game. You could do, like, any type of setup. Whether you run... Like, let's just say they're the, the only thing from Sky King you use is the signs. You'd kind of be crazy not to use a few other things, but, you know, let's just say that for argument's sake. And you did a whole other setup. Those signs are going to fit perfectly in that setup. They're going to look fantastic. I haven't had any issues. Um, 
I've got a few extra towns in that use some of like uh, like the blacksmith stuff, and we'll show you like when we get to like Riverwood and and a couple other places. But this is um this is a uh, from the Granite Hill mod. Let me let me get my sleep first here for three hours, right? All right. Once we get up here, this is he's a high elf. And uh, the preset was originally done by Miggy Love. You guys are probably familiar with Miggy's stuff. Let me take off his uh, his robe so you can see. Uh, this is Reverian here. He's not on the big side. He's sort of a s slender to middle size build. He's got some runes. Uh, and he's got the red. Yeah, you can see the red. I did this. So the preset doesn't come with that. I've adjusted the hair the ears, <coughs> the beard, uh, I gave him the tattoos, uh, I gave him the, the face one, and I probably should have adjusted his nose now that I'm looking at it, because it looks more human than elf. I'm going to leave it as it is, because that's how we've known him. Uh, Mickey, Mickey makes some of the nicest presets. Uh, he's got a nice AIO pack, it gives you a few nice presets for each of the races, both male and female. Um... You'll probably want to check out the requirements, but you can add it and remove it anytime. It's just JSLOT preset files. Really easy to do. If you don't want them, deactivate them. Um, there's no plugins, no nothing, nothing that's going to add or remove mid-play. Uh, just don't don't go like changing your race uh, and gender during a play. You will corrupt stuff. Uh, make sure you do this all in the beginning of the game when you set your character up. Sky King Soul Gems are excellent as well, yes. Uh, they have the particle... Yeah, the particle uh, lights are built in, I believe. There's no need for any extras. That's that, See, that's one thing that I, I forgot. And I think the reason is because... What am I running? Well, let me look at my Soul Gems. So these are... Multi-Parallax, I think. Or are these rustic? These are rustic. Uh, because I've got Gist, and Gist has a Requiem patch. That's the only reason. I there was a because I, I had Sky Kings in, but it didn't have a patch with with Gist and with uh, Requiem specifically. It's one of those things that just made it easier for me. That's that's the only reason. And I don't have. Uh, well, we could put a dad. We could put Cavazine's Fang there, right? We don't need it anymore. Is it still a quest item? Keep it in the room. Yeah. There we go. Are we really that extra heavy? 462, huh? I'll throw the backpack on. I don't like doing the backpack, but that's fine. It's a mage backpack, but it makes us look kind of funny. All right, so shield rack, shield rack, weapon plaque. Let's get the uh, here. Since we got blood skull there, I can absolutely throw the headsman's cleaver. This is from anniversary edition, you guys. So remember, I was saying if you could pick this up early, if you use two-handed and you're you're a battle axe user, this is a fantastic uh, item to get early. The 12 points of bleed for 5 seconds is nice, right? Hits like a truck. But we don't use it. Neither does Inigo. Uh, Gorax Troll Gutting Knife. This is a standard, um... Standard sword. It's a shield rack. I'll throw you there. And... I think I'm going to change this. So let's take Encano's stuff off, right? Yeah, so Encano's robes are special, but the Thalmor stuff we can do. Let's get um, Inigo's old, his D.E. Atmore and stuff. Right. That looks better. And then this one's going to be the like a mishmash of things. It's got the Archmage Hood that's unenchanted. We'll give it the Dwarven Curus of Nesolved. And, uh, well, we'll give him some Thalmor stuff, eh? 
We're giving him some Thalmor boots. Do we have gloves for it? How about some Orcish Heavy? <laughs> Alright, any other weapons? Akaviri Katana? The glass bat. We want to sell that. The Akaviri Katana we can pop up. Inigo was using that for a while. So then there's a glass bow. Shield racks. We don't have any shields, surprisingly. Or not as many. Uh, how do you spell the name? Uh, M-I-G-G-Y-L-U-V. Miggy Love. I should have it here. Um, here, let me let me try this. Let me make a save real quick. Did you get it, Anna? They should be. Their they sh their page should pop right up. I believe. All right, so we can put a couple weapons in here, right? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna sell this. Thalmor cloak, huh? We'll sell the Thalmor cloak. I wanted to keep Ancano's robes. Because they're unique. What's this? Elven bow of aversion? We could sell that. I don't think we need that, right? Oh, we could break it down. Uh, that's the uh, turn undead enchant. This is looking nice. So we've got Yurik's staff. We've got the staff of Magnus. We've got the Blood Skull Blade, and now, look at that. we got the Headsman's Cleaver. I love this weapon. When I do an Orc character, it's going to be Heavy Armor Orc with this weapon. Probably is my main for the game. Until, well, maybe we get Volendrum. So we may go Battle Axes and Warhammers. Uh, anything else I want to add to the Armory chest? Let me see here. Stuff to sell, stuff to sell... We'll keep it in Kano's robes. We'll keep his cloak. The rest of the stuff goes upstairs. Okay, we should be good. And then I'll have to get um. We get we well we got to get some shields, I guess. I can probably craft some. We just have a interesting. Just a plain old orcish dagger. Maybe we'll make some weapons to, you know, put around. Uh, books. Since now that I know that we can browse the bookshelf at our leisure. Um, an anonymous letter, huh? We're keeping the black books. We need that. There's glassfish. Corpse prep one can go. We'll, re well we read Death Brand. That's quest. The fishing maps we really don't need. We'll sell that. The letters from Rallis. We have the list of... Note from a madman. Notes on Tamed Rabbit. Soren's Journal. That's all quest locked. Ethereum Wars. That's quest locked. Thief's note, that's quest locked. That's Hendraheim. Alright, they're all quest locked. Let's go sell some stuff. Yeah. And there's our Daedric bow that we we found uh where was that? It was on a pedestal somewhere. You found it in it? Nice, nice. You enjoying them sweet rolls, huh? Alright. So we have everything off... Oh, it's pouring again here. The nice thing about Granite Hill, though, is even if it rains... It's, uh, it's still pretty. Alright, let's... Let's see if the merchants have restocked their supplies. We'll go talk to Roar first. Well, Frost went outside, of course. There he is. 
Need something? Do you have money this time? Some may call this junk. He does. Me? I call them treasures. Can you afford a glass battle axe? Yes, you can. We don't need a woodcutter's axe. I don't know why I have that. We'll sell that to you. My alchemy stuff can stay. I probably should have put those in the home. I forgot about it. Uh, onworm sands we should have kept. Jewelry doesn't really weigh much. So let's see. We've got a bunch of magic recovery and magic regen. That's good. We have restore magic 24. I'm going to have to favorite. This is why I was looking for it. I couldn't see it. Uh, it's the only one that we're really going to need. Now, we don't need five pheasant press. Or the mammoth steak. We're keeping these, keeping these. We've got 40 sweet rolls. We're going to have to pack these on the horse. These are the stuff we need. The heart scales go to... What's his face? Other than that, we're good. Roar, do you have any... He's got Dispel Soul Gem. The caster sets free all souls currently captured. No, thank you. We're good on our... It took me a while to trap all them souls. The Brawler's Hide. Unarmed damage. And so these are the these are the robes, and I like. I got I have to admit, I like these robes from the Creation Club. They look really nice. Um, if you use them vanilla, they're really fucking overpowered. Requiem patches them and makes them reasonable, right? So instead of like being like 15, 15, and like 150, they're 100 percent. Which actually 100 percent regen's not that great. Uh, but you do get the twin cost redux, so that's really nice, right? Here, expert mage of illusion, which we don't need, but that's fine. Water breathing. I may actually buy this. Because we don't have the enchant, and I could use this. Shock guard robes. Shock deals 30 less damage. Okay, I did not expect to spend that kind of money, but okay. Thanks, Roar. All right, then. All right, then. Um, yeah, he was the only other place we had to go to. Great. He had enough. Yeah, a couple guards bit the bullet here. So let's look. Ah, dead body. Ah, dead body. Meet Malborn. Alright, we're not going up to Solitude yet. Um, Falkreath. We want to go to Grave Concoctions in Zarya. This, this is great. Um, you ready, Frost? Let me put my Morokai mask on. Make sure I'm buffed. We don't need the backpack anymore. Like I said, I try not to wear it. He's a mage. I feel bad for, for the guards. Um, and I should probably add the mod to bury the dead. You just need to carry a shovel in your inventory and use it at a dead body. I think it's a W Skeever mod, I could be wrong. Skeever's another one that makes a lot of really nice mods. Fixes, uh, quest changes, quest fixes. Some models, like really nice models and textures. They have a ton of mods on their page, so. You, uh, got some funny looking eyes there, citizen. sun shower here. Yeah, we may be changing our tree mod. 
I think I'm pretty set on this. <laughs> All right. Nice. This is the alchemist camp here. Which we will get three Nern root. Among other things here. Mushroom Grove Alchemists. Setting up camp here near this mushroom grove. Interested in seeing what exactly is causing their enhanced growth in this area. Today I'll be heading out to see what kind of effects the mushrooms and nearby Nernery are having on the ecosystem downstream. Alright. Beef stew, baby! That's perfect, we haven't had breakfast yet. Now we have. What's up, bees? Yeah, Skeever's, Skeever's fantastic. Um, I, again, another person I've never really had interaction with, but I use a lot of their mods. Another beef stew, that's absolutely beautiful. Alright, I know there's... mud crabs? Or was mud crabs? You're not doing yourself any favors, buddy. Good job, Inigo. Alright, let's go deal with the Spriggans. Because they're right down here. This is such a beautiful area, by the way. Let's have Frost wait. Oh, we killed them, that's right. Yeah, because we grabbed the, the Nerd Root here. So let's see. Spadefish, huh? Yeah, there was an alchemist here. Oh. Yeah, there he is. He's dead. I don't know what that is. Hold on, what is that? Liar tail and something. Alright. We'll take it. We go by foot. Another dragon uh, mound. Evergreen woods. Whoa. Sorry, stuff like that to me is gorgeous. I just look up, you see the rays coming through the trees. It's raining, but it's still nice looking. Let's go back to Fireball for a sec. Makes it a little bit easier with the AoE. Especially with the wolves up here. Good idea, buddy. Thanks, Inigo. Alright. Let's try and salvage the uh, chest there. 40 septums. Alright, let's go talk to Zarya.
I know we're sort of going a roundabout way. That's okay. Lauren Shack. Lauren Shack. We could take the. Uh, I guess we can't take anything. It's fine. It's not ours to take. Uh, what spell animation do you use? Uh, finally, first person spell animations. It's the only one. I only have two major animations. Uh, CFPAO and this one for spells. That's it. I went real easy on this setup. Um, but it looks really good. I think, anyway. Like we, like I said, we have Mage Armor 5. So here's the new... So you get, you get a, kind of an idea. I think it looks good. I like it. Definitely a lot of foliage here. Interesting. And this is, of course, the... Uh, so I left off the hidden Dark Brotherhood entrances. You guys know I usually have the one. I love the one for Falkreath because it hides perfectly. I hate the one for the Dawnstar Sanctuary. Wow, look at this. I hate the one for the Dawnstar Sanctuary. Can't stand it. Alright, you. We're gonna... We're gonna go up this way. You're familiar with this way. We'll go up the back side of... Uh, Valkyrie here. Through the cemetery. Let's try not to. Oh, let's try to get past the tree that we can't walk past. See, when it when you're in Falkreath and the rain stops, oh, it looks almost looks like it's snowing now. Yeah, look at this. It's gonna cover it with a little bit of snow. These are troubling times indeed. I don't think I've seen uh, the snow in the Falkreath. I've seen it in Whiterun. I've seen it in Solitude. There we go. Okay, let's go talk to Zarya. Now, we're not running Seasons of Skyrim. This is just my weather mod doing this. That's all it is. But yeah, they get... They get a little bit of snow on them. And the hair and the clothes, etc. There we go. Grave concoctions. Look at that. Beautiful. I love that snow on the door. Got something for hey, hey, monkey. Uh, CFPAO alone has excellent animations for everything. For yeah, it does. I I added this in just because I like this for the magic. That's all it is. And CFPAO's uh, so oh, this is the issue. This is why I added in. Their animations for the magic is a little bit slower. So if you try to take on like a dragon priest or one of the bosses, you can't physically cast fast enough to uh, offset their health regen. Meaning it's a futile battle. You're wow, not going to win. You're going to have to disable the animation mod. I tried that last time. We, we had issues. That's So I like it for the weapon stuff, but I don't like it for the uh, for the spells. Don't let the shop's name frighten you away. I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions. To uh, so the weather, uh, the base weather's Nat 3. Most current version. Uh, Zarya, here is the glass fish you needed. Excellent. I'm grateful for your 200 effort. septums, damn. No we got no experience mm -hmm. for it, though. But I have another request. This is here, what we were interested in. Oh, a uh, request from the Jarl? So what's this about? Indeed. I need you to find evidence of corruption within the city guard. City Can't guard. Prove it, but I could use your help. Okay. What did she give me? Had to have been a note, right? Uh, let's read the Riften Home Deck so we can at least get some XP for this. Uh, we got to read this. We got to go back to Solstheim already. Hope you're not angry, but I may need some more resources. Come around when you have time. Uh, boy, we just spent all that money on Honeyside, too, didn't we? 
Brig. There's Zog's like, journal. I thought I read this. Sorry is note from Jarl Sidgear. Okay. Yeah, monk. So it, it's base of Nat three. Um. I've got some addition, like Nat. So if you just use Nat, it's very particular. You can't really add on certain things, and it's all explained on the description page. It tells you like what can't be used, and it explains to you why it shouldn't be. People are still gonna do that anyway, but. Um, if you want something that looks nice, the person who created the mod probably knows best, right? But at the same time, there are a few things I've tweaked myself, so it's not pure Nat 3. Um, the EMB is custom. I've taken from several EMBs, and I'd like to release it, but again, it's waiting for permissions, and it's not likely going to happen. Um, but as part of, since I did borrow assets from a lot of other ones, uh, as a Wabbit Jack, I can get away with it. Because you will need these other mods as requirements. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh... So the Nat 3 EMB, yeah, I've used that before. It's okay. I like it. Um, I know Cabbage is the big popular. It's like the last like year and a half or whatever. I'm not a fan. Uh, it's like a really weird filter, and it hits really hard on your FPS. And I don't think the the niceties about it really outweigh the negatives. Like even on my setup with my graphics card it's uh it's almost not worth it and visually i think there's things that are better but that's just me zarya i have a matter that requires your skills as an apothecary i received reports of skuma having gone missing from the evidence chest there have also been mentions of one particular member of the guard neglecting his duties i believe these to be related this is where I require your talents. I request that you brew an invisibility potion and then pour it into an empty bottle of skooma. Then, find someone who you trust to deliver the disguised potion to the layabout always seen lounging in the barracks. If my suspicions are correct, he will consume the potion and be in for quite a scare. Hopefully this will set him back on a more honorable path. I look forward to your help in resolving this embarrassing ordeal. Please grant the enclosed ring to whomever you trust with delivering the potion. I'm sure it will be more. It, I'm sure it will be more. It will more than cover the expense of their efforts. Sid, it's ironic that Sid Gear is talking about putting somebody back on an honorable path, considering his nickname is Sleaze Gear. All right. Obtain the disguised invisibility potion from Zarya. Someone in the guard is uh, maybe using skooma, and the Jarl has asked for Zarya's help in stopping it. Zarya plans to brew an invisibility potion disguised as a bottle of skooma. I should give the bottle to the guard uh, suspected of using skooma in the barracks. Now that I understand Zarya and the Jarl's plan, I should obtain the disguised potion from her. Okay, so ring. I believe it's just a regular one. Yeah, these are all... Okay. Come on, my dear. Let's... Let's look at you. Let's see. So, yeah. Uh, bits and bobs. Right? By far the best... Uh, bar, uh, bar set. Hands down, best textures for this. Look at this. Like, look at the... Wow. Look at the detail. And the nicks. And the coloration. Uh, fantastic. Same with, like, the, like, I, I believe Noble Clutter's in there, so, like, the beds, the chairs, Browse this, as much as you like. this, Please. I believe the baskets, because I don't think I have anything touching them. Uh, firewood is in there, although I think I may be overriding the fire, same with, like, I think the kettles. 
You could check on the mod page too. If you go to like uh what's inside the mod, you could check the models out to see what it covers. Uh but it covers a lot. Alright, Zarya. Don't let the shop's name frighten you away. I have plenty of reliable tonics fantastic. and healing potions to sell. Uh, listen, so it sounds easy enough. I'll deliver the potion to the guard. Perfect. Here's the potion. Be careful. Give the disguised invisibility potion to the guard and the barracks. I'll return when the deed is done. Hopefully he learns his lesson. If you take care of this discreetly, you might be able to surprise him without warning. Report back to me when you're done. Interesting. Is so I have a chance to fail this, huh? I should hand over to the guard of the bat. Alright, so. In and go. I'm gonna have you, you wait here for a minute. Trading? No, just wait here for I me. Will miss you. I will miss you too. I don't think I have any invisibility potions. Sus, right? Yeah, it definitely is. Alright, Frost, you're gonna wait too. Barracks is over here. The hell am I going? So here's the question. Can I get away? Do I have any invisibility? Just the disguised one, huh? You become invisible for 30 seconds. All right. I don't know. I've never done this quest. This is uh, anniversary content. Uh, points to him, huh? Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. The Legend of Sancrator. Because we're a two-handed warrior. So this guy's a layabout, huh? Yeah, he looks suspicious. What do you need? Ulfric Stormcloak, the rifle high. Seems like you don't have any trouble keeping the edge off while on duty. I beg your pardon, sir. I don't know what you're getting at, but Whatever it is, it's not appreciated. Interesting. Well, here, take this. My way of saying thanks. I understand. Now, let's pledge never to speak of this again. Okay. Yeah, not gonna... Definitely not gonna speak of that to anybody. I don't have any invisibility. I don't think. Oh, I do! Doesn't last very long though with Requiem. Oh, maybe it does. But if you interact or do anything, it. Uh Taste. Somebody do something. Was that literally it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's silly. He took it down there. That's insane. Can he beat Skyrim as a narc? Nah, it's just one small quest for Zarya. That's not him. Where... Did he just take off? I think he did. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, man. Is that Jay's mod doing that? I don't know. Honestly, I thought it was anniversary Let me know because if you see anything you like. I had to get her a glass fish. Glass fish is from AE. Don't let the shop's name frighten you away. I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions to sell. 
All right, I don't think that guard will be using Skuma any longer. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Ring of Surroundings. Okay. Uh, what does this do? You're 40% harder to detect. Irresistible sneak attack multiplier is increased for one by... For melee weapon and half as much for range. Wow. Uh... I'll tell you in a second what it's from. Call upon me if I can be of any service. I want to click on the ring, damn it. Browse as much as you like. Please. Uh, no, this is a Requiem patch for... Yeah, it's from Anniversary Edition. It's from Fishing. So this is a quest from Fishing, uh, but this Requiem patch adjusts the values for this. That's another way, if you ever want to get something small like this, just turn your collision off and get as close to it as possible. Normally I would use the mouse scroll wheel. See how it's going to different things? Like there's thrice bitten, see how it highlights him? The pelt floor, which I can't see, it's probably over there. Uh, this farm mesh right here. Farm interior endo one. And then back to nothing, so. Cool. Uh, let me get back up to normal level. Sorry about that. Oh, am I still... Oh, jeez. Yeah, you have to have nothing off, and then... There we go. Thank you. We're not gonna wear this, of course, but that would be great for a steep character. Did you get that early on? Oh, yeah, Anna already said it. There we go. Yo, Omi the homie, welcome in. Mega Black, welcome in. I think the guard had invisibility and he ran off. Yeah, because we gave him, it was like a bottle of skooma. Mega, welcome in, dude. I, lo I love that, Omi, the uh, Pikachu. Let me do this. Let's see, we're at... Oh, we gotta go back to Solstheim, because we got that letter from Rallis. The problem with that is, like an idiot that I am, I purchased Honeyside. Right, we had about 13,000 septums, a little bit less than that, right? And I also upgraded it, so I spent a good portion of my money, and I believe for Rallis to go to the next step, we're gonna need 5,000. Three or five, I'm not sure, but we're right under that. 2466, so we're going to need to make some quick cash. Alright. How to do this. Where to do this. What quest will give us a good amount of money to go over there? Maybe the white file. That's 500. Right? And then, oh, we gotta bring the heart scales to Tolfdir. We could do that. So let's go to. Let's go to Windhelm. I'm trying to see what else I have in my journal, maybe. These are all on Solstheim. And I can also sell. Oh, I could sell. I've got a couple of uh, East Empire pendants. We could probably get a couple more of them. And Nordic jewelry, too. We could probably do that. Interesting. Let's read the stranger's note. I haven't done this. I was kind of holding off on doing this. I know it's been in there. We got this early on in the game when we went to Riften the first time. Markarth has a few fetch quests. Yeah, we could do that too, Anna. We are kind of close. And I do have the fishing job there. So you're here about a job. 
You don't know what it's for, but I'm sure you're intrigued. It's alright, you don't need to know everything just yet. There's a strong box in Bully's house, placed on a dresser next to his bed. Find a way to crack it open. Your instructions for the job are inside, a stranger. Okay. That's going to be difficult to do. So let's see. Let's take Frost. Sorry, Jerilith. Sorry, Goat. I don't think I have anything else to sell. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tulin. Carriages to all the cities in Skyrim. Don't forget. I want to throw a cloak on there, buddy. Where do you want to go? Uh, how about you take me into the Reach? Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Uh, you know what we could do? Drop me off at Soljan Sinkle. Climbing back. This is an there easy one to get, and then we can go to Markarth. I'll tell you why. Uh, oh, that's the other one. Forgot about that tree. Yep. That's right from Nature of the Wildlands. Needs a... Uh, I could probably just move it right here. Hold on, let me get the ID out of that real quick. Okay. Screenshot. There we go. Uh, but in first person view, I... It's not problem. there. No, it's right to my right. <laughs> it's one of them new uh, carriage growing trees. Coffee tastes really good today. Yeah, the nice thing about this, um, what do we got? 256. Here, let's do this. Um, Frost, I'm gonna need you to hold Froki's bow. I should have given it to Froki when we were in Riften. He he would have given me some money. Shit. All right, uh, hold this. We only have one East Empire pendant. And these things, I really should be enchanting them. We'll do that when we get to Markarth. That, actually, speaking of which, we'll take all the jewelry back because I can get some money from that one. Riften, okay. Uh, okay. We'll get some money here. So yeah, here is uh Alright, he can wait around. Whoa there! I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. He gives you a good amount of money for clearing this. And it's pretty easy to do. Why isn't your mind safe? We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Drogo. Got me some coffee right now. I like my coffee I like my women. So Warm and sweet. Ooh. Uh, what if I handled them for you? You're joking, right? Those bone walkers will tear you limb from limb. But I'm doing the, uh... Killed, go ahead. Well, it's always hot coffee. I can't drink... I'm not a cold coffee drinker. Uh, yeah, but we're doing the light and sweet thing today. I usually drink it black. For the most part. Um... I feel like you get the best taste uh, out of whatever, whatever brand it is that you like uh, that way, but... Yeah, today's light and sweet. Mainly because I really don't drink... It's decaf, too. I, I've been drinking decaf coffee for the last, like, I think we're going on, like, three years. Um, but I usually drink herbal tea. I did switch over. Um, and I've got a really nice orange hibiscus herbal tea. Except I had it yesterday. I had three cups of it yesterday. Um, zero caffeine in that. Uh, it's really good. It's not bitter, but I usually add a little bit of honey to it, like some raw organic hoodie, uh, honey. Alright, so, uh, first things first, do we need buffs? Yes. Let's, let's take, uh, wow, let's just take a Horker stew. I'll save the Horker and Ashiam for when we get to Solstein. We have to make more of that, we're gonna have to kill some more Horkers. 
which sounds really bad to say that, but... And we'll trap some souls while we're in here. Ready? Make a save. We'll get some money from Perth afterwards. Hopefully these drug are okay. I think the boss in here is kind of a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, we want to switch over to incinerate. Uh, for sure. Yeah, I don't want uh, fireball taking everybody out. Ow. Where's Inigo? Did I make him wait? Hold on. Where were you? Waiting is boring. Okay. We go? Yeah, follow me. I'm right behind you. All right. Yeah, he wasn't following me. I don't know. Oh, I made him wait inside of uh, grape concoctions. My bad. You missed. I didn't. Now here's another thing. We could pick up all the moonstone. This is this is one of the big moonstone mines. This in uh, ironically Mazolst for the college. You you get a lot of moonstone in there. There's a few loose pieces. Okay, there's one right there. Since we're not um, not worth it. Since we're not going to be doing smithing. Uh, I may as well, because you could sell this to Perth, too, on top of your reward. Which I think he's going to give you 500. I'm not sure. I hope you do not find a baby giant in that rock. Does that first-person animation throw anybody off? If so, I'll go into third. I, I have no problem with either animation. I figured I would ask because I know a lot of the first person stuff is, uh, it's, it can be difficult for some people. Rock warble leg. Well here, I'll just, this we'll do it to safe. compare. This one's normal. Alright, I'll go third person then, Anna. But Omi's okay with it. Okay. Yeah, we'll go, I'll go third person with the animations. Digging when you're buried comes in handy. <laughs> may fall, you can break them all if you keep your pickaxe handy. <laughs> I freaking love him. I love him. So good. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do this. Let's let the... Oh, you know what? Yeah, they're going to aggro on me in a second. Can I... My, I think there's two veins in this area you can mine. Yeah, he's so good. He's just... He's the best. Inigo is the best. If you guys do get a chance to use him and Lucian together... Uh... By, uh do it. Absolutely do it. Like I said, Lucian's made very, very well. Um... We'll let Flame Girl here handle some things first for a minute. They don't want to come out? Oh, don't hit her. Ow. Yeah, so Incinerate takes out a lot. Uh, it, it's a lot of Magicka for these. We can sell that. Yeah. Poor Breton, who got himself uh, caught up. Now, sometimes these little urns have other nice things in them, too. Uh, we're only taking the Bone Meal. Yeah, so if they don't have, like, gems or anything like that, we're not going to be taken. Yeah, don't Watch hit the one in the middle. Rocks. I know, I know. 
this is a little difficult. All right, because of the trap here. Let's we'll see if we can get them to come out. Yep. This will be great. They should open the door. Those are the spikes. Let's let them kill themselves. Whoa! Not immune to that, apparently. There you go, guys. Get in here. Come on. That was the Atronach blowing up. You okay? At my best. Well, you feel. A good thing I heal quickly. You do. I heal you even quicker. Should be some. Oop. This is my doctor, or one of my doctors, guys. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back here. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, what they do is the way that it works with these appointments that I have is I get automated. Uh, let me turn the volume back down. Um, it's automated, but it's to confirm whatever set appointment you have. So, And uh, when they come like that, I have to take them. Uh, otherwise, they will assume that I'm not going to take them can't have that so uh, let me see do we put do we put a perk in anything I think we did we finished off alteration yeah we did okay so guys alterations done uh, we have literally everything we've got all three in magic resist we've got spell armor we've got uh, the meta magical thesis and empowerment we have stability we have our absorption thank God and master and when we go back to Tolf Deer, We'll, we're going to give him the heart scales. We've already got Mage Armor 5, which is essentially Dragon Hide. It's, you know, it's renamed uh, because they, you know, categorize it by number. It's just how Requiem does it, okay? Uh, but he's going to give us something else. So maybe we'll pick up that uh, Lightning Speed mod, or uh, Lightning Speed spell I was curious about. Maybe Paralyze 2, I don't know. Maybe something different. I will have to see. Um, again, I've only got the one in Enchanting because... While we do enchant things for money, uh, all the stuff that we're wearing is better than anything I'm going to be able to enchant. Right? All enchanted items consume less energy for staves and stuff like that, yeah. So just like lockpicking, you can't lockpick without taking like the first perk. This is the nice thing about Requiem. Well, let me just show you here. 
Lock picking only has five. One, two, three, four, five perks. That's it, literally. Cheap tricks, so it gives you plus three to your expertise. It's a little bit different than the way that it works, right? You can now also forge lock picks with craftsmanship, so you need kind of the two, right? Advanced lets you, I think, pick up to adept. Sophisticated is expert. Master, it's obvi obviously master. Uh, but treasure hunter, you're able to locate secret spaces and containers. Uh, when you search, 15% chance to find special loot. This is actually really good. You may be thinking, well, geez, like, your magic skills have a ton of perks. Lock picking's only got five. Yes. You can't pick locks if you're playing this type of character without these perks. It physically won't let you. A way around that is to use um, lock picking overhaul. So you could bash them open. This particular character wouldn't use it. He's not a. I mean, he does use a one handed weapon, but he's not a strong person. It wouldn't be like if I was running the orc. Right? Orcs you know, aren't sneaky characters, they're not going to be picking locks at the same point. He absolutely should be able to swing a two-handed warhammer and bash these locks open. So it's a nice little addition. Same thing with, um... Uh, let me see here, what's another good one to do? Uh, pickpocket. Your chance is zero unless you start taking points in here, right? Um... There's not a lot of perks in this either. But this is also a fantastic tree if you're playing a uh, like a ranger or thief style. Same with speechcraft. You can shout more often. We may actually be picking this up at some point. But these are all pretty good perks for a shout-based character. Uh, the merchant and the uh, haggling side is on the left. Shouting side is on the right. You have two immediate, immediate perks that are open to you. Uh, this one opens up when you learn from the graybeards, I think. Of course, we do have two perks, and I want to get um, I want to get fortified muscles as well. So we need immunization, which is a, it's just a waste right now. And uh, illusion, I decided we weren't going with. I could have put these perks elsewhere, and it is what it is. Conjuration's another one. We're gonna probably grab uh, flexibility, but we make it elemental binding first. Your thralls are immune. Uh, they're immune. What's the other one? Hold on. Spiritual binding. Increases the strength of all your summoned. We want this too. Conjure thralls are immune to banish and control. Uh, we're going to probably pick this up first. Okay. Let me get back to what I was doing. Salt. Sorry for that. I know, I got a little sidetracked. Uh, there's something underneath here, too. I don't know if you guys ever... Go down in here. There should be a chest or something. Right? Oh, and it's locked. And I can't use... Uh, I can't use my spell here. Oh, there might have just been some gold. That's fine. Heal up. Let me do this. Let me get. Uh... No, don't worry about it, Indigo. I like this healing aura. This lasts like 25 minutes. Alright, let's just get all the buffs up. So I don't know what I have on me. It's good to have everything. Alright. There's a trap right there. Send him up. Yep. Hear it? Ooh, flawless emerald. Nice. Maybe we'll sell some of these flawless ones since I'm not doing enchanting. You ready? This is gonna be. This could be either be really difficult because I think this guy shouts. I hear him already. And you got that to deal with. He does. Oh, and it's frost. Oh. Never mind. Take you. I think there's a few more in here. Yeah, let's get that moonstone while we can. 
That way we could sell all this to Perth. We'll get a little bit of extra money. Is this permadeath? No, no, Omi. Uh, I I'm one of the few who likes to play this, uh, but I don't I don't do permadeath plays. I get really attached to my characters. I put a lot of thought into them. So if I were to like randomly die for whatever reason, whether it's like stupidity on my part or just a freak thing of the game, uh. Yeah. I know there's other people that do it really well. Uh, Feral's one that plays Requiem permadeath, and, like, he's really fucking good at Requiem. One of us has to stay alert. But I like I liked to do, you know, a little bit of roleplay with it. Um, Ring of Minor Wielding, we could sell that, too. Yeah, we're picking up some good stuff to sell. Okay. I think there, and there's an enchanted sword and a briar heart up here, right? Two-handed? Yeah, glass of... Ooh, a paralyzed. That's a good one. There's the briar heart, see? I don't steer you wrong. I know where stuff is in this game. Even with Requiem change and stuff. I can still figure this shit out. <laughs> Wind was really kind. She was sitting there saying in her stream about my weird, uncanny ability to uh, know where shit is. I've logged, like, we're coming up on 44,000 hours in this game since its release in 2011. That's a lot. I've... We could also go to Arkanthems. Oh, he's right here. No, no, no. Come here. We're keeping the mine closed hey, buddy. That crypt is clear. Listen. I cleared the mine of the Draugr. You guys are good to go. You did? We were waiting for the Yarl to send an entire regiment to clear You need instant one. mining ASAP. Now we can get back to work. Thank you. There's another good one, too. There's a spell one. What do you, he gave me a thousand. Okay, we'll take a thousand. I only thought I was getting 500. How about we sell you some Moonstone? We picked up. We picked it up inside. Make your job a little easier. Buy everything you've dug up. Mm -hmm. 540. 15, 1540 septums for all that. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Do we pick up anything else that I can, I can break down? Can I not use the smelter? Thank you. Okay. Now, thirty-nine. I want to have like five thousand. We got to get to Markarth. So, Frost, you around? Let's go over here. a few things here. Obviously, um, I do not want to go down there right now. Especially at night when I can't freaking see them. That's uh, the Karth Spire. There's a dragon mound over there. What I'm looking for here, let's just set up our tent. And I hear wolves. Frost, you hang out. the hell are they? There, let's let... There. Get him. No, no they didn't. Alright. Slide down. You like the instant mining, Sky King? It's super handy. Here's the nice thing, too. When I do, like, a regular non-Requiem play, I'll run complete crafting overhaul. It's uh, Cryptopier's mod. One, one of Cryptopier's big mods. That and uh, CACO, so complete alchemy and cooking overhaul. The crafting one allows you to go into the MCM and uh, you strike the... Uh, you strike it, like, one or three times. So... And, of course, like, you could also change your yield to, uh, your ores to ingot yield. So, like, I think by default, five ores smelts into one ingot. But you could change that back to three, I think. Two is normal. Uh, two is default. Three is what I set it to. So every three ores becomes one ingot. If you want it harder, set it to five. That means you're going to have to um, mine five ores, and you're only going to get one ingot for those five. That's the challenge, so.
Uh, I've played the game since I was in high school, 2012 to 16, but still forget a lot. Yeah, I've... Omi, let me tell you this. I've been playing this nonstop since release. Uh, there was a two and a half year period. I had a car accident and I couldn't walk. Some of you guys know this. A lot of you probably don't. I had nothing to do. And I was already hooked watching a lot of roleplay for this on uh, YouTube. So I was spending my days um, healing. <laughs> You know, being a little depressed, obviously, and it just sort of comes with the territory, and, and just playing the crap out of this game to the point where I got so into character creation and build and role playing, and then, you know, it was during like when Special Edition had just come out, so, you know, I, I, was, I was modding it on console, we were getting mods ported from Nexus and original mods made, and, um, you know, doing it that way. Um, I was literally spending from morning until I went to sleep. Some days only sleeping like maybe four hours and getting back up to do it all again because I, I couldn't do anything else. You know? I, I wasn't modding myself at the time. Like, I wasn't creating anything. I didn't have a PC for the next, you know, two years, three years. But yeah, I was, um. Th and that's when Couch Warrior was putting out his, uh. his stuff on his channel. Um. He's got to be one of the best Skyrim storytellers. Uh, he doesn't do it anymore. He actually makes music now. Um, so, you know, he's part of Character Crusade. Um, but man, and he voiced his characters. There's a few series that he did that there was a bunch of us called the Dark Cabal that we were in on that we helped him set things up. We created mods for him, uh, helped him with his setup. Um, he did all the music, he did all the voicing, uh, and he, like I said, he's the inspiration for a lot of us to do what we do. EJ Lowell's another one, too. She's, they're, well, both of them are linked on my About page if you guys check them out. Um, Couch Warrior went so far in depth where he, uh, he had multiple setups with multiple voiced characters, and he would voice them at the same time. To the point where we saw three different NPCs being voiced by him all at the same time live. One of the most impressive things I've seen. And like not even not even like a a hiccup in the v like switching over from voicing one to another to the third at all. Like a super talented dude. Yeah. Yeah, go watch and EJ too. Uh, EJ's fantastic. She kind of picked up the mantle when Couch Warrior sort of, you know, retired, I guess you could say. Um, and she's also a, a talented musician. She composes all of her own music for her series. The big one that she's finished with now is the Dawnbreaker Saga. Um, the new series is called Grifters. It's ongoing. Um, with And they all have their own unique characters. Uh, they're all voiced by her. Etc. Fantastic. Just uh, every Wednesday, uh, EJ puts a new one out. Around 11, 11 or, yeah, about a, 10 or 11 Eastern. I think with Daylight Savings, it's now 11. So, let me, uh, let's, let's sleep for the night. Let's get a couple hours. Uh, get about eight hours, right? We'll get up early morning. Six. Six is pretty good, yeah. It's a little, uh, well, it's a little on the dark side. That's fine. Maybe we get some candlelight going this time. I do like the candlelight. This lasts freaking forever. Okay. Oh, that is pretty. Alright, let's pack this bad boy up. Let me let me get this down. I gotta get some shots of this. This is nice. Look at this. Early morning. I love the the reach is my favorite hold. It's my favorite region. Uh hands down, just for stuff like this. It's trees, it's very mountainous. Um, I mean, you gotta deal with the... Wow, he's a crispy critter. You gotta deal with the Forsworn, but I mean... You know. You guys ready? We're not going anywhere near there. We're gonna try and get around. And... Uh, well, he put a marker on the Salvius farm here. Yeah, there should be a dragon mound around. Yeah, there it is. We can get down this way. 
I think I only watched like half the series. Oh, the new Witcher. Uh, what season three? Season three was okay. I'm just is season four or th I think three is uh, Cable's last. Cause he's he's out of the Witcher series, right? Do we know why? Did anybody like have the official scoop on that? Like what the reasoning was? I feel like I, I read a bunch of different things about oh, this is dangerous. Can you make it down there, buddy? Okay. Ow. Karth River. Okay. That's another one that's nice. You got the broken up bridge there. We're not going over there. Oh, there's mud crabs, aren't there? Hi, buddy. Yeah, look at the size of this one. Look at his health. That's a level 20 mud crab. Yeah, you don't want to mess with them. <laughs> All right, let's let's carry on. Inigo, you better catch up, buddy. I still haven't taken care of the trees here. I know it's it's not even the trees; it's this stupid rock that they decided to put them on. Let's here. I'll show you. Look at this. That, right? The trees look fine. That rock is fine, but see the roots? I had heard that he didn't like the direction the writers were going uh, because they weren't staying true to the lore, and he was a huge Witcher fan, so prob probably added to himself. Yeah, I have no idea. Like I said, I, I have no idea. There, there's one. Look at that. The roots just, like, that's, that's a tree that I would probably place further up and switch the angle but the problem is getting through here see that you got to go up against the mountain to get in we've already been to reach water obviously there are gems in that boat flaw there's guaranteed flawless ruby but down there uh, if you're looking for one to do the periate quest and you need a flawless ruby that boat down there has uh, a guaranteed uh, flawless ruby. Another way, to, another way to get one, but it's by chance, is uh, picking up Harold's sword in uh, from Balamond and Riften and giving it back to him. Real easy to do, real easy fetch quest, uh, but you've got like a 50-50 chance of him giving you a flawless ruby. Another easy way to do it. And this is the bridge. This is the this is the troublemaker. So, El Sopa has a fix for it, but with Nor like it, I think Sky King said this in his stream the other day. With Northern Roads, you need a patch for a lot of stuff. Um, there are three patch hubs for Northern Roads that are on Nexus. You need all three of them. The third patch hub is all manual selection, and you may not need them all, but just double check with them. Make yourself a note in MO2 in the notes section to. Reinstall mod as appropriate, check for patches. That's what those little white note cards say on my MO2. I, I have them for anything that has like a large foam mod or something I know I'm going to need to run again. This is one because this bridge will mess things up. I feel like and this is proper. The way that this looks now is good. This is the way it's supposed to be. Um, I've got two things remodeling and retexturing this over northern roads. And then El Sopa has the uh, fix for these. It's not shown here because it's just mesh and texture. It's a mesh fix, really. See, look at that. Look at that sun hit things. And then, of course, the blending. I I tried my best to blend that in, but there's at, at the level I mod at, I can't do blending very well at all. So I think I did a pretty good job with that. If you've ever seen that bridge without the fix on, it looks fucking terrible. I don't think I'm going to be going with ZZJ's horse overhaul again. I don't like how the main keeps switching. And what else do we need to do here in Riften, right? There was something else.
Oh, sell some shit. All right. Frost, you can come up here. You're gonna wait right there. Come on, Indigo. Hurry up, we're going inside. I also heard that the writers had said uh, that they actually did not like the lore and wanted. <sighs> See, like, I fucking hate writers when they do shit like that. I know, like, for TV and movie adaptations, you need filler content, right? But there do? should be enough the that they don't need to change all that. You're closing the stall. That's fine. Yeah, there it is down there. Oh, we can get some extra money here. There's Eltris. There's Hathor. Where's Amalag? Hey, buddy. Colorful. I right? I'm a mage. Uh, who else works here besides me and Hathor? So mostly you guys. Mullish barks at us all day, but I wouldn't call. Karma, them. what up, bud? A Welcome few in. people in the Warrens used to work here. The game broke some bones a while back. Altris quit. Kareen is too sick. Teltris seems like he's hanging out here. So tell me about these Forsworn. We've lost a lot of good people to that damn crusade. Drive out the Nords, they say. Well, the Nord ain't driven out. Oh, me, it's just practice. That's all it is. Making this up like I have. It's it's a lot of trial and error, to be honest. And you got to find stuff that you like. Like, get a good graphical base first. Right. Uh, Skyrim's going well, Karma. I hope you're doing doing well as uh, also. Uh, yeah, Omi. So get a good graphical base. He's a damn tyrant. For Always example, goaded by the silver Skyland AIO. Out of us. Add that to your setup they without any NB first, we get and, and do a, a comparison between kind, the base rulers? game what and what you doing? see with that. Right. We almost all use. It either as our main texture or uh, our main texture, and then we sort of overwrite a couple things that we want to do. And it, it's it's just it's just a matter of trial and error. I mean, you gotta you gotta test these mods out, try them out, make a new game. Coc Riverwood is your friend to test things out, uh, among other places too. You're gonna try to talk you know? sense into that orc. Don't try to do oh, too much at once. It. Start small. Do do the things that like. You know you want to change, but don't don't go crazy like doing like like one little you know texture mod for every little thing all at once because it will it will eventually screw you up and you will get lost in it. Until next time. Mullish. Didn't You're see you standing there. Workers. What are you doing here? Uh, what do you mean one of your workers? You hard of hearing. I yeah, I got a mask on my face. My ears I'm are covered. Our quota. What do you want? I want you to leave Amalag alone. What? Are you telling me how to treat my wife? Feeling much better? The migraines finally calming down. Nice. Good to hear, man. Yeah, Riverwood and Right One. Places you know by heart already. It's easy to recognize the changes. Yeah. For some people, that's not even. Some people don't go there. Um, people that do alternate starts and they're like sick of White Run Riverwood area, they may go to Solitude or, you know, Winterhold, Windhelm, Riften. Riften's a big one. All right, all right. There we Sound go. Like a damn legion officer. Yeah. But I get it. I'll give him a break. This but yeah, Riverwood and Whiterun are the two easiest. That's where I go. Look at Hathor still. He's just Fight hanging well. out. All right, guy. Alish will beat me if I stop working. He's not gonna beat you. Don't worry. I convinced him to ease up. <laughs> I don't believe. I mean, maybe it. he'll still beat you Someone's a little bit. Someone's sticking up for us. Here. It's a week's wages for me, but you've earned Sweet. every coin. What are you earning a week? 50 septums? Man. Part of the poors, huh? Good day. I could smelt metal in half the time as you weak-willed pigskin. All right. Do I have to do everything? Let's get our rod de la fishing out. And we're going to... I don't know. Do we just need to collect four things from here? I forget what the quest told me. Smart man came and gave me a valuable piece of advice. Is modded combat, huh? I went from vanilla combat to modded 
combat slightly to... I tried the soul stuff. Um, and now I'm back to main, focusing on first person combat. I don't know what it was. I didn't like the soul style in Skyrim. It doesn't fit to me, you know? Like, they're good. They're well-made mods. It's just... There's a pog fish. All right, let's try this again. We're, uh... Yeah, he's one of those weird mages that likes to fish. I don't know how I factored that in, but sure, let's go with it. River Betty, huh? Fish fish up four items from the water in Markarth. Okay. I, I don't know what four items they need. So maybe non obviously non fish, right? Wasn't th weren't they saying the water here was a little polluted? Oh, another river, Betty. Let's keep going. I mean, we're getting alchemy fish, right? It's fine. Yeah, everyone has different tastes. That's that's how it is, you know. That's no no different. Soul style. So like uh, Elden Ring, Dark's the Dark Souls mod uh, games. There's a bunch of mods that uh, alter the combat to that style, sort of. So like ADXP, MCO, and then like the stance add-ons and things like that. I've done all that before. It's like, it's different. You got to get used to it. Um, it. They look cool, but like, for me personally, I don't like that combo. Just a me thing. That's all it is. Wow, man. We're not getting anything here. What mod changed... The money you get. Requiem. Yeah, Requiem changes. Requiem does everything in this game, Karma. Almost everything. Um, the only thing I've changed is I fixed the barter limit rate. And the glitch where if shopkeeps get over like 31,000 septums, they can glitch out. Crash the inventory and stuff like that. So I have trade and barter and then I have the barter limit fixed. That's it. I always run trade and barter. Plus it has a Requiem patch. Man. Maybe there's another spot to fish here. This is the one that the marker's pointing me to. Yeah, it's the J Serpa mod, the The fishing. And you may think the water's clear, it's not, it's because of the snow. Did we lose it? We lost the catch. Here. Let me show you. You can see it right there, it's... The one thing that Realistic Water 2 has over water for E&B is with this type of snowfall going on with Nat. That's base Skyrim, huh? And that's resort side, okay. Yeah, no, it, this is the section, yeah, you need to fish off here. Look, Arker's pointing there. Let's try it again. Yeah, Jay Serpa makes fantastic mods, too. He's another one, too. Almost all of his releases are guaranteed to be number one on the hot files. Dwemer Gear, there we go. Does that count? Okay, there's one. Alright, let's go again. Maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, since the composer's name is, uh, so, oh, for the, okay. Dwemer Cup, there's two. I should have probably been more clear, Monkey. Yeah, I meant like the Dark Souls style. I'm just used to saying soul style, and it's sort of being universally known that that's, that's the third person stuff. Like, it's all third person. I just, I can't do combat in third person all the time. 
Like with Requiem, it's a lot easier for first person because you have more control. Wow, all right, we got lucky. There's three. Perfect. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a fourth here. I was just goofing. So now I feel like the asshole. <laughs> yeah, well, there we go. There's four. Collect the bounty from Rarick. All right. Uh, I gotta throw the damn backpack on. Okay. Let's... Let's collect the backpack. Collect the backpack. Collect our bounty. Wow, this is really nice. Look at this. I had to do some editing of the trees uh, here. Again, like I said, no uh, no JK City, no Dawn of Skyrim, just some trees. Uh, this, the textures here are, so these are parallax. These, this is an older mod uh, for the textures. Uh, frankly, HD Markarth. Uh, and then I've got the extension, and then I've got the parallax add-on. And you may think that's that's an issue. It's not floating. There's a that's that's accurate. It's a little uh, little pool. You could sit on the bench and look across. Yeah, I know, Inigo. I'm coming out of here. Don't worry. Eh, get out of here. Let's collect our bounty from Rarick here. Inside should look really nice. Oh, let me drop a save. I don't think we've been inside Understone, have we? We could kill Nimi while we're here. That'll get us some money. Markarth Jacuzzi. <laughs> I usually run in third, but fight in first. I do a lot of that too, Mama Bear. That's, yeah. Like right here, like if I was just moving, but like... Because of the stamina management, I need to slow down, so it's easier for me what just to stay in first. I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial. Oh, he looks good. Look at that. First, you take away towers. Now you're keeping us from seeing our so does he. Dead. You and the Yara will answer. Brother Verilus. Alright, none of our business. That's enough, Thongor. We're done. Drop that off here. Let's get a good look at uh, actual It looks almost as good with the LFX. Uh, I have tested the uh, JK stuff with Sill. Skyrim is luminous. Uh, it needs some patching. But it looks fan fucking tastic. But ultimately I decided to go with Lux purely for the fact that for what I'm running, um, it's lighter than ELFX. It does have way more patches, but Lux just needs to load a little bit lower, that's all. ELFX really should do the same. Um, just a traveler, and I've got some questions. Very well. She looks good too. The mournful throne. Let's see here. There's Igmund. There's Rarick. Ah, uh, Rarick. He looks good too. Look at that. Listen, I've cleaned up the water around here. Thank you. Here, this is for you. You have to figure out your FPS situation. Never got the hang of archery or spells in third. Uh, archery is actually really easy in third. For for me, I should say. Um, a lot of people just don't like it. They go in first. I actually have a harder time in first person with archery than I do in third. Mainly because I get to see my character, where they're aiming, and then, of course, I can mentally calculate the trajectory. I don't know how this happened. It just sort of did. How much gold did he give me? Did anybody see that? Did he give me, like, 50? I have letters to read. Letters to read? Okay. Feline looks As great. Security Look at her. My chief concern. Beautiful. She's got the uh, the war paints. Dressed full in Dwarven. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, Dwarven heavy for her. She's not in the light stuff. I kind of wish she was in the light stuff, but House Carls need to be well armored. And then Igmund, of course. What brings you here? 
He looks fantastic too, look at that. I'm here to tell you dragons have returned to Skyrim. Yes, I know. We have some advantages if they come here. The city is built into the mountainside, so it's hard to reach into. Uh, Pedro, 400. Everything is made of stone. Even what is 400? We'll have no trouble from dragons. 400 mods? Next list won't have JKs in it. I love, but I've... Oh, for the interiors, monkey, right? Yeah, I'm running the JK interior stuff. Uh, funny enough, it's an old mod, and you need a couple fixes for it. Distinct interiors is pretty good. If you read the mod page, it hasn't been updated in a while. But if you're looking for something simple with one plugin and just a couple patches... I believe all the major lighting overhauls work with it. And it's compatible with Immersive Citizens. That's a big selling point for me. Immersive Citizens almost never leaves my setup, except when I play Requiem. Did you know there was an attack in your marketplace? My gods told me. Poor Mark. Oh, we JK Skyrim. The attacker was shouting some nonsense yeah, I, that's why I don't use the city overhauls. JK's, Dawn of Skyrim. Markarth has its troubles. Uh, no force one in this city. ETAC even. I probably would use Lord. that before I would use the other two, but... We are you gotta get it from Arthmore's site. And the current version isn't as compatible as the old version. But then again, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of city overhauls. I like to... I like to build them myself, as I like to say. Not not like make a mod to do it, but to kind of set it up the way that I want. You know. Okay, we're uh, we're actually pretty if you good. Excuse me, I have a city to run. Okay, we'll leave you to run your city, and I can go over. There's a smith over here. We've already read that. I don't want to pick that up. So, for example, uh, with the LFX. And you have JK's. This room here, if you walk in here with the LFX, this room disappears the second you walk in. I haven't been able to figure it out. There's Thongvar. Uh, Ma. I'm the Jarl's personal blacksmith. <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't sell you a few pieces for a fair price. Yeah, JK interiors are pretty... You know, I, honestly... Um, I was thinking about this the other day. There aren't too many other good AIO interior mods. JK's does the most. Distinct Interiors does a lot, but doesn't cover everything. But you don't want to do, like, every single thing in the game, right? Like, there's a few shops that, obviously, I don't think JK's will ever, ever touch. Um... That's not to say that they won't, but I, you know. So, I don't know. Should I try my hand at making, like, interior overhauls? I don't know. It's it's tedious. Like, for me, it would be really difficult to do. Uh, I'm thinking of buying some armor. No, I'm not. Uh, what do you have for sale? Take a look. All right, let's see what he has here. Oh, he's got a full set of orcish lights. How about that shield? Is that better than what Inigo has? That's 270. No, I can't go spending money. We're, we're selling. We're selling that. And that. And that. I need to enchant these. Major wielding we don't need. Keeping that. It's, we're enchanting these. We're going to have to go over to um, Kelsimo's room. The gear, the strut... 5,000. Okay, you have more money. We'll be back. Until next time. Dongvar. Saw you, uh... You, there. you another Imperial Puppet? Imperial I Puppet? I support the Empire. What of it? What of it, he says. Your Empire is destroying the everything veins Skyrim stands from for. the skin mud. Honor, pride, mighty Talos. You can tell Yarrow Igman that the Silverblood family won't tolerate his cowardice for much longer. I, sir, am an Imperial Puppet. And I'll thank you to refer me as such. 
Uh, what do you use instead of Eel? I use them both. So I use Lux right now, Karma. Uh, I, Eel FX has a nicer looking lighting template. Is that the right way to say it? Like it has a warmer feel to it, which I like Legend. better than he, uh, Lux. So great that the divines themselves lifted his soul into the heavens and made him a god. He found it There's the less patches, but it's not as compatible with some of the things that I personally run. Oh nah, man, we're, we are gonna get to so many fucking adventures. Dude, let's go tag team some bitches. Red Roo! You wanna, you wanna go tag? You don't want to appreciate okay, the follow some shit. That's the next best thing. Welcome into the shadows, my friend. And Omi joins the Imperials? I always join the Stormcloaks. Any mods to reduce the draw calls? Yeah, don't run stuff that has a lot of clutter and high poly stuff. Less triangles equal less draw calls. I think that's how that goes, right? Less clutter equals less triangles equals less draw calls, yeah. What are we at? Let's check. If I'm just looking here, I mean obviously it's not allowed. We're in, in the middle of a conversation. What's under profiler? That's a true lore. 58. A legend. So great that the divine. We'll, we'll ch I'll show you another one later. Yeah, yeah. The Empire, and now they turn their back yeah, the JK stuff has a lot of draw calls. Do your your draws are above 11k. Or do the Nords. So that yeah, that'll be a that'll be a hit on your uh, your FPS for sure. Doesn't matter your your processor since it's a single core game. You know, even if Bethesda were to, like, like, they put a version out that would use, like, a second core. Oh, man. Everybody would be above 60 FPS. Well, all right, some crazy people, probably myself included, would, you know, go overboard with the modding, so. Yeah, what's all this about the elves? Speaking to one? Your Look at this scowl. The great war. Nearly destroyed the Imperial City. And the Emperor took the coward's way out. Elven supremacy, bitch. Now you people dictate the EFPS patch do. helps? No. Once EFPS causes more. It's a, a placebo. Human, like Talos, as the do God this, Wyatt. Is. Install Legacy of the Dragonborn in EFPS. Go to the Blue Palace and tell me if that patch causes your wall to fucking disappear. I'll give you the answer. It does. It also doesn't... It doesn't gain you any FPS. At all. We've tested. We had it on Lexi's for a little while. And it caused more issues. And, like, these these are, like, folks that... Almost all of them are mod authors. They're all on the dev team. Right? They all said the same thing. And I mentioned this a while ago. I said, you're not... You're going to wind up pulling this mod out of your list. And I'm going to tell you why. And, you know... After one audit change to the next, EFPS was ripped the fuck out, and problems were fixed. There was stuff like that on console, too. They're, they're placebos. Console was locked at 30 frames. I don't know if that's been up to 60 now for the Series X. Stay out of trouble in his, his city, he says. I hear those nerd. I want those nerd roots, but that's that's stealing. All right, let's. Well, we did everything that we need to do here, right? Oh, hold on. Let's move that. What did I say was around? Well, Arkanthams. We only have five grand. I'll get another 500 for... Oh, we wanted to enchant. I'm sorry. Yeah, because I need some of this money. Then we'll go to Arnleaf and Sun and sell it. Oh, like, here's a good example. Alright, so let's look this way. If... So there's 7,300 draw call. A little under 74. But if I unlock my FPS, my FPS goes up to, like, 90. Okay. I have it locked at 61. I lock it at 61 for a reason. Here's another one. So this is with the JK stuff. Let's see what's this at. 12,000. Right? Outdoors is going to hit you harder. This only goes up to 66, 67-ish. 
but we're still at that, you know, 60 or above. So beautiful. I love these. Um, I, well, I need the water breathing enchant. So let's make sure that we at least here. Um, let me. I'll get a crap necklace that doesn't have much value. I'll use a Tom Petty here. I'll rename it because you, you don't waste a grand or black gem on this because the enchantment is the enchantment. So. Um, Ah, shit. I always forget I have that on. Alright. That is a decent enchantment, thank you. Alright, now we could use some of these commons, right? Alchemy's what, 624? 835. Water breathing's probably gonna be our best one. Yeah, we'll use these commons, right? Let's see, magic. Yep, magic's better for the necklaces. So, rings are magic, yeah. This is a big one here. We'll just use, res yeah, resist magic's one of your best enchantments. Always go most expensive. I don't know if I have a left hand ring on, do I? We have one for alchemy, but I don't think I have one for right now. Interesting. Let's save that silver one then. All right, one more after this and we'll be done. Let's use a grater, right? And let's see, uh, if I use this silver ring and I use, you know, a grand gem, what would I put on here? Armor rating? 33? We could do car uh, carry weight. That's ah, not worth it. Um, we could fortify destruction. It would only be four, so he doesn't help really change it that much since I'm not invested in enchanting as much. So what else would be useful? Stamina, maybe. Probably just magic resist itself would be 9%. I mean, that would be decent. Eh. Maybe magic regenerate. 29% faster. Mm. Yeah, you know, let's... Let's go regen for this. We'll rename it. Oops. Okay. Let's see if we could sell some to uh, what's his face here. I'm pretty sure I don't have a, a ring, right? We have Morakai. Yeah, we have the replenishing on the... There. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Uh, is that the mud crab? This I counter. Ah. Hey. What are you doing here? Let me go back and chat here. Closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Uh, what do you mean excavation site? The ruins the ruins any mods that legitimately help. The wealth of artifacts that I've based uh, which one, Karma? Lifetimes of research on? For you FPS? Idiot. Do you even know who I am? The most well optimized and less. All of and you people keep 
bothering you. You lock your FPS with display I, tweaks. I'm sorry. So I, I have I my display upset. tweaks unlocked, I'm in the middle but I lock it through the E and B. For me, it's a little bit easier. And I shouldn't have yelled. Mainly because I make oh, other tweaks with display tweaks, too. Display tweaks fixes the havoc issue. Um, so you're researching the Dwemer. Yes. Their history and culture is all around us in Markarth. Yeah, water breathing, uh, muffle. They invented machines and built elaborate underground cities. The backstab enchant, I believe. To rival the gods themselves. And then, at a time I think there's a few other ones. They disappeared. There's mods that add enchantments that, you know, they only have one version of it, so it doesn't matter. I'd like to see this site. Persistent, aren't you? I am. Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the chewing cell. My workers call her Nimi, the poisoned one. The poisoned one, huh? If you deal with Nimi. I'll let you into both the spider. This will be fun for Inigo, huh? Museum. There we go. I say that spider is as good as dead. Enthusiasm. Yeah. Well, Here's the key to the Probably more from Inigo than me, but... Alright, listen. Uh, what do you have for sale? Take a look. More like, you want to buy stuff? He's got a lot of money. We're keeping that one. This is my alchemy set. Uh... I, don't, I should have put the amulet of Tabella on just for the speechcraft XP. Or the speechcraft uh, raising, because that. Eh. Alright. Well, how about this? sell some of them off. Back to 10,000 septums. We're good. Thank you, kind sir. What? Make oh, a save. Well, let's go kill us a spider, Inigo. What do you think? There's going to probably be a bunch of them, so... Uh, throw some feather falling on. Yeah, he's ready. Get our buffs up. Let's see here, what do we want to go with? We want to go with the ball, eh? Okay. It's also going to depend on your on your gear too, Karma. You know? Wow, look at all the spiders over there. They already sense me. So whatever, whatever like your PC specs are, is going to definitely factor into, uh, you know, what you can and probably shouldn't add or... Bunch of babies. Keeping it go alive here. Ow. Done killing them yet or what? <laughs> Look at them all over here. See them? They're all behind this. Watch this. These little guys have no idea what's about to hit them.
That was a lot of spiders. Come on, Inigo. Is there really another one here? Oh, he's right there. He was right there. I have the feeling Nimi's gonna be a one shot. What do you guys think? Come on. Oh, wow. Well, let's see, is it gonna get him down? 300, 300, 200, still going. 90, 50? Oh, all the way down to 49 hit points. Now you're dead. Yeah, we'll take all that. Beautiful. Look at all. <laughs> Holy crap. Just from Fire Sparks. The basic. You're still alive. The basic fire uh, spell you learn in the beginning took all those guys out. Okay. Don't waste your magic. No, you, you probably need to be healed. And they don't give you anything. The babies don't give you crap. Yeah, my, my fire is no joke right now. It's nice to have options. Uh, so I have a year old gaming laptop, an NVIDIA 8 gig 4070. So that's a year old, so that's not bad karma. Missed all that, got, got DC'd. Oh, distracted, right? Wait, hold on, what's DC'd? Is this something I should know? <laughs> so, uh, so it's a, all right. So it's a gaming laptop, but you got a 4070, so it's a, it's a, it's a really good card. Eight gig of VRAM on those. See, that's, that's my thing. Like, so Nvidia is so stingy with the VRAM. Like a regular 4070 and a 4070 Ti for a desktop are 12. Why would they, why would they put le like four less in a laptop? Maybe to keep costs down, I guess. I I I don't know this. I don't know the specs on like laptop versus desktop. I'm like the worst person to ask for stuff like that. But um. Oh, disconnected. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you, Karma. Don't play with your food, Magus. Or or the size issue too. They, yeah, this is true. Yeah, that I can see. Cost, cost, and um. Well, everybody wants a, a lightweight, sleek laptop. You know, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh, fits in a, like a, a case, then to be put in like their own travel case and stuff like that. So, I get it. Yeah, you just you just work within your means, you know. That's all it is. Uh, I encounter. Do you want to move? Greetings, Archmage. Oh, he recognizes me as Archmage. Nice. I've killed Nimi. You have my gratitude. That spider had been interfering with my excavations for months. As promised. Another J server dropped this week. Yeah, it's number one right now, I think, right? Monkey. The museum key, huh? 10 XP. He didn't give me any gold, right? Well, we're fine. We're good. Let's, let's GTFO. Drop that save. Um, size and temperature. That's another thing too. Yeah. Laptops tend to get hot. I can't imagine the fans that are in there keep them. Well, nowhere near as cool. Like, all right. So I'm I'm streaming right now, right? Let me just check. Right. I'm str I'm doing this all on one rig. My CPU temp is at 51 Celsius. My GPU temp is at 47 Celsius. That's pretty good, I think. I, I do have a lot of fans in this, but I've got, like I said, I got three fans on the cart itself. Keep it, and I've got an, I've got a AIO cooler as well. Although some of the new uh, CPU cooling fans are actually pretty solid. Like you don't really need a cooler. Like if you can afford it, grab one. I haven't had any issues with the two that I've had. Um, they're both uh, Corsair units. They've both 
been really good to me. Do I have anything else I want to sell? We're at 270, right? Let's keep that Dwarven Dagger. We can put that in the home. Take the backpack. I don't want to be wearing the backpack. Okay. Here's the question. Do we go to Solstheim first? Uh, to talk to Rallis? Or do we go up to the college and talk to Tolfdir and get that spell? Oh, it's a nice day out here. It's up for us. He's got Froki's bow. We'll keep the dagger on you. Wow. Yeah, that's five, so... Spider eggs, huh? Oh, the claws. <sighs> they don't weigh anything. We'll wind up selling them later. Sapphire? Did we use this? I think we did. Shit, no. Now I don't know. I know the emerald and that. I'm not sure about the sapphire. Frost is so cute. Thank you, monkey. Yeah, I, I like Frost is probably my second favorite horse. Uh, favorite horse that's not Arvac? Arvac's my favorite. For reasons. For obvious reasons. <laughs> I, uh, go to the college first, huh? The college if you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to... Well, I don't know why I got on him. All right, Kibble. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? Winterhold. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Good man. Ugh, warbler egg. Say what you will about the dark elf. What's up, James? Proper job. Gonna say there can only be one. You ride the reindeer. Reindeer. Outside Dawnstar, right, monkey? Yeah, I, we already saw the unicorn. I didn't get the unicorn yet. Uh, but here's the thing. We have to get Inigo a steed. Wow, is it dark. Shit. Um, let me get Candlelight going, too. The potential for vampires here is really good. So, buff. Buff. All right, guards are doing their. See how? Yeah, they're they're wearing different things. That's Requiem handling that. Okay, let's just use our candlelight. I think it looks a lot nicer. All right, Frost, you're gonna wait there for me, buddy. Can't have you up on the stairs. So, what steed do we give Inigo? The unicorn, the reindeer. And remember, I'm running simple, simplest horses, or simple horses. I forget the name of it. Simplest horses. Can you have him ride the reindeer? That would be perfect. Yeah. So you've played just you played around eight thousand hours. You've never had Frost as my horse. I love Frost. Bottom straight off Santa. <laughs> Alright, let's go find... Uh, where is Tolfdir? Why do I have... I 
That's down there, isn't it? Look at that. You could hit those. Watch this. If I can. Yeah, there's Draugr over there. Hall of Acumen, huh? I love Shadowmere too. Yeah, Shadowmere's... Well, all the named steeds are, are solid. Ah, uh, there he is. Tolftir. Wow, look how much bigger she is. Mugnor, I think that's her name. So, uh, here's your heart scale. And it's just as I suspected. The energies need to be... Man, Zab did a bang-up job on these robes. Look at that. They're fantastic. And that's it. I certainly think you deserve the first copy of the tome. Use it well. Beautiful. He gave me another copy of that? Oh, you bastard. I already have this. I mean, I read it for the experience. Good to see you. dear, what are you doing to me, buddy? You, yeah. Spells and incantations I know you do. Buy it back, 415. <sighs> Alright, let's see the new ones that he's got. Lightning speed. The caster moves with meteoric speed, making everything slow down to almost motionless for 34 seconds. That's a lot. Look at that. 9,600 septums. Holy crap. Let's go most expensive. Absorb Essence is good. 113 health, magic, and stamina from a short distance. This is actually really... We're going to pick this up later. The telekinetic grab. Grabs from afar can either be taken or thrown. These are all the telekinesis spells. The caster attempts to break every single bone of the target while casting it miles into the air, ensuring that it's maimed for good. Jesus. Okay. I always used to have uh, AM bar in my game. Is that how you pronounce that, Anna? And I don't know why that doesn't register with me. I feel like I should know that. Do you have a magic mod that lets you have more spells? No. Uh, this is all Requiem, Clappa. Normally I would add um, Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim by Enai. And there's a patch for it in the Requiem patch hub. And that's it. I, I would be done. Paralyze 2. Huh? What's this go up to? The caster tries to paralyze all nearby beings for 11 seconds. No. Okay, good thing I didn't take that. We already have knock 2. Uh, transcendence. These were interesting ones. Uh, is dematerialized, becoming practically invulnerable for as long as the caster doesn't interact with the environment? This would be good for boss or dragon battles. And then, of course, the essence. We're, we're going to pick this up. I just can't do this now. Touch of death. Oh, touch of... This is from the CC. That's a fun spell. Those of you that know, you you know. <laughs> All right, Tolf, dear. See, he doesn't even have master robes right now. You have to, like, they're placed. Alright, well, we did all that. We, uh. But these are all stealing, unfortunately. There's a lot of them. Look at this. The haggling, social butterfly, <laughs> speech skill. Yeah, there's, like, high, high-level potions in here. Hmm. Something else, though? All around here, look at that. 100% for 300 seconds. Health is 200 for 600 seconds. Hey, check the meat out, guys. Look at this. Fizzies. Fizzy fizzies. Alright. Well, I'm a little disappointed about that, but that's okay. Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim. Uh, yes. Apocalypse is made by uh, Enai, who has made Ordinator. Basically all of... Hold on, let me... Uh, 
Let me do this here. Where's my mouse? I'm going to do this for you, Clappa. Let me do this. I'm going to put his profile, okay? There. Can I pin that? Let me refresh. I could pin this again. I don't know why it makes me refresh to pin a message. Um, I'll put it up there for, I don't know, 30 minutes. Okay. Go to his page. Filter by most endorsed. You'll find all of, like, like they're like the best of the best. Right? If you want to really change the way your game is, add spells in, your perks, ordinator uh, is like a major perk overhaul, but Valkyrie is good. It's, I think it's way more than a vanilla plus, but if you had to compare it to anything else, it would technically be like a vanilla plus perk overhaul. So if you wanted to stay more true, but you wanted things to change, ordinator completely changes things. Um, it's really powerful. Apocalypse, are, they're just the best spell packs. Like it's well, it's one spell mod, uh, but they're just the best of the best. Always have been. Nothing really has come close. Uh, I think it gives you like 180 spells, uh, and then he's got Summer Mist enchantments. Um, he's got Andromeda for the Standing Stones. He's got Imperius for the races, like the racials. Just a little bit of everything. Look through them. Check them out. They're my go-to when I do like a normal setup. Non requiem, but there you go. Yeah, there you go. All right, we're we're gonna hopefully know. Oh, and now they got the little. Oh, it's sticking out. Oh, okay, it's being held on. I always thought the plaque was like on the stone. It's not. See, it's being. Uh, I guess whatever they stuck it to the rock with the memorial plaque in memory of those who fell during the Magnus conflict Savos are an archmage leader and everlasting inspiration Mirabel Irvine master wizard a prodigious guiding light 16th of Hearthfire 4th era 201 so they have a memorial to the two yeah, former leaders of the college rare. which I like I like seeing that. Only obscures. That's why I run the mod. Alright, let's get Feather Falling on, right? Where are you? Okay. I'm gonna drop a save because I never trust these spells. Uh, because falling from this distance can uh, screw your chances of. Uh... <laughs> Just like we're a vampire. Let's go, Frost. We want to get to the the boatman here. Oh, we want to get the uh, blessing of Junal. While I'm here, we'll get eight hours of another twenty percent absorption, which is big. It's this temple up here. Let's ride, uh, we'll ride Frost up there. Just in case the vampires are out. They like to come to Winterhold more than almost any other place. So, there's another shrine inside the city. I probably should have went there first. Uh, but there you go. Increase my spell absorption by 20%, just straight up. Chunal has answered all of my prayers. You ready, Frost? Come on. No. No waiting. Let's go. We're going to go to Windhelm. We're going to go to Solstein. We're going to see what Rallis has for us this time. I can take you to any port on the coast. Torber, welcome in. I got a stretch from Gaming Terry. Let me see what else. And the wind, welcome in. Sneaking in there. I, 
Thunder Child's interesting. I wouldn't say it's the best. Um, I like the Dragonborn overall for shouting. It doesn't give you the extra like combined stuff that Thunder Child does. Uh, but Thunder Child's still a little glitchy. It always kind of has been. Um, what I like about it is it gives you the Dragonborn perk tree. Where are you headed? To help. Uh, yeah, we want to go to Windhelm, right? Yeah, Windhelm. You just enjoy the fresh air and leave the rowing to. Yeah, you get it. You get your a whole perk tree for shouts. So it takes the speech that that part of the speech tree out of Ordinator. Uh, I believe there's a patch that you need for that, but it's it's right on Nexus. It's real easy. You just grab that, grab the patch, you're good to go. Um, let's find. There's Gort. Oh, we didn't discover your boat, Gort, the ferryman. Ferryman Gort. All right, Captain. Gallant. You ready? Yeah. You need to take us back to uh, Solstheim, please. Well. Did I just say I guess please? Nothing bad happened the last time. <laughs> Wind, my dear. How are you? We'll sail as soon Sneaky as I Sneaky McSneakerson. Pay. Right? Yeah, here's your freaking gold. Get yourself settled then. Torber, what's up with you, buddy? How you been? Good to see you in here. Uh, Requiem's going good. We are going back to talk to Rallis. This is our third visit with him. Had I been doing this build on a regular play, I would have started on Solstheim. And here we go. Gotta be honest, guys. I like my Solstheim. I like the way it looks. Especially, I can't, I can't stress enough how cool this is with base object swapper. The lanterns. Dovenik's diverse. Wind, are you able to... Since you're here now, can you please post Dovenik's diverse dark elf lanterns uh, base ob object swapper uh, mod in the chat for everybody? I, I can't stress enough how cool this mod is. Look at the requirements for the lanterns and just like, like they're all freaking so good. Right? Wherever you have these, these, uh, the Dunmer lanterns, right? I mean, now I have them in White Run because I've got the White Run add-on, which is not on Nexus, by the way. It was on; it was taken down. Um, you could still find it, of course. It's there's, you know, but like, look how. And then, of course, the uh, E and B light for these. It's so good. Win. Thank you. Yeah, base object swapper. Or like based object swap. Best mod. Yeah, it's a fantastic mod. That along with a uh, spell perk item distribution. Uh, man, some of these key mods, keyword item distribution, kid. The uh, the sound record mod, which is now a requirement for audio overhaul. Although I'm still a fan of immersive sounds, but audio overhaul is great. I'm using both of them here, so. Oh, we got workers. Wow. Sun's coming up. Look at that. All right. Let's, uh... Mm. Nothing in the urns, huh? Oh, we got some... We got some workers here. If they couldn't hold off the Draugr, who can? Draugr? More Draugr, dude? Where's he at? All right, let's... Let's... Use the cooking spit. Can I make anything? I think we have it. Just about everything we need, right? We got our we got our beef stew, All right? Rallis, buddy. All right. All right, standing oh, up. Good, good. I was hoping I wouldn't see you quite so soon. Well, it looks like uh, at least some of your miners survived, right? It's a good thing. They're not dead. Well, I'm sure some of them are dead. I love the fact that it puts them in the the, the chitin. Yes, looks well, so the good. mercenaries did their jobs worth every septum. Of course, they might. Are you city trees? 
has Lantern's add-on for White Run God, around the Gilder Green. That's what I like use. I'll have to check that out, Sorito. But that just means we're getting like mine are around the Gilder Green too, but it's it's literally just the Lantern mod. I add my own trees because I that's what I like to do. So should have added text to say what that was. That's okay. I'm well. It's a lovely day. Good to hear. It's uh well the sun was peeking up before it dried up. It's fairly warm today. All right. Clear the draw. Whoa, dude. Oh, he's not here. All right, in it go. Hold on a second. 19, 20, 20 21. All right, does he? You keep a lookout here. Let's let's read his newest Journal of Rallis, Volume 22. All right. If it weren't for the comfort brought by my invisible friend, I would have fled this place long ago. I wish I'd realized earlier that it was not a group, but a master who contains multitudes. He's guided me into a true understanding of the Barrow, and I greatly desire to meet with him. My insight into this place is now so intuitive, so fundamental, that I almost feel as if I built it myself. I explained to the workers how to use the tile set, but they seemed too afraid or uncoordinated to properly step on each tile quickly. Quickly enough. No problems, nothing that the master cannot solve. We will be able to converse properly soon enough. Okay, so he didn't see us, but she did. All right, Frost, you're gonna you're gonna wait here. Uh, you're not gonna wait like that, you weirdo. Uh, horse pro. Did you look at me like that? Come here, over here. Get off the table. All right. What a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Damn horses. Alright. We got incinerate on, right? Yeah, we do. And we got, uh, yeah, unwanting force. We should be good. Now, some higher level drawer. They may come right out and attack me. It's typically what these bastards do. Off, huh? All right. Where are you bastards? Hey, you're not gonna like that, huh? Oh, do we not have any more soul gems? I think we filled them all. Blacks are filled. Twenty-eight commons are filled. Yeah, grand, greater, five lesser. Uh. No Tom, ah, 13 Tom Petties, we're good. Interesting. Crap arrows. What do you say, Inigo? Do we have anything here or what? Uh, that's a, yep, 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 okay. This guy here. All right, the guards, right? Any more guards? Looks like they took the guards out, okay. And the miners. I hear, there it is. So we'll get to show you guys the uh, the issue here. Huh. Hold on a second. All right. Got to go this way. See ya. We really don't need the other. I'll get that out. You got him? There's one. No, we got this ring, right? That was his ring of uh, necromancy. Alright, we gotta go down here. Alright, some more of the dead my Ooh. Hi.
Whoa! <laughs> hey, at least now I know where the trap is. Uh, that's crap. Get out of there. Get out of there. I would like that. Tom Petty. Silver ring. All right. Crap. Oh, and of course they're spotting me, so I can't. I can't mine the emeralds. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, and it go. Watch out for the. Oh yeah, use trap their souls. Oh, he's right there. You ready? You got him? Get him. Good job, dude. Let's be careful here. Hold on. I want to get in there is where I want to get it. Let's try this. That still didn't open that, huh? Maybe it's this one. Yes. Alright, so his gauntlets. Uh oh, here it comes, here it comes. Good job. You good? You're all healthy? No worries. We got a couple more to. Sorry, you gonna go. Did I take all your fun away? Ah! Ow. Ah! All right. Dead miners. He's got goat cheese. Visibility. Got some gems up here. Kind of wish I had these before. I've been able to trap some souls. Uh, we searched you. Oh, there's one. Okay. Now, I think I need knockout, right? Because these are all locked up. Yeah, they are. Yuki! Welcome in! What's going on? There should be some more soul gems up here somewhere, right? Anywhere? Left hand ring, we'll take that. Alright, so we'll make a save here. Ah, there it is. I knew there was one up here. So you gotta run. So, like, this square here is a set, this is a set, three, four, there's five of them, right? So if you run in the middle, you should get them all. Right? Same with here. There. I kind of messed that up, but that's okay. We got it. We got it. Mind you do not drown. I will try not to. And right, I'm coming back up in again. Uh, if I can get up. Come on. Up, up, up. Alright, I gotta get over there. You ready? Azadal's Ring of Arcana increases magical potential of the owner, allows you to cast Ignite and Freeze. I am going to switch out my Replenishing Ring for this. And there we go. If this does what I think it will do, there's Ignite. Gout of fire that sets targets on fire for 103 points of damage per second for 5 seconds. It is a projectile that costs nothing to cast. Like, look at this, right? 
So obviously there's more powerful ones. Let me go to my spells here. You guys probably are picking this up, right? 275 for fireball. Incinerates 558, but like the cost. It's 103 points every second for five seconds. So 100, what's 103 times five? Did you know that the spell is stackable? And it's got all the other benefits of all the other uh, fire perks. It is the best fire spell in the game. It is a very low cost, but you have to go through Kolbjorn to get it, which is not easy. So, I mean, I'm going to take off the rune, the bolt, the ball. Incinerate. I'll take that off. Take off the ice rune. Um, ignite's gonna be two. Save. It is the best. Well, it's an item technically because the item it also gives you freeze. So for those of you that like ice magic, um, spike of ice that does 75 frost and it slows the target. This one's no joke either. It's just not anywhere near as good as. It's just like an ice spike, right? Maybe you should choose a more just a suggestion. Just a suggestion, that's fine. This big old big old coin purse. Very good. So yeah, it's you get two on the third time, so you get Azadal's what, his gauntlets, right? You Your wards absorb a small amount of magic. Gauntlets increase the owner's magical power. I'm curious to see what this does. Let's see, let's check out the active effects for Azadal. Your wards absorb 50% of the magic from incoming spells. Spell power is increased by 10. Magic by 40. Absorb spells deal less. Wow. That's no joke if you're playing a heavy armor. Holy shit. Oh, uh, we're not. Yeah, it, uh, 103 times 5. So if you think about it, right? Fireball is just 275. Does more damage than Fireball. Does more than Firebolt. Does more than Fire Nova. Does more than a Fire Rune. Does about as much as Incinerate. Except it stacks. So you gotta cast it more, but it won't freaking wipe your magic out. Uh, heavy Armored Mage Battle Mage is my favorite. Yeah, Soryuto, so if you're playing Skyrim, uh, or if you're playing Requiem, Azadal's full freaking set is actually really good. How Requiem changes it. I've been waiting to get this ring to do on a Pyromancer play for like the last two years. I keep putting off my Pyromancer builds. This is why. All right, let's go. Let's go have a chit chat with our boy here. Be careful. Hey. Well, the Draugr are dead. Good. I'm glad I can count on you. Yeah, you can. I think we're almost to the bottom of the barrel. I hope so. It's going to be everything I can do. Obviously, we're going to use some other spells because there are some things that are fire resistant. So. Developed quite the reputation. But for enough. But gold, remember, I can dragon priests. We're going to have to see how they work on the priests. So how much now? Five thousand. You want five thousand? You can't be serious. I know you could almost buy a house for that much, but like I said, we've got quite the reputation. And coin is the only counterweight for a bad reputation. The worksite modded? Uh, no. It looks different because I've got, like, alright, so the... Here, I'll show you. I have 5,000. I'll show you. Good. This time I'll spring for some more. Yeah, like, the floor is all changed. Uh, the clutter is all changed. The tents have different textures. Uh, the pottery is all different. This is a, this is a very specific smim uh, texture for the barrel. Um, and it goes there. Of course, I've got 
the moss on here. That's just a texture mod. Um, what are you doing that for? Don't worry about that. So every time you uh, come back here, he adds on a little bit extra. Like, this tent is added on, but this is really from the base game. From Dragonborn. Right? So from the DLC, Imperial Large Tent. Whatever you use for Imperial Large Tent will have its uh, textures, or if it's like a mesh and texture change, you'll use that, right? Um, but yeah, no, this is vanilla. This is all vanilla. It's just, you know, what are we running for architecture? Um, for the, there's this Nordic uh, exterior wall, whatever BG stands for, Henge 01, whatever textures I've got and the parallax going on for that. Same with this, same with the, like the barrow itself. This is all, you know, vanilla. But of course, every I've tried to touch as much as I can. Um, let's let's go over to Brodeer. Brodeer Grove is right up the way, and we'll get Stormfang. All right, we've got, you know, the Heartstone. Can we mine this? We'll get a couple extra Heartstones. Maybe Neloth needs one. Who knows? That's also a lot better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Requiem Chain. Like, the whole set. I've, here, let me show you. I think I've got the other ring on me, too, don't I? So, the Ring of Necromancy empowers your reanimated creatures. They take less damage from health magic and receive extra protection. Increases the magical potential of the owner. So, if I switch to this, right, I lose those spells that I was going. Um, let me check. Does it say in here? Conjuration costs less, magic regenerates 130 faster. Remember what Azadel's ring used to do? It used to make your raised minions explode for frost damage? No longer. It's now a true necromancy ring. So Conjuration's nec... Well, necromancy falls under Conjuration, so it, there's your cost redux. Magic regen at 130%. Not, a, not bad for a right-handed ring. Make, you know, again, give yourself left-handed rings modified. I use Homicide's version. Uh, so you can at least equip a left hand ring. If you're running immersive jewelry, even better. You can make whatever models swap to left hand uh, in your inventory. You could do it infinitely with almost anyone that has that model. And there's like 4,000 pieces of jewelry that it changes. I like this. It's more simple. I run uh, Gemling Queen's jewelry. Uh, obviously, there's a there's a Smim version. Um, and then I've got a separate texture add-on for the specific gems. Which I like. It's an, actually an LE mod. So I may have to refavorite this again. Well, yeah, once I... Oh no, there it is. Once I take it off... Oh, it's, it remembers it. Very good. Okay. So let's just buff. Yeah, we're gonna go over to... Where's Brodeer? Brodeer's over here, I think. Do we have a level up yet? No, not yet. Uh. Shit. Yeah, so these things, they're fire resistant. So, frost. Let's go basic here. Let's just go ice wind. Damn, dude. I'll take him out in a go or what? Damn, it's all his health is all the way back up. We may have to use a ruin here. Ow. Yeah, they're tough. There you go, and I go. Fucking hell. Let's leave. We'll leave Frost down there. Damn. Yeah, they're tough. It's over here, Col uh, Coal Cinder Cave. Most most people don't know about this, or they don't come over here. With the Teldrin Sirius mod, this actually makes this useful. There's a little trap door here into Coal Cinder. And it takes you uh, 
underneath Raven Rock into the... Well, the barracks will take you out here. Um, I forget. There's a mod that adds a flag in this area, I think. I don't have it in. Um, but it's useful. Alright, so Brodeer is up here. Let's see if we can snipe some of these guys from afar. Right, right up there, I see it. No, is it here? What's over here? Oh, are these the Asha? Uh... Shit. There's the Nyx Hounds. What is here? Hold on. Spider Nest. Are they all gonna pop out? Team yes. See the, see their health just like whittling away? See it's over time. Oops, sorry dude. We got more? Hey, Daisy. Uh, let me go back and chat here. I liked them becoming walking bombs. What does LD mean? Uh, what do you mean, LD? Did I say something or go through something that you saw and I, I, I missed it? Uh, let's see, Karma says, I haven't been able to get the new mod that makes rings be both left and right to work. The Nordic Rings. Oh, beyond the Nordic Rings. The White Witch, welcome in. Uh, what mod tells you what you've got equipped above your compass? Oh, so for like where it says Soul Trap and Ignite? That is equipment, equipment HUD. This one here. It just tells you like what's in each hand. So oh, like, man, we are going to get into so many fucking adventures. Here, when I Dude, equip... Let's go tag team some bitches. Eh? You want to go tag... You don't want to? Okay, let's go exploring some shit. That's the next best thing. How do you pronounce Is that Isor Is Betts? Betes? Appreciate the follow. Welcome into the shadows. So yeah, if I switch over to, um, like, Goldbrand, am I right? It pops it there. So the way that I have it set up, right? If you go to the MCM, it's called Equipment HUD, right? Um, your horizontal offset starts at 200. I just use page up three times. One, two, three. Set it to 380. Your vertical offset starts at zero. Oops. So, I go, oops, up, page up once, and then I use the right arrow to go up one. Or just do, you know, use the slider if you want to. That's all it is. Otherwise, they're going to be all over the place. Those are my settings. That's why it looks like it's, you know, pretty good. Unrelenting force is in the center. So that's your power. Your power is in the center. That's a different mod. Uh, last Dragonborn. Maybe. And Vixie, what's up? We got to stretch and a hydrate. Actually, I got to get up and grab a refill my coffee here. So you're getting a stretch, a hydrate, and I don't know, maybe a yawn. We'll have to see. Actually, I'm going to switch from coffee. I think we, I had two cups already. I think I'm good. Let me unplug this. I have this nice percolator. The downside, it's one of those nice metal ones from February. Well, it's okay, I guess. February is pretty good. Pretty reputable. Um... But, uh, yeah, let's grab a Gatorade or something. The decaf also seems to dehydrate me a little bit as well, and I don't like that. Give me one second here, guys. There we go. Gatorade Frost, baby. For having rained, it's nice out. It's only about 60, but it's... Yeah, the sun's poking out again. Beautiful day here. Let's 
it's going to wind up colder tomorrow, they said. And rain, of course. Wind, um, have you heard from Karn or have you gotten his YouTube notification about what he's doing tomorrow at all? Gatorade is good. 91? Or I Man, Vixie had trade you? <laughs> Alright, we're back. Still didn't go to Brody or Girl. It's up here, isn't it? No, this is the... There it is. And there's the enemies. Alright. Look at that. See his health? Nobody. For a cheap, cheap fire spell. Did you see that? You don't get the instant damage taken all away. It goes over time. Look at that. Oh, see the Oblivion-esque icon in the upper right? How cool is that, right? For having a Daedra out? Take you. Take you. There we go. I usually have a... Wow, 176. Uh, we'll take the Restore Stamina. I usually have a nice Stormfang Replacer. I like this blade. It does triple damage to Constructs. Yeah. Where's the other one here? This guy? Oh, he's got an Orcus shield. Well made. 274. Let's take that for a sec. Um... This one's also well made. Inigo. Yes, my friend. Uh, let me trade with you. Try not to burn anything useful with those magical hands of yours. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, you can have the silver arrow. Um, Nordic carved is 240, huh? Ah, uh, 274, baby. Give me that Nordic carves, and your helmet is 183. This one's 182. Yours is better. Okay. So now he's... You need anything else, just ask. Well, he's got the Daedric Gauntlets just because they're good, but finally we get him in a little more orcish. Let's let's go up and get the uh, stuff from here. Watch out for traps. He says this we need knock on. Oh. There's the East Empire. Take that. Let's see what they're hoarding here. Anything good? Salt. How about some raw beef? Or, eh. What do you got over here, huh? Anything good? No. No. Oh, it wasn't locked. Kuvar's Iron Sh I'm going to leave that there. And then, of course, this is always enchanted. It's random. So an Elven Battle Axe of Fire. I got the carry away. Let's take it. We're going to sell it. Right? And then, of course, the Nyx Hounds. Uh, the eyes and the hearts are ingredients, so we need those. I think we're done. Brodeer Grove, good place for Hearthstone deposits. Yeah, look at them. I, I like this. This, ah, oh God, I forget which one touches this. I'll have to look at my list. What else were we going to do here, guys? Uh, he's streaming tomorrow, the Triumvirate build. Oh, sweet. Did it say which one? He had a few that did that used Triumvirate. It's you know what it is when I'm on Twitch when I have the app open I don't get any other notifications nothing for Discord, nothing for Twitch, nothing for YouTube, nothing for like Facebook or or anything. But as soon as I close the app down or refresh it I get flooded with them. I don't know why. I made a mistake. The post was from last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he brought back his uh, his Shadow Ninja. 
I like how the barrels open with that lid touch. The lid lift. I believe that's just from Smim. Uh, I have an animation uh, for first person. Let me show you. So if I'm in first person and I go to do it, it opens it. So, but if you're in like third person, it'll do it too. But the, but the barrel lid opening itself, I believe, is just from the static mesh mod. I think I could be wrong. All right. So let's. We have to speak to Adril. That's for the Nordic quest, and then we got to go back to. Yeah, we got to tell Nella that Verona's dead. Oh boy. Then Bangkok Greek. We could do some stuff up here now that I have the stuff. I do want to clean, cleanse the stone. Um, Raven Rock first. We're closer. Um, let me drop another save here. That's Smim, the barrel thing. Yeah. Yep, I, I thought so. I wasn't 100% sure. Thank you, James. I do like it when I wind up being right, though. <laughs> that was like a 70% thought that that's exactly what it was, but... Yeah, you, you get so rich on this island. Look at this. You, you get an ancient Nordic pickaxe right away. Right from Raven Rock. It's the only one you need for the rest of the game, if you if you even need it. I guess, like I said, we could pick up the gold. I'm not gonna... I do want the butterflies, though. Um... Oh, wrong. That's... Wrong green spell. Let's take the emerald back there, though. Take all that. Take the creep clusters too, right? These are the ash creep clusters. These are actually really good. Alright. Um. Ow. There's usually wear bears around here too. You gotta be careful. See, watch the elk. Look at it. It's just wearing it down over five seconds. So things that regenerate, um, this is sort of countering them. And because it stacks, you can cast a bunch of them for literally nothing. Uh, there's a little hidden area up here. Where is it? It's up. Well, it's not hidden now. I have a, I got it on the compass. You gotta get up through here. Come on. Up, up, up. Some emeralds, and then... I think Corunda, maybe? Gold? Yeah, two on this side. Gold and emerald on the other side, I believe. I remember it... Uh, I remember it in, in particular because at around the same time Smim did that, they did the whole moving to Ember elevator thing, too. Ah, that's true. And now there's a fix for that, right? I have it in here. Plus, the Dwemer gates don't reset. I, I added that in. That's a solid one, too. There's so much stuff to make you rich here. Look at this. Hillside Games. Ebony. Oh, Inigo, you just got a brand new shield. That's remarkable. I'll actually take that. 550. Come here, and go. Let's see if I can get back up to him. That is perfect. Uh, and I believe... There it is. Amethyst? Ruby. The Raven. Oh, that's awesome. Let me drop a save here. couple places around here. Did the bandits come back there is the question. That's what I want to know. Let's find out. No. Okay. Alright. We, uh...
This shouldn't kill me. Oh, that was close. All right, let's go talk to Glover here. Glover. You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Yeah, I meant to ask you about that. Beast. Uh, yeah, how are things now that the mines are open up for you again? I've always had a steady stream of work thanks to the Redoran Guard, so it hasn't affected me much. However, I've seen the smile on people's faces, and there's hope around here once again. Something we've been lacking for a long time. Well, that's good to hear. So, all right, what do you got? The finest weapons and armor. That's what you say. He's got some bone mold, Redoran's Watchman's helmet, yeah. He's starting to carry them. There we go. Scale, yeah. He's got some ebony stuff here, yeah. Like that. Not that I'm going to start buying that stuff up, but... Quick silver bow. Alright, we, uh... You could have that. We're going to put Storm Fang in our house, even though I don't have a unique model for it. Um, that's going to Inigo. That can go. That can go. We could finally sell our Ring of Replenishing. Or maybe just hold on to it. Bring your weapons and armor to me. Hey, I'll buddy. Fix it up right. What can I do for you? I have something amazing okay. for you. Let us see what we have. You're gonna like this. So yeah, the Daedric got like I said. I, we can't smith anything, so we're, it's just, he's gonna have the best of what he's got. Two seventy-four, huh? Here you go. Three hundred. Give me that Orcish. How's it look on you? What's next? The ebony in my game looks fucking fantastic. Look at this. That's the gilded. I love that look. Get that looks so good. Glover Mallory's the name. If you're looking for a smith, you found one of the best. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay. Bring Let's your get... weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Let's go have a chit chat with Fethus. Hey, Fethus, we're back. Those are College of Winterhold robes. Aren't they? Oh, point out the obvious, there, buddy. You still buying those pendants? As long as you keep bringing them, I'll keep buying them. Glover, and Delvin, Vilkas, and Farkas, just brothers with different accents. No big deal, <laughs> right? Uh, what about you? What do you got for sale? See for yourself. I plan to take some of this stuff off my hand, maybe. Do I have anything else? Mm. Oh yeah, we had to put the regeneration ones on there. Can't use that. Alright, Fortify Resto, that's not bad, but I'm never going to use it. 15% less for 120. Uh, 10 for 60 is useless to me. This one's not bad. At least it's two minutes. Can get rid of the diluted one. That's good. 50% for three. That, those are the ones I purchased. Um, that's crap. Surpassing is great. Um, that's the big boy, big boy. That's garbage. That's good. Good. Good kind of crap kind of crap that's decent that's decent that's good okay what else 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 that's everything all uh, right what else buddy what do you got shopper jelly So the Nordic stuff. That was the other thing we wanted if to do, you right? you need any supplies, you know where to find me. All right. There is uh, Mogrel. Slitter. Looking at me all funny. Let's 
What's up, Miri? We like Miri. She sells us uh, expensive things. We have to talk to Captain Veleth? I don't think so. Maybe. I'm sorry. I've already said too much. Oh. Talk to Second Counselor Arana with your. Yeah, he's over us. here. Okay. So sometimes the uh, served cold quest is a little tricky. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Counselor more. This will be our third home. At least we get it for free. So he's in danger of being killed. Uh, how? The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Counselor's head. Why would the Ulans want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Counselor... Well, Morvain that's a pretty good himself. reason, I say. The problem is <laughs> I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Suspicions, right, right, right. Uh, you do sound a little paranoid. As second counselor, it's my responsibility to explore the possibility of any threat. No matter how paranoid it might seem. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. And I don't want it to come to that. You feel an attack on the counselor is imminent, then? I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Lalu! <laughs> well, why haven't you acted on the information? Ravenrock is a small settlement, Obviously. so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. All right, so how can I help? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to yeah, me. Yeah, I'm perfect for this. Where do I begin? I need you to start out. Just like saying it. It's a fun word. It is karma. Search Ravenrock <laughs> and see if you can root out these traitors. Well, do. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri. Ah, so everything always comes back to Geldis. He provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them I to love Geldis' uh, voicing. Make any I think I mentioned that yesterday. Yeah, this is some of the best. What can you tell me about House Lalu? Traitors. The lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. Interesting. I presume that was their downfall. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrow. We love those fun words. Having passed ties <laughs> to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the dumb people's suffering. What happened to House Lalu as a result of this? They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. Okay. When everything Still not seeing the problem there. They were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the council. Interesting. Yeah, why did the Dunmer hate the Empire so much? During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the plain of Oblivion opened all... Gregorio! Welcome in. The Empire What's up? pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance it's sort of a lose like that the whole thing he's talking it's sort of a lose-lose situation of course they have to pull some of their troops back to protect the homeland that's just natural that's just how it goes in warfare so how did the Dunmer uh, survive all this house Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army it took years but it became a force to be reckoned with when the Argonians invaded years later House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. Interesting. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Now you mentioned your sources. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunma settlements across Tamriel. 
Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Well, can't you ask them to investigate? Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. That makes sense, However, too. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. Okay. Let's change subjects here. So, um, how are you now that the mines are open? What do you think? You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mines open. But all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. Doesn't seem and that with hard. Solstheim crawling with Reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. The Reavers. All right, all right. Good Don't man. worry. You can trust Geldus. He's been with us for a long time. Geldus, huh? Okay. Drop a save. Something on your mind? No, my mind is as empty as a beggar's purse. Love looking at that shield. <laughs> if we find more, we'll obviously throw him in ebony. Daedric if I can, obviously. Uh, Enchanted would be even better. But it is what it is. We'll give him the best that we can. Alright. We'll go find Geldus. Have you played Teldred Sirius? Uncle Robert, welcome in, dude. Yes, yes I have. Good to see you again. How have you been? Geldus is my favorite NPC in the whole town. Uh, God, wow. He may be, He's up there for me. I don't, I don't know if he's my favorite. Um, mm, I mean, yum. there's Teldrin. Sweet rolls are irresistible. Teldrin Cerro, blade You can see we've got the, if you have the call, open. I'm at your service. Yeah, he's expensive. Yeah, but Teldrin Serious mod is... Alright, so the voicing on it's okay. But the mod itself is actually really, really nice. And you get some history with Geldus. Although with Requiem, that... Well, there's one part of it that's really freaking difficult right towards the end. Hey, Sindiri. You've brought Ravenrock back from the breeze, Traveler. Yes, I have. I don't know how to thank you. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> what happens if we do it in third person? A little better? Geldus? Welcome to the Wretching Nech Corner Club. Home of a fawn and that will right. ever grace your limbs. <laughs> Hey, how's the bar doing now that things are the uh, now that the mines are reopened? How do you think? It's a blood Which Raven Rock uh, texture is this? Um, Thirsty workers at the running end of the day, and more coin than I can count. Let me see here. Landscape is rallies with the parallax add-on. The textures. You know, honestly, I'm going to have to look on my list, Uncle Robert. The overhaul itself is, um, quaint Raven Rock, so all the, like, the clutter and stuff like that. I'm going to have to look on my list to see the, uh, what I've got for architecture and stuff. Uh, Adriel Arano said, you might be able to help me. Well, well. Agile's got himself a spy, does he? Love his voice. Well, Zura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulans for years now. Yeah? Does he think he's uh, mistaken? No. I just think he's going about this all right. You've been thinking way. of new textures for River Rock. Mine are a little too nice looking, not quite as rustic. There, I mean, there's a ton of really good ones. Like, obviously, uh, the. Dragonborn DLC is covered in Scotland AIO, so you get the landscape and the architecture in that, I think. It'll say on the mod page, it'll tell you. Um, I don't know if Noble covers it. I don't have... I don't have Noble in this setup. Um, 
God, it's been a while since I've run Noble. I may be using rallies for the architecture too, but I, I'm not sure. I'd be able to look at, like, it's in my base, uh, my base mods, like my base texture stuff, so I'll, have to, I'll look and take, uh, take a look and see. Actually, I do. If you want to catch you could steal, fish, uh, you need to let them come Farta to the fence stuff right in front of her, she'll sell, uh, Farta. Interesting, who is Varda? Varda the fence. Is it something from Anniversary, Uncle Robber? She's at a bay. Oh, quaint Raven Rock. Could be. I haven't gone in every shop or uh, or every add-on. Well, every uh, house add-on in this yet. Now, we've been back and forth from Solstheim to Skyrim, so I've been doing things on both. There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Okay. Why haven't you told Adril about this? What makes you think I haven't? Anytime Adril and the Redoran God made a move... A fence that lives in the Snow Prince Sanctuary under Raven Rock. Didn't show up. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, yeah, I don't remember there being one in the main town, but that... It, but it sounded familiar, but it's like, man, it's been a while, so. Uh, thanks for the tip. You can thank me if it works. All right. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. Fair enough. So, uh, yeah, why did Counselor Morvane execute an Ulan? I mean, this is what started all this, right? Back in 95. Yo, 95 was a good year, man. A plan to take over. Geldus knows he was there. A fetcher fault he could stir up the locals and use them <laughs> against the Redder and Guard, and then murder Councillor Morvane when we weren't looking. So Veeler did this alone? He arrived alone, but spread enough coin around to start changing people's minds. Half the bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? Interesting. How did Veeler get caught? He underestimated the Redder and Guard. Yeah. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. Vela tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Velleth himself. Yeah, you don't fuck with Vela. Vela Ulan was executed a short time later. He's, uh, he's pretty badass. He's team. one of my favorite uh, Raven Rock NPCs. Not for voicing, just overall character. All right. Watch yourself out there. Looks like an ash storm might be brewing. Ash storm, huh? You ready, Inigo? go? We're gonna go see what's up with this. Captain. Yeah, see, so I actually have these toned down a little bit. Right? This is what I was talking about. So in the hearts, they're not that bad. But this is, again, this is Ember's XD, but it's the 1K. It's not the main file, it's the one right under. There's a 2K option as well. The main Ember's file, I believe, is 4K? But it's it's just complete overkill. Complete overkill. In it go. We are gonna wait. You don't need for the fire and stuff like that. You really don't need more than the one k. You'll save yourself some VRAM. Uh, cause it's it's literally all over the game. All right, let's just wait an hour here. Can I do that? Discover the identity. Okay. In case they try attacking me, I never know. We could always paralyze them. Let's let's swap this over. Do I not have paralyze on? I'm looking right at it. Jeez. Uh, 
course, we have no sneak. Found you! Ah, excuse me. That's Tillisu. I didn't realize there was anyone else here. Ah. Uh, what are you doing here? I presume the same thing you're doing. Yeah. Leaving an offering for the departed. Yeah, I was leaving offerings. Forgive my surprise. It's just that I wouldn't expect that sort of behavior from someone who isn't done. That. The guy's a certified butt kicker. Yeah, Veloth. Yeah, Veloth's fucking awesome. Uh, but you aren't an Ulan. Since there aren't any Ulans left on this island, I've taken it upon myself to leave the traditional offering in their stead. The traditional offering of Ashams. I get it, yeah. Uh, Alright, well, I'll let you get to it then. Oh, no bother. We all have a right to be here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to meditate on it. I don't want to tip her off. Come on, Inigo. Yeah, the downside is them. I don't want to unlock MO2 in the middle of this. Dude, is he back? Yeah, he's back inside. All right. This headwear is crushing my ears. Wait, you kind of need it, dude. Sorry. <laughs> he definitely needs it. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Hey, Sindiri. Uh, we just came to uh, chit chat. Uh, let me swap. Oh, let's use candlelight. I like this little Traveling beyond the border will be much safer as a result of your victory. I hope Gelgus proves Wrong. useful. It Have you made any blends nice with the facelight I've got. Uh, I suspect Tillisu Severin is the culprit. Tillisu. Tillisu. Are you sure? I saw her in the Ulan tomb. So Gelgus' plan worked, eh? Every time we tried it, no one would ever show up. If Telesu's involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morvain, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. Okay, so just go search their house. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. Hmm. If you're wrong about Telesu, things this will, be will interesting. quickly go downhill around here, and the real hmm. culprits might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. Okay. You mean me, right? The Archmage of the College of Winterhold, the Dragonborn. So what if they try to stop me? If you have evidence Reduced to a common thug, breaking peril, and entering. I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Here, this key should open oh, the front door. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he just happens to have a key to their it. door. Good luck. I think that was a mistake on Bethesda's part right there. For him to give you the key. Like, why does he have a key to Severin Manor? I know you get it later as a player home. But. there's Adril has no business having their key right here. You should have to break it in. It should either be. It should probably be an expert lock. If not a master lock. Now, obviously, Requiem would probably change that to expert. Because. Knock 2 doesn't. Dual cast break master. So unless you had that perk, you'd be stuck on this quest and screwed. So Um Can you tell me more about the Severin family? Telesu is wife to the family patriarch Vendel. They have a single child, a daughter. Yeah, I love how every NPC looks at you and uh, assumes Yeah, Aaron Boy. And have been nothing but a You're like the unofficial the courier space. to them. Like you know how annoying like the courier is to us to come up, unless, well, unless you have Vander in as your courier. He's fucking awesome. Alright, that, there we go. I forgot to add Vander. We're going to add Vander to this setup. How does it benefit? They're quite wealthy, and they've been quite generous. How did I forget fucking Vander? The community. They've contributed coin, Vander's food, the best courier mod on Nexus. Guys, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. Dude gets things done. Yeah, well, the regular courier Vander freaking out shines him. <laughs> Trust me on that. That is way faster. Uh, nothing unusual about them at all. People have mentioned it's a bit odd 
about how close in age Mary appears to Wait, have plot fun, holes in a Bethesda game? Perish the, the thought. Law. Right? Just make sure you find solid evidence. If I yeah, you should have to break in. in Cause like, I mean, that's sus that like Adril has their freaking key. Okay, so why do the Ulans have a tomb in Raven Rock? After all that you've told me, that seems a little odd. Villa Ulan wasn't the first Ulan to live in Raven Rock. No. His father, Valen Ulan, Valen. was one of the first Dunmer to settle here. Unlike his son Villa, Valen <laughs> was a good man. He contributed to the community and was quite. A oh, that'd be why. When Valen died, Makes sense. his family provided the funds to construct the tomb. But you told me House Lalu was disliked. The Ulan family being a part of House Lalu didn't matter. It's Dunmer's tradition for the ashes of the deceased to be placed in an ancestral tomb. See, I can respect that. Valen Ulan and his son's remains were both laid to rest there because that's what he'd requested. Okay. Be careful. If the Severans have betrayed us, then they'll be well armed. It's like the, uh, Counselor Morvane's hanging out over here. What's he up to? I love this, too. Serve House Redrin or serve no one? Together with the sword and the dagger. That dual wielder. Traveling beyond the bulwark will be much Yeah, I've safer. never, I haven't been able to, he's the only NPC that has this issue I found. Everyone I've talked to, I have no idea what it is. I mean, unless something from Requiem messed this up, I got nothing else touching him. Skin texture, but I've never seen a skin texture do that to the mouth. Literally the only one. So how are things for you now that the mines are open again, since you run the place? With the mines open, Raven Rock... Hey, it's just weird looking at it. ...colony of the Dunmer people <laughs> I've been able to convince myself. If that's ever happened to anybody else, let me know. Like I said, it looks like there's he's got two beards, one on top of the other. But I don't have any mod that touches that. Soon we'll have a steady supply of workers and materials to keep things going for years to come. Okay. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Raven Rock. Fair enough. He's spiffy. I like that, Yuki, thank you. Spiffy's a good word, too. All right. Well, let's get Frost is nearby somewhere. Come here, Frost. Come on. Do we have anything for you? Who's a good Frost? You hold on to Stormfang and Ozadol's gauntlets. And we're going to hold on to that. Do we have anything else for you? No. Nope. We got about 8,000 set. We're about to gain another level. Fairly soon. Uh, you wait here. I can't, I can't have you uh, sneak it in. We're going to do this. Um, because I know what's going to go on here. Um... Let's buff up our cabbage soup, and we're gonna we're gonna go rank five for this. So, you ready? So my armor rating is now forty thousand five hundred thirty-six. We should not get hurt. You ready, Inigo? For House Lalu. Uh oh. oh. That might have been overkill. Look at her just dropping her health down. Yeah, she's dead. It's not my time. It's not my time, huh? There's Miri. Poor Miri. I actually really like the blue Dunmer uh, outfit. One of these days, I'll, I'm going to make a Dunmer character, and this is going to be my set for the game. I really like this version. Um, this is another Zav uh, retexture too. Look at this. Let me turn my uh, 
Lantern on it. I'll try not to teabag her too much. Look how good that is. Right? Uh, especially, like, I guess it's like the shawl part at the bottom of the hood. That piece. I love I love that part. Um, I am going to take it off her. Oh, no, it's part of the tunic. Never mind. I stand corrected. Uh, it's part of the tunic. What else does she have? She's got to have another key, right? The safe key. Okay. Well, we don't need... Here. I'm not going to take all... Actually, here, let me give her... I know she won't be able to equip it. She could have the blue hood back. And then... Um... Keys... And this will clean them up, because... I've got... Like, a clean up your corpse mud. I, I don't need more than one manor key. I know each one of them has it. We just need the... Uh, Manor key and the safe key. That's it. Okay. If anyone else comes out. Alright. Steel, huh? Hmm. Wind, when did you write a book? What did you say? Poetry, huh? I had no idea. Cabbage potato? Okay. Well, we, we know we're going to get this later, so... And I'll be back. There's a shit ton of soul gems there. Tons of alchemy ingredients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody else in here? I like this home, by the way. This is... If I had to go, like, favorite home in the, in the base game, Severn Manor for me probably edges out Hiram. Only because of functionality. I mean, it is on the island, so yeah, it's away from everything, but... But that's fine. Oh man, we're, we are gonna get into so many fucking adventures. Dude, let's go tag team some bitches, eh? You want, you want to go tag? You can you get it. Okay, let's go exploring some shit. That's the next best thing. Uh, yeah, imitations. I've used imitations, Uncle Robert. It's good mod. And spicy ramen. Appreciate the follow. Welcome into the shadows. Nice name, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, Forza stuff. Uh, that was on console too at one point. Uh, I believe it probably still is, right? But yeah, it's off there. I actually have it saved on a in a folder uh, on my desktop of like saved mods just in case because you never know like the site could go down it's not on nexus at any time so i like to have backups of stuff it's a it's really nice mashups there's a few of them actually i have a couple by fours it's been a few years huh that's naughty. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Love your stream and, uh, and you to us. What, you uh, you catch the archives that I put up on my YouTube channel? You're thinking about streaming the game. Do it. Stream, uh, stream the game how you like. Don't let, uh, don't let, wow. I can't wait to take all those fire and frost salts. Ugh. I don't want to steal them because we will get a bounty right now. So many good things. Look at that. Oh, man, we're, there. we're gonna get into so many fucking adventures. Dude, let's go tag team some bitches. Yo. Eh? You, you guys just love hearing General Sam. Okay, let's go exploring <laughs> some shit. That's the next best thing. Attacking Chief. Welcome on in. Appreciate the follow. Yeah, well, it's just. Plop you there. I should probably get Miri away from the... Oh. Can I pick you up? Uh, just pretend like you're, uh, you know, hanging out here. Sitting down, uh. in the home of a hero. It's not my home yet. Can we get Tillisu? Bring her over here? Ah, oh, she's, she's a fatty. Come on. Oh, right through Winnego. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, let's see. Can we fit her in this this chair here by the by the cook pot? 
Ah, you know what? This chair over here. This will work. Yeah, they're just they're just kind of yeah, hanging out there. Reading a book. Yeah, read about the House of Troubles, eh? I heard it was a good book. Here, just... Ah, whack her in the back of the head with it. Yeah, that's what books are for. God damn it. Really? Slippery slaughter fish. Fuck it, I tried. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Weekend at Miri's. <laughs> I started streaming Skyrim and had a whole viewer for almost, uh, for about two hours. Chief, did you just start? Let me see here. Hold on. Hold on. Let me pause this real quick. Ooh, look at the moon coming up. Let's see. When did you start streaming? Is it like recent? I don't see any videos on there. Has it been a while? Proud of you. <laughs> Yesterday, it's not showing on your uh, thing. It, you, it, you did. Your stats would be up there. Wow, look at that. I gotta get rid of that candlelight. Yeah, as soon as you're done streaming, it it'll tell you like your uh, like if you look at mine and you go to videos. Um, another mouth. Man, these... I tell you, they're, Dunmer are worse than the Nords. You guys think the Nords are freaking racist. L let's let's go down the list of, like... The race, the most racist races in Skyrim. My High Elves. I love them. But let's be honest. They want to unmake the entire world. They hate everybody. And everything. That makes them the most racist. Then the Dunmer are definitely number two. Nords would probably be number three, although I make a strong argument about the Orsimer, the Orcs. The Orcs don't like anybody either. That's why they live in the strongholds. They keep to themselves. They like it that way. They tell you so. Um, they don't let you in, but they don't kill you. Well, they let you in, but they don't immediately attack you. But you can't interact with them until you become bloodkin. So they've got some, you know, basically you have to earn their trust. All right, I can kind of respect that. Imperials are pretty good with everybody. Um, I feel bad for both the Argonians and the Khajiit. They're pretty much hated by most races. And who are we missing? The Red Guards. Red Guards slip under the under the radar. I wonder why that is. Everybody seems to like the Red Guards. DEI in Skyrim is a thing. <laughs> no, they're probably like the least racist race. You never hear anybody say anything bad about them. Uh, they literally adapt to any playstyle probably better than anybody else. Like, it used to be Bretons, but it's like, no, you could make a really good mage out of a red guard, but man, they're like the best warriors hands down, depending on your overhaul. Uh, where did he go? Is he in the club? He's drinking. Look at this. Make a save. Dunmer hate everyone. And hate other Dunmer slightly less. Yeah, well, they have that... What do they call it? The caste system? I think the High Elves have that as well. Is it pronounced caste? I think it is. No, the High Elves absolutely are the... Uh, the Almer are definitely the most... By far. Dunmer, number two... I gotta say the Nords are probably number three. Now, here's my here's my take. I, I know I've said this before. Ulfric is not as bad as any of the other Nords. So, when the Dunmer people left the mainland and made their way into Skyrim through the pass, and I can't remember the name of the pass, but you guys know where I'm talking about, right? Windhelm's right there. Ulfric, and I believe his father at the time, took them in. They have their own entire section in Windhelm, which is unlike any other of any of the other cities and towns in the entire game. 
aside from like Raven Rock, right? Which Raven Rock is obviously a Dunmer settlement now, but he gave them an entire section. They're employed in various positions, farming, uh, mining, fishing, uh, dock working. Uh, what's his name is a trader, right? Uh, but they bitch about it. But yet Ulfric never says a bad word about it. Like, but he also doesn't really, you know, they're, they're not in the priority. He's in the middle of a freaking civil war, but he's never said a bad word about them either. If you go into the, if you go into the game dialogue, you should be able to find nothing that Ulfric says that outright, like, discriminates against them. The Nords in Windhelm are freaking racist as hell. Rolf and... I'm surprised, but, like, Angrenor, like, he was a former, uh... Legionnaire, maybe? They're pretty bad. Rolf's just a scumbag. So that's my case for Ulfric. He's not. He's not as bad as, uh... Yeah, yeah, we found evidence. So I'm just talking with chat there, buddy. Yeah, I found evidence uh, proving the Severn's guilt. Then we finally have them. All that remains now is chasing them yeah, down. Yeah, we get to track them down. Justice. So, here's a little mod alteration that I would like to see for this. He sends Rhetoran Guard to scout on ahead. I wish you could tell him not to do this. That they should stay here and shore up their defenses. And we'll do this all on our own. Because... Let's just face like they're already dead when you get there. And then he complains about it later. It's like that's that's a mod I would like to see. I would use something like that. In every setup. That at least gives you the option, so. Yeah, I don't think they'll give up willingly. Good. I'm going to send two of the best. I want that red guard woman in the inn. To take them down. Uh the what oh uh system anyway. God, what's her name? Why can't I remember? I know you're talking. The one in White Run. Her real name is Eamon. Uh, Sadia. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, I had a brain fart there. Uh, Sadia's freaking awesome. I love her. She's gorgeous, especially with some of the overhauls. Like I said, she doesn't look bad with any overhaul. You could literally pick one. She looks fucking fantastic. Um, I usually side with her. Although, technically, I don't think either side is really right. The uh, Alakir were supposedly fighting against the Dominion, so they're not wrong. But I don't also feel like she spoke out either. A lot of people say the opposite. They feel like she's the guilty one. So. See that you do. We can't afford to let these traitors slip away. Hey, Ramen. Uh, day's been pretty good so far. What about you? Your day good? Beginning of the weekend? If I remember right, the Red Guards are the only race in Tamriel that haven't tried to invade or, you know, genocide anyone. Well, them and the Khajiit, I think. Bosmer only attempted genocide when the fridge is empty and it isn't paid in. <laughs> Here's my... This sounds bad. I, I love Red Guard lore. You wouldn't be able to tell because uh, Argonians are my favorite race. Uh, but I play High Elves probably the most, because I play Vampires, and Altmer makes some of the best Vampires. Dunmer I play very often, uh, and Nords. But, um, I especially like the Sword Singers. Citadel's been abandoned for a long time. But the Red Guards probably have just as rich a lore as the Dunmer, and even with Skyrim, the, uh, the Nords. Is there anybody else here we need to speak with? I don't think so. What do you think, Inigo? Something troubling you? Well, he uh, no, he doesn't have anything to say. Okay, let us get back to it. We could go to sleep here. What time is it? No, not yet. Let's travel. Let's travel. Pharaoh always handed her in. Really? He sides with the Alec here. Doesn't he know in Requiem you get awesome freaking gear? If you kill them, that's freaking cool. Hold on, let me take that. Headed east. 
May want to give the Talmithrin a wide berth. No, no, no. We, I don't uh, like the looks of that place one bit. I like the looks of that place. Frost, are you going to stay here? Are you going to hang out in town? That does look good, doesn't it? I love the moon. This this moon is fantastic. I don't even have a replacer for it. That's just what comes with the weather. Alright, bud. What is my... Alright, our carry weight is good. So then if I buff, too, because we don't have our buffs on. Yeah, 450. And then if I put the backpack on, we're a little bit better. Uh, here. We need that. Do we need to recharge gold brand? Yeah, we do. We're good there, we're good there. I gotta get that sorted. Alright. Frost, I think you're gonna stay here. We're gonna go by foot. Get some of that beef stew in us. Eating on the run. Let's, uh... And the other moon's in the other position. Let's get Soul Trap back on A. Oops. No! <laughs> I almost did it. That was a close call. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh. And mage is blowing each other up, huh? That could be dangerous, so... Let's see if we can get... Flame Girl close. Oh, it's a... Nice. Got him! I told you, man, Ignite! Cryomancer, huh? Diluted. Dark vision. Oh, we're taking that. That's expensive. Take that and sell it. This ignite spell, guys, I'm telling you. If you play the base game, as soon as you get this spell, you're going to need to jack your game up to legendary. Now, remember, Requiem does change it a little bit, but this is going to be the last fire spell we need. 103 points of damage per second for 5 stackings. It stacks. It's a little different um, in non-Requiem. It does a lot less damage. Probably about as much as Firebolt. Whatever that is. But it's stackable. So, like, you hit dragons with dual-casted ignites. You're going to stagger them. And you're just going to watch their health bar melt. And the more you stack it, the faster their health uh, comes down. Best fire spell in the game. I don't care what anybody says. You need the ring, though. You need Azadal's Ring of uh, Arcana. So, get yourself a good mod to have a left-handed ring. Because this is going to take up probably a good ring that you may have been using, like we have. Uh, but this is that. But it cost, they cost next to nothing to do. Look at this. Next to nothing to do a cast this. I'm regening my magic, like, faster than I'm casting it. It's insane. Ashfall of Citadel. Or is Ashfall? There's Kagramist. There's the Beast Stone. Oh, we don't have it on the. Yeah, we do. Oh, it's over here. Oh, uh, let's just go to Telmithrin first. And hope that, um. Yeah, I hope that Nelot's not being a bitch. Watch this, let's see. Watch their health, ready? Look at that just melting away. There's one, one dual cast, watch this. Let's see how far down it gets. On a netch, four t half its health right there. There's your second one. You can throw a third one in for a little extra dead 
Sorry, man. Best best fire spell in the game. Still one of the highest DPS spells in Vin Oh, it, it, it is the best uh, DPS spell. I'm pretty sure. I don't know anything that does... Oh, maybe Lightning Storm. Is uh, It's the Master one, right? You have to go through the Destruction Ritual, uh, Master Ritual quest for it. Um, but you can only sustain it for so long. That's See, that's why I, I don't think it's the best one. Um... Of course, that is me, me personally saying that. Maybe it does do more, I don't know. Let's drop another save here. What makes Altberg good vampires? Uh, first of all, alright, so if you're looking at it from a base game perspective, Karma, they start with 50 extra magicka. Okay, that's five straight levels of magic that they just get right off the bat. As a vampire, you're gonna ha you're gonna be using magic. There's just you know, unless you're specifically playing a vampire knight with heavy armor and you decide to forego magic, which is very difficult to do, and you would probably need sacrosanct to do it properly. Vampires are all magical creatures. Conjuration, Illusion, and Destruction, and Light Armor, One-Handed. Maybe some Alchemy and Enchanting in there, right? Probably Speechcraft, uh, if you're really going to round out their abilities. And if you really want to think about it, Alteration makes a lot of sense for Paralyze. Vampires should be able to paralyze their enemies. They're freaking vampires. But let's just stick with like basic stuff, right? So you get... 150 magic at a start. Um, in the base game, if you go from Helgen right to um, Shriekwin Bastion, there's a low-level vampire you can contract vampirism at level 1. Um, and as long as you invest in restoration your first like perk or two, you'll be able to heal faster than she'll be able to do damage to you. So as soon as you contract it, leave. You don't even have to beat her. Leave. Wait the three days. You'll become a vampire at like, level 1. Right, so your stats are going to be nerfed, but you're also going to gain um, your Vampiric Drain. Uh, it's going to allow you access to Necromage, since you're already flagged as undead. And once you get the Necromage perk, then take all of your... Uh, there's like other perks you could take, and it, it buffs them by 25% to everything. Plus your, your, you know, your natural Vampire buffs of like... Uh, being more stealthy, um, illusion spells are more powerful and cost less. Um, and some overhauls, your persuasion attempts are just better because you're a vampire and more charismatic. Uh, I believe in some overhauls, like Requiem here, uh, it buffs all your like your like your armor rating, your base stats, and things like that get buffed through the fucking roof. So, yeah, they're 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 the best. You guys wonder why I play vampires? That's why. They make very versatile rogues, night blades, pure mages. Go with the vampire as a pure mage. They make great necromancers. You know, necromancy is her thing, although they do summon. So, yeah. something wants me dead. What is that? Is that can't still be those guys over there, right? I don't want to enter here with. Because you know what happened last time? Neloth decided he wanted to get a little squirrely with me. And where the hell's Inigo? Is he off fighting them? Come here. Dude. You're on fire, my friend. He was fighting them. Here. Speak to me. I need you to wait here. Because last time you came I in, he got mad. You. Maybe because he's got the Daedric gloves on. I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, but he got mad. So, we're going to make a save before we go in. 
Yo, Recons, what's up? Welcome in, dude. Yeah, they're they're great at illusion spells. That's that's one of my favorite gameplay styles uh, for this game is a vampire illusionist. Um, you can go many ways with that. I like as a vampire that you get seen less. You're more stealthy. Uh, as as an illusionist part of the vampire, uh, you're gonna be dual casting like muffle, invisibility, ghost walk, things that you know make you unseen and unheard. And you're going to be frenzying and or calming. I would say probably both for the most part. Enemies, make them fight each other. Sow confusion. And then sneak in and, you know, get a backstab on whoever's left. Or do it with magic, with runes. The sneaky vampire illusionist that uses runes from destruction is a fucking force to be reckoned with. Use all three runes. You don't even have to go into, um the trees in destruction if you don't want to just take rune mastery and uh you know if you're playing ordinator uh take demolition job from sneak and there's uh i think what's the other perk from uh guy can't think of the name of it. it it's from uh yeah there's one in sneak and there's one in destruction either way and then Ancient Runes, with Ordinator, uh, you'll take the first one, and then you'll take Ancient Rites, which does damage over time with the runes. And it stacks 15% each second, so it's pretty damn good. Pretty OP. Uh, Noah. Have you found Verona yet? I uh, some tea. Yeah. Verona's dead. Dead? Yes. Well, that's annoying. I'm doing pretty good, Recons. How, How you been? How did she die? Doing well, just getting through the last hour-ish of work. Playing Skyrim lately, because the itch, yeah, the itch never really goes away. It's always there, sometimes more subtle than others, but yeah, it happens. Yeah, you've done that without Vampire, and it was a hoot. Yeah, we add Vampirism in there, and you get the extra 25% buff or whatever it is, Karma, trust me. It's, it's more fun. And then with modded spells, like... Apocalypse and Odin, yeah, good there stuff. There are more and more of those things showing up around here lately. Oh, I suppose you'll have to find me a new steward. A new steward. Try Raven Rock. They are in awe of me there. Raven Rock. I'm huh? sure almost anyone would be willing to serve me. Raven Rock, huh? You realize I'm the Archmage of the College, and you can't just order me around. Not without payment. Well, somebody needs to get me a new steward. <laughs> it might as well be you. <laughs> but it. if you don't want to help a master wizard of House Talvani, <laughs> possibly earning his favor, <laughs> you're a fool. I love it. He's just, he's freaking great. All right. What, uh, what kind of person should I look for? Hmm. Excellent question. Once word gets out, I started a vanilla a AE character yesterday. Computer. Gonna finally try all the, all the achievements. Nice. Yeah, I'm running AE on this. Recons. I wish I had selective amnesia so I could play Skyrim oh, for the first time again. No right, Yuki? Proof. The first time we played this, we were like, I, I was blown away. I mean, I did come from Oblivion. Oblivion was a lot of fun, but Skyrim, like, like I said, Skyrim's Bethesda's ceiling. Yeah, I, that's why I said, like, unless they pull something out of their ass with the S6, Skyrim's it, guys. This is the best of the best that we got on an old engine. Starfield doesn't doesn't touch this. Like, well, that may change when they release the tools to officially mod it, but, but we'll see. But again, it's different because, like, you can't really tell a story with Starfield, and I hate that. It's a loot and shoot. I've been saying it since August 31st. This game is a loot and shoot. That's it. Good game. I had a lot of fun playing it. I put my 750 hours in, 800 hours in it, and I'll pick it up again, but it's like... I could just play Skyrim over and over and over, and I don't get sick of it. I'm running low on Hearthstones. If they keep the same and writer from Starfield and Skyrim, TS6 Otherwise, is going to blow. I can tell you where you might find one. 
Yeah. Well, it's gonna be mon it's gonna be monetized bullshit from the beginning too. I think we've all been prepared for that. Like, I like watching Wind play. She actually does a really good job of telling a story with her characters in Starfield, so I'm impressed with that. Because, like, to be honest, there's not a lot going on there in that game. She does a really good job, too. Brandy's another one. I could sit and watch the two ladies play Starfield for a while and, you know... Killed, killed any buzz around TES. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would agree, Sky King. It's, uh... And then, like, the modding for it comes and, comes and goes in spurts. Like, I see people on your stream, and then, like, within a week, they're all done. They're all off to other games. They're like, I picked it up thinking I was gonna, like, go through it again. Um, I have a Hearthstone. Hold on, I'm talking to chat, Nella. Have him report to me. With I... a cup of Canis root tea. Listen. I have your heart stone. Excellent. I'll take it. Here, have some septums. I love how he says that. All right, we're going to get out of here now. now where did I, put I have oh, no idea. Yeah. See you, Talvis. Um, yeah, and within like a week of them starting it up, they're like back to whatever game they were on previously. It doesn't matter what it was. Like, you know, could be with Bethesda, could be, you know... Uh, uh, another, uh... Oh, look at that. Alright, are we off to, uh... Are we off? I am ready to go, if you are. I'm ready to go, too. Follow I'm me. right behind you. Win, thank you for the official shout-out to Sky King 2020. Guys, this is the Sky King. If you've used Skyland anything, you've used the Sky King mod. Bits and Bobs. Sky King Signs. Granite Hill. The Ranger Weapon. I love the Ranger Weapons, dude. I You were sitting there talking about that the other day. And, like, I think at the same time, myself, Brandy, and Vixie, and I think a few other people said, yeah, we love that mod. Naloth is such a dick, but in the best way. Dwight Schultz does a <laughs> Company with 500 employees can't produce a game every 500 years. Can't produce a game every... T yeah, what's it going to be now? It's like... Wh when are we getting Elder Scrolls 6? It's 28 now, right? So 11 to 28, was it 17 years? I mean, we may as well just say 20 year difference... 20, 20 year lapse between... An Elder Scroll to Elder Scroll game. ESO doesn't count. Single player, open world, Skyrim to whatever 6 is going to be. Oh, me and Joy. Appreciate you stopping in. Got to get stuff done. Get your stuff done. Don't work too hard if you're working. Weekends here. Relax. Enjoy. We are headed up to Ash Follow Citadel, which is up the mountain. Now, I may need to change. If we come across Ash Spawn, um, because they are fire resistant, so... Actually, let me get this prepared now. I'm going to get the Ice Rune ready. It's the only other one I'll wind up using. Yeah, unfortunately, Ignite's not going to... It's not going to cut it. Ah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything. Do we want a Morg Tonks? I don't want a Morg Tonks. So. We're going to pick up stuff inside. Ah, see, that's why. See you, buddy. Ooh, look 
liquid he had. Good thing he didn't hit me with that. A glass bow. Ebony dagger. Oh, we're taking all that stuff. You can keep your stuff. Here's the door for it, right? I think there's some... Right as soon as you come in, we're gonna have to be careful. I think I leveled up too, didn't I? Let's check. Yeah, we did. Let's take the level up. All right, what are we going? Conjuration. Uh, well, let's get resto. Oh, it's almost at a hundred. I got two, huh? Let's leave. let's keep these eight. Restorations at ninety-nine. Let's go magic. I have a perk. Alteration is done. We're done done done. Let's focus on I did say I was gonna do this too. So we got three options in Conjuration, right? We have Cognitive Flexibility. So the first rank gives you a second summon. Um, this extends even to outside. Right? So if you have summons in any other schools, like if you're running Triumvirate and you have the patch, Cognitive Flexibility gives you a second from there. Uh, the second rank of that gives you a third. So Spiritual Bonding. Uh, greatly increases the strength of all summoned and elemental binding increases them this basically makes them thralls they last forever I think and they're immune to banishment and control spells here's my conundrum all three of those are good I've only got one perk in alchemy this is where I would waste this perk taking immunization uh, you've discovered a way to make your body more resilient to all kinds of disease well we're already resilient to everything we're 100% we're disease and poison resistant but it unlocks the next one which is fortified muscles which is going to buff me I think 50 points health magic and stamina just by having a mammoth heart and troll fat in my inventory when I take it Which is like 15 levels worth of stuff. Pretty solid. So what do you think we do here? Uh, I would rather not be playing a new single player Fallout title when I'm on Social Security, okay? Oh, jeez. <laughs> right? Fallout 5, huh? Todd loves his memes. 5 is 11, 11, 11. Expect 6 on 12, 12, 12. So only 88 more years to go. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'll be completely honest with you guys. If I played nothing but Skyrim, I'd be cool with that. As long as it's got modding capable. Once, once like, modding... If modding ever went away for this game, uh, that's it. I'd be finally playing other games. That's a, this is such a tough call right here. We're not a poisoner. We're not taking them. We're not taking sneak. One-handed would actually be decent. We're not taking enchanting. That's done. Restoration. Mysticism. Against the undead and the Daedra, huh? There's respite, which would also let me regenerate my stamina. And then improved wards. It absorbs incoming spells and has slightly improved efficiency. Resto's at 99, guys. This is a pretty in-depth build, if I'm being honest. For a pyromancer. I feel like I've set him up pretty good. And then, of course, there's this whole other side, like Power of Light. What's Essence of Life? 
Uh, your understanding of healing and how magic and life are intertwined allows you to call upon your newfound powers more often. And then obviously, uh, Expert's going to give you two spells to study, Master's going to give you one spell to study. Man. This is such a tough call. And we haven't even taken Mastery in Destruction yet. I don't know. I think... Since I don't really need two, do I? Let's let's take elemental binding. Let's make them thralls that are immune to banishment and control spells, right? So summon flame atronach. How long do they last for? Two minutes, two seconds. Alright, so they don't last forever. I feel like I, f I should have saved before I did that. How tough are you now, though? Oh, yo. Okay, they have a ton of magicka. Level 20, huh? Interesting. There should be a uh, here. Let's take all that. You got him. Crispy critter. There a trap? There's a trap here somewhere. Take I don't know why I'm sneaking. There's no point to this. Yeah. Oh crap! Hi. Inigo, go get them. Jeez. I think we just alerted literally everybody. Julianos, there we go. I'll take all that stuff. Why not? Playing Starfield here? Why are you using silver arrows? Those are for undead, dummy. <sighs> Alright, let's keep going.
I don't think there's anything in here. So, well, there we go. Eh, shocks. Not really worth that picking up. We already have it. We sell it for for next to nothing. So, let's drop a save here. Um. Nah, I didn't mean to do that. Stop. Are you good? Here, watch where you're stepping here. You are more permanent than a magical friend. Just be careful what you're doing, dude. <laughs> he got me. He got me from behind. That's our first death in a couple days. Alright. Well, we're not too far behind. I meant to shout at him. Let's, let's do this. Let's go rank 5. Yeah, they are truly fire resistant, but... Um, these, these traps just do... They wreck me. Oh, wow. Vendel? Oh, he's dual wielding. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Hold on, who's getting away here? Nice. Wow, these guys are loaded up. I love to see it, right? You alright, buddy? Yeah. Let's, let's get through here. Where was he here? Yeah, he's got some good stuff on him. Yeah, this stuff here. And then there were a few others in here, weren't there? Paid them well. Uh, there was another one, right? This Fall down. is a thing of beauty. Anything else down here? Right. Okay. 
Oh, the one that third one was the one that uh, ran away. Okay. Uh, sure, we'll take all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Severin Manor is ours. Don't step on that, dummy. Let me save. Inigo's gonna get me killed again. <clears throat> uh, where is the... There's an enchanting here. Let's use this. Finishing them with gold brand was a nice touch. There we go. Yes, yes it was. Uh, we may as well, right? We need some common gems to absorb health is what? 2868? What's better, chaos? 25. Banish. So absorb health is the best one. See how it changes? Always go most expensive. What about fear? Turn. Paralysis, 43-48. That's it. This is just a common gem. We could do the same with the ebony daggers. That's how you make your money here. We already have a glass bow in the house, so... Uh, let's get a couple of these ebony. We could put an ebony dagger in the house. God damn, it makes these things expensive. Oh, we're not going to sell them for nearly as much, but... We'll keep that one. All this stuff we'll just hold on to for right now. Uh, did I miss... Missed a soul gem. Bad Magus. Jimmy, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. How you been? Let's go tell Noah that uh, everything is now a okay. Or not Neloth, I'm sorry. Uh, we have to go to Raven Rock anyway. Where am I going? Go this way. Yeah, the guards. That does look cool, doesn't it? <laughs> Been well? Good to hear. Good to hear. Let's go, Frost. It was a good Frost. One greater. Looks like we got a little bit of a haze going on with a little bit of a my candlelight, so. Oh, they're up there fighting? Yeah, I don't want to... I can avoid any other mage battles. We will. Now we could knock people over on horseback. 
which is nice. That is kind of cool. Jump on top of there, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Frost, you stay there. You hang out there. Uh, I've got a question for everyone here. What features added by mods would you like to see should be added to ES6 if it comes out? Uh, I kind of... If I'm going on like a really basic start, um, I would like there to be SKSE, Sky UI, and E and B integration from the get-go. Although I have the feeling it'll be some version of like DLSS or maybe something like that that comes afterwards. Enderall had that from the beginning. Enderall already came with an E and B, and it was a mod. Came with Sky UI. Came with the script extender or of the Enderall version of you know, those said three. At least to start. I'd want, I want day one modding support, meaning I want the official tools to mod from Bethesda from launch, right from the beginning. I want to see modders take that, and of course I'm going to play the game vanilla first, uh, but I want to see other people that don't and want to just practice their art do it from day one and I'm sure folks are gonna have like early access to stuff like that but I, I want that from day one that's that's what I would love to see I would like to see creations go the fuck away entirely well what happened were you able to track down Vendor? out with it jeez he's pushy about it yeah he's no longer a threat then it's finally but that's just me. Other folks in chat, feel free to... Uh, New Vegas had a day one CK. See, there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. When did the when did the creation kit come out for Skyrim? I wasn't on PC at the time, so I don't know. And I'm too lazy to look it up. I'm sure somebody knows, right? Damn it. I was hoping to protect our people by sending them, not end up with casualties. To think that Vendel I don't think it was day so one. Low is to hire those fetchers. Fetchers. I'm glad you killed him. Yeah, do what had to be done. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Counselor Morvane will be quite pleased when he hears about this. Oh, he didn't just hear about it? You're sitting right next to him. Oh, we could add you want to be the new steward of Telmithrin? I'm perfectly content with my current position. Okay, that's all he's got. Follow me, and I'll take you to the counselor so you can speak to him yourself. Oh. Excuse me, Counselor Morvane. I have some wonderful news. Adriel, I haven't heard a smile on a face like that in a long time. This visitor has single-handedly dealt with a threat that could have ended your life. Vendel, Telesu, and Miri Severin weren't who they appeared to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. Vendel? But he's done so much for Raven Rock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain people our People tend to forget how just how many people from food. Oblivion and New Vegas shaped I should have been more uh, the early Skyrim mod scene. I'm sorry. Oh, well, a lot of people that. cut their teeth on New Vegas fault, and Oblivion. Friend. And you. Yeah, and I never played any of the Fallout Step stuff, forward. so I, you know. What you've done for me. For all but was not New Vegas a different studio? Goes far beyond what I would have expected. Or was that three? Town. One of them was, For right? This, you have my deepest gratitude. Still got that weird beard thing going on, dude. It's kind of fierce. Uh, thank you, counselor. 
Now, I'm certain Nadro <laughs> was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. However, since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I've decided to provide something more substantial. More substantial? Oh yeah? Since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, they're Criminal scum. Now forfeit. As counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor and everything contained within. Sweet. You've Third home. Here, of course, we won't be staying here. I'm just going to loot the place. Uh, I may consider it. We also got 1,500 septum, so, uh, hey. 60 XP. Inigo, let's, uh... What do you think? Anything? You want to talk? Any thoughts? No. My mind is a tree without leaves at the moment. Tree without leaves. Uh, New Vegas was obsidian. Uh, but they built New Vegas off of Bethesda's engines and assets from the whole run of Fallout 3. It's the reason why Tale of Two Wastelands even works. New Vegas with Fallout 3 running as a mod in the newer engine. A nice winter vacation home. You could be a snowbird. Yes. Yes, I could. Alright. You're gonna, Frost, you're gonna follow me over. I love the moon here. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's pick up some of these, uh... Alchemy ingredients. You're the most powerful landlord in Tamriel now, right? Oh, are we seriously encumbered? Oh. Let me throw the damn backpack on. Yeah, we're gonna have to sell some of this stuff. Uh. Oh, jeez, I see the cleanup hasn't happened yet. Okay. The mother's over there. So, yeah. Now this is all mine, which means sweet roll. Can I pick you up there? Don't need it. We'll be taking that. Okay. Room one down. Uh, gem, 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 gem. Yeah, you, you, no, no, no. You, uh, oh, we got it. Hold on. You could do this. Oh, keep it on the ground. I'm usually really good at setting stuff up. Ah, fuck it. Sometimes I can get lucky and I'll just, I'll plop it back down, like if I go R, like that, see? But it won't do with the other side. Alright, we really want those alchemy, like all that, yeah, this stuff here, this is what we're here for. The axe, man. Surprising way to become proficient with an axe. That's a lot of canis root. We've got a ton of them. Alright, here's what we're here for. These are magicka.
Uh. Really? Oh no, we're really... We're really encumbered. All right. Let's see if any of these are worth it. Uh, fair. That's a Requiem thing. Okay. How much over am I? By a lot. Okay. Sleeping in the bed. Well, I suppose Time some for kind home. of speech Make is over in Skyrim order. Edition. Hey, Yuki! With the resub, 13 months! Much appreciated, Yuki. Thank you. Very, very kind of you. Even with our uh, our backpack on. Yeah. I know there's gems in there. I'm just I don't care. <laughs> uh, we'll just let the C button do its job. We'll walk up. I'm surprised the candlelight lasted that long. Let's turn that off. Right, we don't need it. Turn that one up. We'll go sell some things to uh, Glover. We're going to take the horse. Oh, I see. I hear dragon. Here it comes. Hold on. I hope I can sell this before I'm. Ah, I'm, oh, shit. Hold on. No, 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 worst time for this. Lover. Fuck. I'll put you into Fetcher. Fetcher. Oh, he's a fire dragon, too. We're gonna have to use something other than fire. Alright, well, we have this on, so... should stop them. It's working so far. He's gonna land outside. Oh no, he lands up here, that's right. I really wish the townspeople would not not do this. Should be over here. Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Yeah, I am strong. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, you're screwed, buddy. Eat it. Durgan. Maybe I should have picked up the rest of it Rare Frost. Ugh. Problems of being a mage. Come here. I need you to ride me into town. We gotta sell off all this stuff. 
You guys are welcome, by the way. I'm just going back to work like it's no big deal. Shut this. Oh my god. It's a good thing to see he didn't mess your stall up. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay <laughs> a bit longer after all. You still buying those pendants? As long as you keep bringing them, I'll keep buying them. We have just the one? Alright. You want to be the new steward of Telmithrin? Get out of this? Don't be ridiculous. Who would run this place? Ask around the wretching netch. Ask around the wretching netch? Crazy enough or drunk enough to do it. Alright, I'll stop there next. Listen, you got. Uh, you got some money? See for yourself. I got some stuff to sell to you. Oh, he's got 55. Uh, dagger, dagger. Dagger, keeping that dagger. Um, no, we don't need bolts. What else can we get rid of? Uh, Mara. Don't need. Keeping that, bring your surroundings, keeping that, keeping that, keeping that. <sighs> Boy. Oh, we already have dark vision. Excuse me, Captain. And then the west end of town. We feel awfully exposed over there. Okay. If I had the resources at my disposal, those gold ingots, huh? Yeah, you don't get a lot for them, but hey. I know you're doing everything. 24 silver ingots, look at that. I'll make sure we have a permanent foot patrol over there. The least I can do for you. Alright. Thanks, Vet. You need any supplies? You know where to find me. I do know where to find you, guess. Frost. Uh, I need... Oh, we could probably sell him. Hey, Pia, hi. Oh, he's over here. Yeah, so, what can I get you just what you see. You want any staves? I got these two here. You might like them. Courage. Ice storms. And, uh... You could have those bows. Very good. Inigo. If you need any supplies, you know where to find me. Yes, my friend. Would you like some arrows, Inigo? Okay. Let us see what we have. What are you running here? You're running on the steel. You got 370 silver, huh? I don't trust him with these. He's not using them, but... He's got the rest of my stuff, huh? Here, give me that. Just ask. Yeah. All right. If I had the resources at my uh, let's ch check out the map here. I understand. I Inspect know the area. Can. That's for the Nordic want. quest. I'll so sure we, have a permanent over there. we may as well clean the last two stones. There's a dragon fight here, by the way, guaranteed by the water stone. That's a guarantee. I know we've already got uh, Kavison's fang, but. Is it because of your father? Or is it me? Let's just check the area around here. What time is it, anyway? See, we're at six and a half hours. Almost. We're almost there. under there. Interesting. Finding naturally occurring raw pieces of a suitable size and shape is unlikely. Something, something, something. Quickly discovered. Grinding with traditional methods is nearly impossible, but this material fascinates me. I'm determined to incorporate it into my work. Uh, something... F the Sun Crew. I have no idea what that is. Something Shaman release 
something that is... Alright, anyway. Shattering large chunks with an application of violent force. After repeated bouts of extreme heating and cooling, note, magical methods are the most viable. Uh, yields for more material to select from. This is just the book. We'll pick that up. And... Craft a piece of Nordic jewelry out of forage. That's literally it. Let's go cleanse the stone. Let's also look for Nernroot. There's usually a lot around the coast here. I think we picked these up. Yeah. Did they return yet? Let's see. Anybody? Oh yeah. Somebody's over there. Oh, I see him. That's a bandit. No soul gem, huh? Good job, guys. I was going to say, yeah, I think we got the guy that was up there. Okay. I think there's a bristle back around here, right? There it is. Here, piggy, piggy. Okay, you're screwed. <laughs> Me to ride you, Frost, huh? Alright. Fair enough. Let's go. Come on. Is there another one here? I don't see it. idea what they're doing. Here, let's get off. We're going to leave Frost here. We've got five souls, guys. I didn't realize that. That's actually pretty damn good. And when the world How'd that work out for you? Spirit Wolf? Don't we have Spirit Wolf? Apparently not. Ready? Let's get out of the way. All right. And run away. There it is. Where's the dragon? There's the Durgan. Oh, sitting right on top of my head. No, 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 no. That's not how it goes. A lot of health. Look at his health just melting away. Yeah, I'm weak, huh? Ha, <laughs> you're dead in the air, buddy. Look at this. Oh. What you got going on? Nothing. Hey. Yeah, I killed your dragon, dumbass. Give me its freaking soul. Hey. 
away. Jerk. You're right, Indigo. Come on. He's paralyzed. What was that? Oh shit. What was that? I don't know, what was it? See their health just melt away? Look at that. We haven't dealt with Reeklings yet. I I love this ash. I I don't know how else to say it. I love it. There's another one here somewhere. Ow! Yo, he hit me from all the way there. Go get him. Kick its ass. You're gonna take me on? Best. Did you get them all? Good girl. Come on. In it go. You okay, buddy? There. There. This is why I have this healing spells for you, man. You alright? You have any thoughts? I'm thinking, what is Mr. Dragonfly thinking? I don't know, but I'm sure Mr. Dragonfly's, uh... Alright, Frost stayed safe. We'll take the board tusks. The tusks are actually pretty solid. These damn spears, right? Reekling wax? Ooh, I didn't know they gave you wax. Hold on a second. I must collect for science. Oh, that's nice. Okay, there's more of them then. Inigo, why are you downed? Look at him, he's taking all that damage. What the fuck? What did he get hit by? Was that drain vitality? How much you want to bet that was? He's still taking damage. Are you good now? No? Man, I have no idea what that is. I can't keep healing him like this though. get the water stone. Waters of life. Has this changed? Heals everyone close to the caster by 866 points. Does not affect undead, atronox, or automatons. Use once and then reacquire. Okay. Yeah, he's hurting, man. I don't know what happened to him. Dude. What are you being affected by? Hold on. What's it under? Effects? It is a good thing I heal NPC active. Frozen electrocuted combustion? Hostile no. Persistent spell. Poisonous bite active? Spider? Caster. Dragon. The dragon bit him with the poisonous bite. Requiem speed reduction. I... I don't know, I guess. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So it fixed itself. Now you're, now you're fully healed. Save. Thank God. It was. I, I knew. Recognize that shout. Use it on him. Then reacquire. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I only remember is Drain Vitality in this game is... Uh, it's my favorite shout. Um, likely it's my favorite shout regardless of how I set my game up. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to acquire that. So, let's... We got one more stone to cleanse. Which is the beast stone, right? No, it's been Congareek. Where is it? It's right here. Alright, so, um... All right, Frost, come on, buddy. We're going to go up. We're going to go up there. Come on. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way, right? Oh, these little demons here. I think we killed them all. No, they're going to pop out of here. Frost, you wait. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess we did kill them. Cool. Alright, you scout on ahead. Ish. to travel to the east south let's see if I can find this without going down the hill damp hall mine I think this is Gosh. sorry this is east right yeah where's my marker We'll move it right there, so I'm able to... S okay, perfect. There's more of these little pests. <laughs> Sorry, Frost. This is the uh, exit, I believe, right? Falbathar's Grand Hall. Can we get up there? There's a Kinnereth shrine over here, I think, right? Zenithar. My bad. Alright, what do we got here? See, Silent is nothing but money, man. No, Frost, we're going to summon you from over here. Uh, I'm going to get Feather Falling on. <laughs> Hold, Traveler. You have no business here. We mean you no harm, but be on your way. Yeah, my way? Okay. That's fine. Leave us in peace. I'll leave you in peace. Don't want to disrupt. That is fucking cool. Alright, uh, let's grab a Horker and Ash Yam Stew so we get that nice, nice 3200 second stamina regen. Remember, this stone's being really close to here, so. It's over the dragon bones and. Here in his tent. Yeah, there it is. We could probably do this from here, right? Watch 
finish this. You got nothing, buddy. <laughs> beasts on. We'll definitely take that. Take that. And beasts on. Conjure Werebear. Oh, you've got a nice staff. I'll take that. Glowing Mushroom. Grand Gem. Uh, sure. 41. All right, we'll take that. Yep, 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 yep. What about you little guys with your wax? Any more of you idiots die or what? Oh yeah. Reek what, what does reekling wax give you? Uh. Your poison versus frost. We didn't go find a new steward, huh? What's the name of this quest? Is it cleansing the stones, right? Is it miscellaneous? Oh, we got them all. Okay. So we're actually wow, this is pretty. There's one there. Watch this. See how fast? Watch his health just drop. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Screw you, dude. I'm sorry. Ignite is just freaking phenomenal. See the bear over there? Ice bear. Look at that. They've got no chance against an apprentice level spell. I'm going to kill all these Reeklings, by the way. We're going to help the Nords. Because these Reeklings have pissed me off. Normally I take them. You get them as a follower, or you get one. Well, you can only have one at a time. Uh, what kind of fish do we have here? Cod? There's got to be more than that. Let's do this. I'm actually going to use my water breathing necklace. What's up, Inigo? Are there any unique fish to hear besides cod? That seems a little odd. Cod are odd. Okay. Where'd Dingback go? Where'd he go? He fell around here, right? I wanted his fin. Right, did he go down the hill? Am I just looking in the wrong place? Okay. <sighs> Red Mountain looks incredible. Reekling Wax Shutter. Yes. Thank you, by the way. Uh... Karma. This, um, I think this is this is Rudy's. Where, where's, where's Red Mountain? I don't have clear, I don't have clear skies, unfortunately. Well, we're here, right? Feather falling. I mean, I kind of wish it did slow you down while you're. Drifting down, but I, I guess that's okay. Uh, is this Baldor? This is Morwen. Morwen, you buy stuff, right? My mother was Skull, but she left the village and I was born in Skyrim. Uh, I don't really care about all that. Ask Dior about Baldor's disappearance. Uh, Storn. So the dragons have returned. Is that his armpit? Well, 
The scarlet. I don't have a male body mod, and I don't know why that's doing that. Uh, so I spoke to Hermaeus Mora. He asked for the secrets of the skull. Hermaeus Mora. Yep. Old Hermamora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. It would seem so. Of course. Why is his we titty out? Many tales of Hermamora. Because snow hermits? I got nothing for that one, Yuki. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's working out and he's working on, uh, he's, he's starting to fashion the uh, skull clothing into uh, showing off a little skin. <laughs> for Harambe. <laughs> Jesus, that's awesome. <laughs> Oh, I gotta ask. Hermamura, why do you call him that? That is our name for him. I can't not look at it now. Although I gotta say, uh, again, Zab's textures. We have a set of this back at uh, Crossway. Looks freaking fantastic. When I do a shaman play, of course, that's what I'd like to use. I know there's a shaman set in Immersive Armors. Uh, I like the Skull the best out of all of it. Um, I think they're clothing, so I'm not sure if I want to make them light armor or clothing, but uh, what I may do is, if I ever do a play like that, I'll wind up making a patch just to switch them from clothing to light armor, or vice versa. I'm not really sure yet. I, th I think I'd like them as light armor. I think that would make some sense. I think there's a clipping issue between his usual outfit and after Hermie Nam's on it. That could be it, too. AE could have it very well could have given him a set. What are the secrets? Let's see. Can we click on them? Ancient lore. Well, Requiem. Down from shaman no, he's shaman changed by Ellie's uh, Skull Village overall. Because I'm running Ellie and Nora's mod for skull. this. I don't think that affects his clothing. To to uh, to to defined a Dragonborn, but changed with Requiem for the Indifference. Nothing of power or mastery. Skull boots, yeah. Body, word chest. Armor? I have no idea. What is this? DLC 2 word burned in chest. Oh, this is the after this. So this is what you're talking about? The act, it counts as like armor. Type light. Armor add on one. DLC 2 burned in chest, default race. Wow, okay. Yeah, he's just got boots. And then his actual inventory is... Yeah, the same thing. There you go. There it is. There's a new mod for the Skull stuff that makes it light armor and adds Frostfall. Ah! I've had that sitting in my fucking folder for like a year, James. I never published it. But that's cool that it's out, though. Who's uh, Who did it? Who's, who's the author that, uh, that made it? I did it for oh, another play, but like for a different character. Down. Let's see if his other titties out. No, uh, and I think it's because of the animation too. He's usually sitting down on the bench. So the dragons have returned. All right, Hermes. secrets of the skull. Yeah, Hermamora, blah blah blah. Now he cut. Final word. So it falls to me. Yes. To be the one to give up the secrets. Uh, in case you never noticed, look closely enemy. at the chests at the culmination. Hermie carves the word you learned the there. So you learn it off of his body then. But That's interesting. Is still corrupted. The land is no, no, that's okay, balance. Karma. But with the other five I mean, really, stores, nothing's a spoiler to me, and I don't mind it. Enough. We'll have I don't mind it at all. So you're going to give him what he wants? Yes. The skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Hermamora finally wins. Uh, Halidun made it back As in 2016, bro. Oh, okay, so it's an old mod. Well, I've never seen it, so... But also I thought it was new. My bad. Necessary I have a bunch of Halidun mods in there. I you didn't say new, you just I said there is a mod. Now. Okay. If I am wrong, That's my bad. I read it wrong, James. Sorry about that. Give me the book. I will read yeah, I, I literally made the same thing, like, two and a half years ago. Make sure he lives up to his uh, and I used it on a play that I was doing for all the rest of the 
like the members of the skull. Uh, and I was actually wearing their stuff while I was on the island and sleeping because I had frostfall and like I need at the time. And they've got really good warmth rating. Probably some of the uh, best ones in the game next to the base fur armor. Yeah, I hope you know what you're doing. That is my hope. Pistolary acumen. I am trusting that you I've used it for years. Works great. Yeah, then I don't have to. Life. I can just delete my files, I guess. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong. Evil. It's wrong. Against everything you've taught me my whole life. I must pray. It is the only way to free Solstein forever from eruption. There comes a time when everything for cucumbers. Change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. She won't buy the stuff. Do not either. fear for me, my lord. This is the destiny that the old maker has made out for me. I stand beside you. Nah, she's standing back up there. Nah, oh, man, we're, we're gonna get to so many fucking adventures. Dude, let's go tag team some bitches. Eh? Joggin' Baboon! You don't want to? Okay, let's go exploring some shit. That's the next best thing. Appreciate the follow. Welcome in. Oh, I got him right in the dick, too. It looks like. Almost. Close. Yeah, we don't have a problem with Mora with this character. Knowledge. Got him right through the head, too. Huh? He dies in, like, the weirdest position, too. Father, no, stop. It's a little late for that, Freya. Oh yeah, there it is. Too bad it doesn't stay there. If it stayed like how it does in like High Rothgar and stuff. It's my book. Sorry. That was kind of cool, though. Jesus, right? Father! What have you done? Yo, that's a level up, baby. Yeah, what has he done, Freya? Do not let his death go. My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then. Kill Brief Mirak. waking dreams, huh? Do not fail. Well... Uh. I'm going to do that at my own time. Um, I'm going to level up first there, Freya. 109, baby. Beautiful. Seven. Uh, our skills are 100. We really can't do anything with those. We may as well hold on to them, right? Goodbye, old friend. We will miss you, but do not worry. Do we want health? Today, I will guide us well, thanks to you. I think I'm gonna go magic again, right? Now nah, let's go health because we've got what I need, right? All right, we so I got one perk here. All right, so that for the next level, I need to do this. Let's take immunization. I can't take it. You've discovered a way I'm to make sorry. your body more resilient to all kinds of diseases and poisons. Ooh, okay, so that's gonna, well. I was gonna say, I thought I could take this. Maybe I need, like, a requirement. I'll have to look into that. So, all right, well, what's regeneration? Uh, having altered your body with extracts from troll fat, slaughterfish eggs, and spriggan sap, you're now able to regenerate your body and do so even more rapidly when you're immersed in water. Maybe you need that one. 
I'll have to look to see. I forget what the requirements are for fortified muscles. What was that thing? I thought the village was safe. In the meantime, you have to do both sides of the perk tree to get immunization. Oh, Nathaniel, welcome in, dude. That sucks. Return to well, the maker, old one. The scar will never forget your sacrifice. Let's grab this one at, at this point, right? I don't really understand what you did. I trust you did it for the good of the village. So there we go. Two flame girls. What's up, Thurston? Yeah, he did. By the gods. I've never seen anything like it. I don't think this will go in my book. <sighs> Alright, Freya. I do not blame you. I know he chose this. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. I just wish he had seen him that way. Okay. Drop a save here. Yeah, we gotta go back to the mainland. I need to go back to my house. Where's Frost? Come on, buddy. Alright. Um, no one's going in. Uh, where the hell way am I going? This way. Wow, you legit can't see anything. Two feet in front of you. That's going to take me up to, okay, which I don't really want to go to, but okay. I know where we're at. Dragon mound there, huh? Oh, this one. Oh, where's he going? Get back here. Come on. Flying around running. There. Go get him, girls. Got him. Ah, oh, he's a pain in the nuts. Look at him. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Screw you, dude. You're dead. It's still probably draining his health. God, I love that. Doesn't it hurt when you do that soul-sucking thing? No, it doesn't. It does not look or smell Sweet, we're getting this one. Good job, ladies. It's always nice to have two of you around.
Temple Foothills, Dragon Mound discovered. Yeah, pain that he was just flying around like that. They're hard to hit. Okay. Uh, we want to go... Frost, you stay there. Is probably gonna follow me down. This is what's his nuts' his house. Ramshackle trading posts, right? Yep. With the guy who's not here yet. Where's a baronet? Back, what I miss? Uh, Storn got wrecked. And, uh, you know. Is he right here? That was weird. Note about a meeting? Meet me here at midnight. Take that ebony arrow. Fethus is gonna be happy. We're gonna have all these, uh... All these goodies for him. So we went to Ashfall Citadel. Which one is this? Is this High Point Tower? I think so, right? Oh, that's pretty. Check that out. Let's see. Let's get up here. Is down here. Oh, there it is. All right, we need to head east ish, west ish. Going the wrong way again. Good job, Magus. Oh, it's one of them things. Sorry, girls, you're not going to hurt it. I need a better spell for this one. Run! Oh, it's still alive. Okay. Don't waste your magic. Thank God. Sorry, Inigo. She's a pain in the ass. It's a good thing we uh, we could actually use some of the other. Uh, Frost. Let's see, what's my uptime here? We had seven hours? PM. 
All right. Close that out. Let me just refresh Twitch on my phone here real quick, guys. Go back to my channel here. Okay. Uh, I think... There's Frost. Make a nice view too, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's pretty solid. Okay. I think what we'll do, since I'm at the seven hour mark, let's call it there for the day. I'm, I'm good with that little before eight o'clock my time here so um let me uh try to get back to god damn it are we good stream labs they pull up another twitch page here let's go on a raid guys we'll see uh who's doing what here refresh twitch quit out let's see here who's doing what uh, Brandy is playing Starfield. Moogie is playing Skyrim. Vectel is also playing Skyrim. What is Brandy up to with Starfield? She's at 69 follows. Giggity. Uh, we got some options, guys. What do you want to do? Wind, you're very welcome. Anytime. And Karma, Daisy, Mage Merlin, all very welcome. Uh, Silver's playing ESO. Should we go over to see Brandy? You guys want to watch a little Starfield? We'll go raid. How about that? We'll go raid Brandy. Chunks. Bam. So Brandy, uh, Brandy does a variety of things. Uh, she, Skyrim, Starfield, uh, Wind. Help me out. What else? She's got a long series going with uh, her Terra character, doing um, Bruma, the Rigmar mods, uh, and a few others. I'm a little less familiar, although I've I've been in her streams for Starfield, um, and I've hung out there. It's uh it's a little relaxing. It's something I can just kind of lay down, hang out, chill out, watch on my phone because I usually do go to lay down afterwards because my back is killing me. Right now, that's it. So those two. Omi, enjoy, bud. Appreciate you stopping in. Uh, yeah, guys, show Brandy some love. Drop her a follow and uh, a sub if you are so inclined to. Tomorrow is Karn at, uh, what are we doing? 1 Eastern, I believe, 1 or 2 for 3 hours. It's his weekly on Saturday, so uh, I'll be off tomorrow. I'm going to try and finish up some of these armors that I got going on. Other than that, I got nothing else, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, show Brandy some love. And uh, I hope to see you all again soon. Take care. Peace. So a kindred spirit of adventure, eh? She broke so many barriers in her life.